Oh, right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the free-to-play through. Uh, we are back for day two uh, of the free-to-play through, and we have a lot of shit to do today. Uh, first and foremost, critical progression route. Uh, stuff that I've, I've done uh, while the video was editing. <clears throat> well, there's no new video today, but there, there, there's a couple of videos that are done for like the early quests. Spores, Prize, and Awakening now have their videos that are going to be associated with them. Those will go up probably starting tomorrow. Uh, but while that was rendering, I did the Craft the Vectus uh, point here. It turns out pretty much everything you need for the Vectus uh, you'll do while you're farming for the Corrupted Mods anyway. So it's a good thing these are in this order. Uh, and then this, I added a, a small note here where, like, what's important. Um, and also that you can do this with any of the starter frames, which is true. So, yeah, that's just a, a few things that have been edited on here while we were offline. Uh, otherwise, uh, up here, there's only a few things I think that need to be, like, reordered a little bit maybe. And we can do a run on that uh, later. But it's important today that we need to do uh, the video that will be associated with Arcwing. Um, we also are going to do the video associated with Stolen Dreams, and then in all likelihood, the new Strange might get to Nata today, but we're going to do Duviri today, so it's a bit, not sure. Probably going to be the Duviri video instead of doing like the Nata stuff, and then it'll be Nata, Second Dream, kind of right in a row. Um, because I'm pretty sure, oh no, no, yeah, we, we can't get to Nata today because Uranus Junction requires us to craft that Vectus, which we're going to be able to craft in about an hour and a half. Um, so yeah. What's the biggest change you've made so far that was a result of the new playthrough? Uh, well, it's going to be the Duviri stuff is going to be huge, which is happening today. Day one was pretty similar to last time. Uh, like, we we blew through it super fast, like, just, like, chunk through this. Uh, the you, the biggest difference is they are the, just the base weapons they give us are basically twice as good now. Uh, so they help immensely. Uh, and then just being mag, it turns out, is pretty good. Yeah, over here, uh, other things that we are going to mess with. We built the Kestrel. Uh, this will be fine for just a little bit of MR. Uh, but the reason that we needed that is because of the Nightwave challenge that requires us no, to have a pistol and a glaive equipped with like, just completing one mission. Uh, this will be not hard at all to do. Um, but we need that 4,500 because we would like to get two additional catalysts, even though I realized we're not going to need these because we got the catalyst and the reactor already um, from the Nightwave. So we're just going to have a ton of catalysts. Because uh, we're also going to get one from Stolen Dreams today. Uh, and then we need to do a Nightmare mission. Ideally, we can overlap these two, which might be possible depending on what it is. Um, And then we can't do this one, which is the Kubalich thing. Then the rare Servo Fish and the Railjack mission stuff. We're going to do Arcwing into Railjack, and then we'll do the Fortuna mission as well today. <clears throat> Should be a whole deal. And then, yeah, completing all of this, we're at 2,000 right now. Um, So we'll get a new daily... Uh, whenever refresh happens today, it'll be the last refresh. Hopefully we can complete that because if we do these two, we'll be at a thousand over. No, if we do all these regardless, we'll be at, um, at level three. Okay, we just need to do these four challenges and then we're good. It's uh, we probably should start with trying to get that nightmare night. mission out of the way though. See what we got here. Apollodurus, no shield mode survival. That's kind of a gigantic pain. Because we are mag. Shields are kind of the whole thing. Hmm. Can't complete the rest of Phobos yet, because that's an Arcwing mission. YOLO, you might be right about that. I think the answer is probably to put a couple levels into Vitality and then just make it happen. I can spend 150 endo on this. Yeah, so we'll just go in here. Uh, and then instead of a redirection and this random continuity, just the vitality. 407 health is not the worst. And we do have equilibrium, so we will heal a little bit. Should be Fine-ish. I mean, it's just Apollodurus. How bad could it possibly be, right? He says. Clap Hellfire on here. Um, the baby and Grenier is not bad. Um, and nothing else here is like worth throwing on. I guess throw in the reload speed. Okay. Yeah, let's give that a shot because we do want to clear uh, 
the nightmare is like you know just kind of as easily as possible obviously we could just do this in a squad and it would be crazy easy um and that's how that's how most new players are gonna are gonna do these missions like if you're gonna like match into a nightmare mission as a new player you're just gonna match into it and if there's four of you it's like what are you gonna do lose you provide cover for a lone tenno operative set off the alarms and keep the infested busy a steady stream of toxic spores is being released into the area. Hold on. Emergency life support is inbound. There's a morphic. <clears throat> Luckily, we are mag. And these are super low-level infested. I can mostly just stay off the ground and it won't be a problem. This actually, this actually, this starter room is kind of nice for us. It's nice and large. There we go. Big refunds on energy. We love to see it. 50 energy. And we do only need to be here five minutes, I believe, for the nightmare. Are you doing nightmare missions again? Nightwave. <clears throat> yeah, we want to get our Nightwave levels, and it requires us to do two more uh, Nightmare missions. Also, some of the mods that we can get from this are not bad either, so, like, there's not really, you know, not a good reason not to do it, anyhow. Obviously, normally, you would just, like, wait for easy ones that randomly pop up, because, like, you know, you have all the time in the world. But with this Nightwave, we don't have all the time in the world, as it ends tomorrow. <laughs> it's a bit unusual, but it's kind of interesting that it does force us to make a bit of progression on it. It also shows how good it is to get the Nightwave early, because most Nightwaves, like if you were to get the first three levels of any given Nightwave, it'll give you really good stuff as a new player, because level one is always 150 of the credits, um, which is a catalyst and a reactor. And just that, just that off the rip uh, on level one of the Nightwave is so good, and it's going to be even better. Uh, I think Hammershot actually can't drop in this tier of Nightmare Mission. But yeah, it's, it's actually going to be easier than ever to get uh, Nightwave levels on the next Nightwave. The next Nightwave is going to be so amazing for new players because, for, the, for those that don't know, every single week, uh, on whenever the new Nightwave starts, uh, you're always going to have the same three challenges. Every single week, you'll have three additional, in addition to all the ones you get now, challenges. And that is going to be kill enemies, kill Eximus, and complete missions, which nothing could be simpler. Available. Have you already done Kestrel Gaming? No, we're going to do that next. Yeah, Kestrel Gaming is going to be the thing we do right after this. Get that out of the way. Lethal Torrent's really good. Yeah, Lethal Torrent would be stellar. Obviously not going to be... I mean, well, obviously any new player would want Lethal Torrent. Um, not super necessary, but an incredibly good mod that we see used in basically every secondary. The new challenges are pretty much play Warframe. Yeah. It's stellar. It's an entire extra, like, full rank and then some every week. Um, and it's, it's, anyone can do it. Like, any new player, like, you will do it accidentally. And doing it accidentally is, like, a really big plus to those Nightwave changes that are coming. Um, because it means that new players won't be able to avoid doing it. Like, there, I could not have possibly not done those three, those three challenges by now on this account. It would, it would be not possible for me to have not done it at this point. Like, very seriously. Like, kill 500 enemies. Kill, like, I think it's 15 Xmas or something. It might be a little more than that, but whatever. Uh, like, you, you have to have done it. Which means that I have to have gotten enough currency for, like, uh, an aura, and, or, like, the Catalyst Reactor combo, and, like... Oh, no. Shit. Alright, well, 
Got to burn a revive on getting hit with that. No shield mode mag out of 10. Get wombo comboed? Yeah, I thought I rolled far enough, but I did not. Considering it's the second worst condition we could have gotten, I think one death is fine. You zigged when you should have zagged, it's really true. And we're out of here. What's worse? Energy drain. Chilling reload! That's a very good one! We take those. That is actually very good. I don't know that we're going to be using a shotgun um, on this playthrough very much, but Chilling Reload is an excellent mod that gets a lot of use. I think Chilling Reload... Isn't Chilling Reload also worth like 5 or 10 plat too? <laughs> Rauta? No reason to build the Rauta. You can... Okay, so we have that nightmare done. Um, if anyone rem does anyone know when the nightmares reset? If somebody knows what time the nightmares reset, I've forgotten. It's been too long. Um, but we'll have to do this whenever it resets. The 29th. No, the nightmares. La ladies and gentlemen, if you are not aware, nightmares have a reset time. It resets three times a day, every eight hours. Um... Not, not Night Wave. Nightmare. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please. Nightmare time's the same as Earth Day Night, isn't it? Is it? And where's Earth Day Night usually at? I actually don't remember where to see that. Unironically, I don't remember at all where that normally is. But no, no, you can. Th this is this is the Cetus Day Night, Everything which is different. No, 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 no. <laughs> you, you poor fools. This is Cetus and Plains Day Night. I'm talking about Day Night on E Prime. You, you poor fools. Day and night are different depending on if it's Cetus or not. The wiki main page has timers. Awesome. Best sort of day night is the Drifter Camp, as you can look outside. I think Drifter Camp is actually synced up with Planes Day Night, isn't it? Man, fuck this. <laughs> Just walk up to the navigation console. I think it shows up for you. Is it? Let me see. Absolutely not. Wait. No, Planes of Eidolon tells me. It gives it to me for the open worlds, but not the actual Earth day night. You know, this just tells me, this just tells me Planes, Planes day night. We're getting the big cutting, all the silly time gates update. Uh, you know, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say I think that Valus and Cambion Drift are totally fine. It's really the Plains Day Night. Actually, Plains Day Night is also not bad. It's just that Eidolons you should just be able to do whenever. That's really the only thing. Otherwise, I think it's fine. It's 48 minutes until Earth time changes. Okay, so yeah, maybe in an hour or so we'll get our last nightmare done. Let's grab our Kestrel. Ba, 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 ba. We have an hour, or what, well, basically two hours until Taxon is here, sadly. Big Sag. Unequip the Bratton, equip the Kestrel. Let's go do one mission. We're going to go Mercury. Elyon will do. The Kestrel Gaming.
Now I wonder if Venus tile set has a warm cold like Orbalis, let alone a separate cycle. No. The reason Earth has that se that cycle is because that separate cycle on Earth uh, was before they made any open worlds. And then they just didn't change it. Oh, you're a large, large lady. Mission complete. The captain has been escorted to the extraction point. Well done. God, it charges so slow. Sure, we'll go with that. As a constant run, it's say nightmare missions reload on their own eight-hour timer based on your completion. On their own eight-hour timer based on your completion? No. That would that would mean your nightmares would never never change over time until you do them. Words coming in of so many of you being your best selves. Nora is just beside herself with admiration. No idea then. I'm pretty sure it's yeah, yeah. It's zero zero UTC, um, and then every eight hours. don't wait for you or else there would just be no matchmaking yeah we said every eight hours but have an eight hour cooldown as well if I remember correctly I don't think so I mean like they have an eight hour cooldown just by virtue of like they only last eight hours What time? What, what's UTC right now? Somebody tell me what time it is UTC right now. Nineteen fifteen. Okay, cool. So at 24 UTC, it should reset and we should do our thing. So we, we got about five hours. Really should just show the timers in game, huh? It's true. Sometimes Ordis likes to assume he knows nothing. Nobody can learn what they think they already know. It should be the same time as reset. We can debunk this today. I did. I did only the nightmare on Mercury. We just did it, and it's definitely not eight hours until reset. We should have a little clock in the star chart that tells you day night. I mean, there's a lot of UI things that could happen. Realistically, you probably need to disjoint Eidolons from the day night cycle and then have the day night cycle and like of Earth and planes just be synced. That's probably what should happen. But whatever. Anyway, uh, we also can't be MR2 for about an hour. Which means we can't start building the Vectus yet. Which means the soonest we can get to Nata is about 3.30 tomorrow. Ah, uh, the problem of just adding content to the pile, it's true. A lot of quality of life for the Star Trek UI that could have been improved. Sure. But I think is that technically we should be able to choose what time of day we land in. <laughs> well, yes. How many accounts do you have at this point? A bunch. We have done many free to playthroughs. Like making the planes day or night for yourself on command would also be a viable option. 
Well, so you want to have it synced up in some way so that everyone's at the same time. Um. So, like, you, you want everyone to be, like, in day or in night. But you need to be some way to force Eidolons. The thing that I've always said about Eidolons is that that little shrine you use to summon uh, Hydro and, and uh, Gant after you kill Terry. When you kill Terry, you have to go to that thing and then summon Gant. And then after that, you take everything back to that little shrine and then you summon Hydro. Why not just be able to go to that little thing and click it and it summons Terry? Make an eclipse happen. I don't give a shit. Through the power of the void, that motherfucker spawns. Shrine, turn off the sun, or some shit, and bam, Dolan's. Exactly. Like, that's the thing that I've always thought should happen there. End the tyranny of the sun. If the Unum can control time, just have her do it. That's also true. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I really I really do strongly feel that Eidolons um, would have an incredibly strong community if it wasn't limited time. Because it being limited time breeds like a bit of like hostility. Um, especially from people who aren't very good at Eidolons whenever they're trying to get a good team that can carry them. It also was okay. I'm gonna tell. Okay, before we get into the arc wing, I'm gonna tell this 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 story because this thing happened that I say happens. At, like, I, I I say this happens all the time, but everyone got to see it relatively recently. Uh, someone posted on Reddit about their bad Eidolon teammates, and like people matching in and like not being able to like support the team and like he can do three a night. This guy, this this Reddit poster can do three a night. And the, the comments, oh, bless the comments from people who actually know how to fucking idle on hunt. Just the comments are like, you can only do three a night? Bro, you're the bad player. Get fucking good. Just, oh, it's so sweet. The people who are actually good at idle on hunting are not the toxic ones, and it's so, it's so delicious. <laughs> it's so delicious. Like, it, like, the only people complaining are, like, just these scrub-ass people. It's so, it's so rough. But, like, those people would go away if they weren't limited time. 7-3 is, like, standard for vet hunters? Nah, 6-3 is standard. Come on. 7-3 is, like, mythical. You have to get lucky to even have it be a broached subject. And it's usually, like, 6-3-1. Is 240 hertz an unnecessary amount for monitor? Oh, yeah, 240 is, yeah. 73 is impossible. No, 73 is impossible without doing something that could potentially get you banned. Yeah, so 773 is at least minor exploit. Ready to kick. I just want Energize to crash. I, I see. Here's the funny thing about that: if you just let Eidolons happen all day, I don't think Energize crashes at all. Whittle some crackhead does eight three. Well, there's not. That's it's it's not a thing. Eight, eight three is not possible. Like there are required animations that like have to play, and th those take time. What is the seven three six three stuff we're talking about? So uh six three is you do six sets of the three idolons in one fifty minute night. Which like for me, if you if you're able to do a six three, you are good at idolon hunting. Quite good at idolon hunting. Five three is like very solid. Um and like being able to do like, you know, you're and anything lower than that, you're like learning still. 
to be able to speed up anims. No, the anims don't speed up. It's not affected by that. Otherwise, that would work. <clears throat> five three solo. Yeah, you can do five three solo for sure. But not care enough about idolons to get good, to be honest. Yeah, no. I mean, most of the time, most people don't care. You only ever need to do what ten of them, and then you can get max upgrades. 6-3 puts you in the top 5% of Warframe players. That's probably true. I mean, doing Eidolons probably gets you most of the way there, though, if I'm honest. I was doing 5-3 before Railjack 1.0. I'm surprised it's only up to 6-3s. Well, there's there's animation limitations. Like, there's just animations that have to play out. Um, There's a certain amount of unskippability to that. There's a mythical 9-3 or 10-3, which requires skipping the healing animation, but no one knows how to get it. Oh, okay. Interesting. So, theoretically possible, I guess. Let's say just did a solo of 35 Exilizer, Steel Path Cascade, and got 9 Arcanes, and I probably never made it here without you. This game is great. Awesome! Glad to hear it, Blah. This pros like you got a filter in today. I don't know what that is. I was noticing that, too. Is that where I do this? Does that show up? It doesn't show up here. What is that? Why is why are you blue? Why am I blue? What's happening? Lens glare? Oh my god, it's the monitor. It's just the monitor light on my face. It's because this is white. Shit bright as hell. This ship is bright as hell. Okay. <laughs> okay, well you know what? I guess that's fine. I get flashbanged when you guys do. <laughs> Light mode gaming. I feel like four is very doable. Will that jump to five is huge for me? No, for sure. I mean, I, I would say, like, unironically, for, for most players, I feel like most players would be very comfortable if they can solo a 1-3 and then just be like, I'm happy with that, and then move on to the next thing they're doing. That's me? Yeah. Like, that's, to that's totally reasonable. All right. Re-equip our, our Bratlin. Gotta get the Lotto and the Bratton leveled so we can start leveling some other stuff. <clears throat> That's me. It's good enough for the Nightwave. Yeah. Basically how I did Eidolons 1-3 until I was done with them and then never touched them again. Absolutely. Target farming Arcanes from Eidolons is a fool's errand. Oh yeah, you should just wait until they do another event that has the Arcanes in it. All right, so now we're ready to do the arc wing. Uh, this quest is very simple, so it should should not be a problem. Uh, we need the arc wing. This is needed for both a junction and also you'll want the arc wing for a number of different things. So it is it is time to it is time to this acquire the, the arc wing. Master blueprint for the Autonata arc wing, the first of many arc wings. To complete it, you must find its component parts. Unfortunately. An ancient Oricon archive detailing the locations of the parts was recently stolen by the Corpus. Your first job is to recover this archive. Hurry. The Arcwing needs to be ready before the Baylor Fomorians launch their first attack. All right. Don't worry about what any of the Baylor Fomorians and stuff are. Not important. Let's go recover the Oricon archive. have snuck into the void and secured crucial Oricon archives detailing the hidden locations of much needed Arcwing parts. You know, I do love how much spy and stuff there is early game. If only there wasn't so much defense. <laughs> Get to the portal. We need to shut the corpus out of the void before we search for the Oricon archive. Because I think this mission is what? This is like 
two spies and uh two spies a sabo and a couple excavs. The enemy are using a void key and a portable torsion beam device to force open the portal, destroy the key and the device. Got most of the mods we need from those. Oh, also uh worth noting uh for anyone who's watching this guide in the future, uh breaking certain crates in the void has a chance to drop a large variety of good mods. You can check out my ancient void crate farming video for all the information needed on that. It hasn't changed in all this time, if you can believe that. That video, I think, is five years old at this point. Uh, also, the drop tables for that are uh, lost to time. It's not on the DE drop table site. Uh, so it is only from ancient data mines of the game that we know what drops there. It's on the wiki. Yes, it is on the wiki from those ancient data mines. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Reminder that the wiki only knows things because somebody figured it out. <laughs> the wiki is not is not made by D. One of the free to play, do you switch to Guns Room later? Uh, today we should be doing Duviri, um, which is going to get us the Azathane and Calervo in pretty short order. There's the torsion beam device. And with those two things, we are going to obliterate this universe. years ago for the crate farm it was in 2017 nice there you go that video still relevant there's a few better ways to break crates now but if you're a new player that video is a uh, a hyper relevant also the only time you're really going to do that farm tenno you do not want to be on this side of the portal when that key melts down you don't have to worry about that. I mean, you don't want to be on that side of the portal, but she means the other side of the portal. We're just going fast. Objection. Kill this stuff. Grab this. Breaking all these crates. This is one of the things that is considered to be a treasure room, so it's worth breaking the crates in like these little cubbies. Which I'm doing with heavy attacks from the bow here. Because those can all be mod drops. Get there now. You found the Orican Archive. You are one step closer to unleashing. Also, we could find the other two caches, but it's not super worthwhile to do here unless you have a night wave for it or something to that effect. Is it fail or do you just die? Uh, I believe it fails. I don't remember that's been in Infinity time since then. Is this account brand new? Yes. It is. This account it just logged in for the first time yesterday. Isn't this where Bullet Dance comes from? Uh, I don't know if it can drop in here. This is a quest, so I don't know. Extract the Wings Check Blueprint. Can point you towards Kuviri at all, or does it just throw the button into navigation? Uh, so, the button is in navigation, but also it pops up all the time in the bottom right. Hey, you can do this. Hello? Sir? So, it, it does very much tell you about it. The Orkin Archive 
has led us to this location. Defend the extractors until you find an Arcwing part imprint. Alright. Drop in the excavator and hope we see guys who carry power cells. Hey. One right away. Lucky me. The luck of this account continues. Okay. Did they fix this? So that it actually just spawns enough power carriers, like, right away? Can all of the early game excavations work this way? Please? This was stellar. This was exactly what I wanted, even. Also, Mag continues to be very good. Energy. I think it always comes out of the first one, so you really don't need to do that. But I guess we have enough here, so we might as well fill it up. I don't think it's going to finish, but whatever. It could theoretically happen. This is awesome. Okay, there's the Odonata Wings. We can leave now. Head to extraction when you are ready. I don't think he was watching our chat. I respect his consistency. Yes, YouTube, I can see the chat uh, on both. They are next to each other for me. But I can see both of you, and I appreciate you both. Progress at all out of stream. Uh, I wrote a Vectis guide. Uh, the only things I might do off stream, it's not going to be any quests or anything. Um, if it'll be anything, it'll probably be like a mastery test, because those have 24-hour cooldowns. Set up the prompter thing. I do have the prompter thing set up. That's actually where I have, so I, I the way I made room for chat was I can actually see what my stream preview is here in the prompter, which allows me to more accurately do dumb shit like this. You must forge it immediately. It won't be long now until you are flying through the skies like a winged death machine. That's the launcher. The Odonata wings. Oh, yeah, I forgot these take neurodes. I'll have, to, I'll have to take a screenshot of that full thing whenever we have all the stuff. We're going to grab the harness. <clears throat> Double stream such a nice thing, man. Yeah, no, it's really, it's really good that we can do this now, honestly. Yeah, we will do yet another excavation. This is the same thing, only this time there are Grenier here. Plenty to trade for Plat in this account. Uh, I actually think for this free-to-play through, that's going to be wholly unnecessary. Uh, in the past, we've done trades for, like, augments or, like, other random stuff. But, like, i got to keep it real. After we do what we're going to do in Duviri, uh, I'll be more than ready for Steel Path. So, like, it's just not going to be necessary to trade for anything. Like, we're going to do silly, goofy things to the progression of the game. Like, before, it's like, and you know, in, in the past, I've, like, traded for some, like, corrupted mods I might need. But also, corrupted mods are not. Like, we, we have the corrupted mod we actually needed. And needed is a strong word uh, in fleeting expertise. As that fleeting expertise is more for mag than it is for what we're going to get to in the future. But, you know. Yeah, and Corrupt Charge. Yeah, Corrupt Charge is real. Corrupt Charge also not needed. Exceedingly good. Not needed. Maybe needed for Steel Path. But, you know. Uh, 
Obviously, we can all see how good Mag is. Man, I can't express enough how much them giving you the real bow now is such an insane upgrade. Did you guys know that from Mark 1 bow to the real bow, it is almost double damage? Head to extraction when you are ready. Real bow with real mods. Real mods, hardly. Ooh, hello. Their optic mass helping us quite a bit here. The roads are a nice need early on. All right. All those little resource nodes just worth grabbing. I save my future self some trouble as well by scanning this. Those of you watching the guide, don't worry about that unless you're planning on doing the Titania quest in 100 hours. It's gonna—it's not a big deal. If you see them, I guess they're worth scanning. You could do it. You don't have to. Don't feel pressured. It's just a—it's just a weird flower. It's not important, not necessary for anything. Other than mastery, is there any reason at all for getting the Mark One weapons? Other than mastery, no. How's real kunai compared to mark one it's a good step up definitely like a, a reasonable pick does hope to see the arc wing soon. all right it's time to extract the systems i bet you can't guess what we're going to do for this mission as a little note probably mentioned that your movement is 10 years of experience and theirs is going to be one and don't feel bad about it oh yeah no uh, the, i think yeah no one should expect to be like moving the way that i move like Defend the I am matching into missions with people who have warframes that can teleport, and I'm like, are you guys at extraction yet? So do not do not feel bad if you're not like getting through missions this fast. You probably shouldn't be. This is there is a learning curve. I wish we could get those decorations for the orbiter. Give to me. Enemies, please. Thank you. Energy. There's two. An artifact has been and now we're good. Proceed to the dig site. Is it Mag Prime in rotation right now? Probably. That's a, a big thing though, is that the difference on primes is very minor. Like, primes mostly look visually different. The only primes that have any, like, statistical differences that actually really matter are, like, Volt Prime. How far are you taking this account? This account's going to go all the way. This, this, this account will do Whispers eventually. And that is not out yet. <laughs> Looks are 80% of power. True. That's a fact. Whispers comes with the uh, tome slash book weapon, yes. Do you think it'll be a good weapon or just mid? Uh, I mean, with their trend recently of, like, stuff like the Nataruk, I think it'll be great. Like, generally, quest weapons are really good. Like, generally speaking, they're very, very good. So I think that we're going to have that trend continue. 
All right, all of our Odonata parts have been acquired. I think we have everything for it, pretty sure. But let's make sure. Also, search bar here, very helpful. Odo. You can also type in the full Odonata if you need to. Uh, so for this, we need, what, 600 circuits total, uh, two Neurodes, um, 800 Rubido, and then one Morphic, 500 Salvage, 150 Alloy Plate, which is nothing, and a little bit of Polymer. So overall, uh, if you're needing to farm anything here, uh, Rubido, really easy to get from uh, Earth, Eurasia. That's also where you're probably likely to get your Neurod here. You can also do Mariana on Earth. Um, which should also be pretty good for that. Uh, the ferrite is just, you're just going to have that naturally. Uh, for circuits, I think Phobos is going to be our early source of circuits, if you do happen to need any. Uh, let me do a double check on that on here, on Phobos. Uh, no, Phobos is not those, not the circuits. Was it Ceres that's the circuits? Yeah, Ceres is our early source of circuits here. Uh, there's a few different missions you can choose to do here. You can choose to do Draco. Gabby is very solid for this, because you get that additional 35% resource drop chance. So probably overall, I would suggest Gabby. Um, four circuits if you are needing it to farm them. Uh, and then is void circuits as well? I probably wouldn't suggest you do void because the missions you have access to aren't great for it. But if you want to farm Hepit for relics, if you're going to be doing your relic farm for doing corrupted farming on Deimos, you could go that way. Um, but generally speaking, like Gabby is going to be like a longer mission that you can get all your circuits in at once if you need those. Uh, and then otherwise, nothing here is going to be giving you much trouble. Pretty much everything else here is like a single Morphic, which that does come from Phobos. Um, those should not be a problem. But yeah, let's build all this stuff up. Yeah, most of these, like the Rubido and the Neurodes are going to come off of Earth. Ash doesn't need an update. He needs an entire code rebuild. You're wilding. You're saying Ash, but I think you mean Limbo. Needs the book with my operator. Oh man. Put all these parts together and build this one. Has all the necessary blueprints to craft an arc wing. So what are you waiting for? Still holding up for a Valkyr update rework off in Copium. <laughs> well, unfortunately. A one minute Odonata, a one minute Odonata. Just a quick little two minute build here. It should just do an overhaul on unused frames instead of introducing new Warframes. That doesn't work from a marketing standpoint. You have to have a new thing. Reworking things is a goodwill. New thing is hype. And you need a balance of both. Crafted an arc wing. Now I must commence calibration. So much to do. By my calculations, this process will take 372 hours. Oh, that does seem like a long time. Let's find Corpus Intel. This is an urgent mission. A Corpus scout ship with information. Tenno, tension. Let's be high. Let's be real. The Hydrated Rook was hype as hell for existing players. I would I would wager that the Hydrated Rework brought in exactly zero new players.
I love how this, like, bad voice direction gets, uh, actually addressed later. And look at this unique extraction. What could this possibly mean? This is a really cool intro mission for Arkwing. Tenno, you need to get to the other side of this debris field where Ordis can safely extract you. Arkwing has like never been great, like alone. Stay focused. Um, but it, this intro mission is really good. They're trying to trap you in an energy net. Destroy that Destroy those. Energy net dissipating. Keep moving. Zeppelin just engaged an energy net. You're stuck in here until it's destroyed. The net is down. Get going. Operator, the Arkham is performing beyond expectations. I suppose my calibration process was not necessary after all. Off we go. Tenno, you have to keep moving. Also, uh, by default, uh, this teleport is your dodge. So if you rebound that to be easily accept uh, easily accessible, it's very nice. We now have the tools to take on Vehek and his Baylor. The Arc Wing completed. His arsenal is growing, but so will ours. There are more Arcwing designs and more weapons. You don't need those. Together we will take to the skies and confront this new We threat. will do that as little as we can possibly do. Alright. That also gives us the Plexus. Which means we can do Railjack stuff now. We can join others on their Railjacks now. Uh, we will not do that, though. Uh, as we can now go over to Sarah's and complete our Jupiter Junction. Because we have completed the Arc Wing, we defeated the bosses, and we did the Draco thing. Uh, this is going to give us some mods mostly for our Arc Wing, actually, which is going to matter very little. And Sarah's groan when she was forced into Arc Wing sums up my feelings. Yeah, that's correct. I love Valkyr. Goodbye, Valkyr. The junctions should be cooler. I think they're pretty cool. Most players struggle with them, so I think they're I think they're fine. <laughs> I know I make it look really easy, but most players do struggle with them. All right, time for Jupiter. Uh, first things first, we need to do stolen dreams to get through the Europa Junction, while also making sure that we do the new strange, kill LLB, and do ball, uh, which ball is. Oh, that's the that's the Europa mission. That'll be whenever we head this way. Which is why we have to head this way first. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna head around this side, I believe. I think these are the, all the fast missions going to Themisto, and then Io's right here, which will be important later. So 
So it's rescue time. Yeah, we'll just get over to the Europa Junction and then we'll hit Stolen Dreams up. And that the Zorus can easily take down Vahek. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Vahek's really not a big deal at all. Usually I just, like, remove him just with the regular Vectus. Regular Vectus is such an insanely good thing for new players to build, which we should be able to build soon. I think we got about, like, an hour, half hour. Here we see what the next Tenogen is coming. Uh, Tenogen is on pause until cross save and whispers and everything is out. So I don't expect any more Tenogen until next year. You are approaching the holding area. Careful. If the wardens detect you, they will surely initiate the execution sequence. The bypass is done. Go. This is the jail. Our hostage is in one of these cells. Oh, not that one. Oh, not that one. Third time's a charm. Hey there, have a lotto. Extraction point, and I'll take care of the rest. Up and away, and we're out. God, I'm so glad we don't have to build specters anymore. Ugh. You, for new player progression, you used to have to build specters which takes eight hours. Oh, it was the worst. God, it was the worst. You needed to get specters like early on day one and, or else you just get roadblocked for eight hours. It's terrible. So glad that's gone. Have a lotto. Do a crime. <laughs> the glory that's Grendel Spectre AI. Attention. I have not, but that sounds hilarious. You must deliver payloads and defend a number of locations while I break into the Ah, so that's why I built a Spectre. That's correct. For heavy resistance. I can't do this without you. Terminal spotted. Upload me and prepare to defend. I'm in, Tenno. This is the Hey, while we're just waiting on a random mobile defense, as a, a fun thing for any new players, you can come down here, you. Uh, a really nice thing to get used to is jumping off a wall and then bullet jumping up. It'll get you over things. Don't have tax unfinished yet. Nope, he's not done. He needs, needs like another like hour or so. He's probably almost done at this point, but we don't have tax on yet, Sad. We are finished here. Move on. I need access to a terminal. Find one and patch me up. The new word on parkour updates. I remember a few years ago they were looking into returning wall runs Stay instead of dinky wall hopping. Uh, no. I don't think they're going to do that, and I don't think they should. Like, I know people, like, think that, like, the current, like, wall tapping is, like, dinky or whatever. But it's also, like, objectively better. Like, being stuck onto a wall is, like... But let me put it this way. But the reason that we tappy tap on a wall is because we're super strong mega fucking space warrior motherfuckers. 
Uh, and the reason why other characters in other games stick to walls for wall running is because they're weaker than us. Like, we, we, we need the strong version. Otherwise, we will stop wall running, and I will simply fly wherever I need to go by bullet jumping and just doing this. Like, I need to be able to tap off and then just keep flying and bullet jumping and, like, doing all this shit. Like, the real shit is that you're not supposed to be stuck to the wall. Like, yes, you have wall running, but really, like, why, why run on the wall when you could simply fly? They get a tap versus hold. But it, it's there's no reason to use that functionality. Like it, it shouldn't be anything. Like, you shouldn't have, like, the tippy-tappies on the wall because we are not, like, weak humanoid or weak, weak simple humans. We're, like, you, you could have that maybe for, like, operator or drifter missions. Location reached. Drop me in and defend our position. Are there damage updates that were supposed to happen around Korra's original release? That did not occur. They, they put out a workshop on um, what that was going to be, and everyone went, this sucks, and they went, we're going to not do that. And we were like, okay, well, fair enough. He's done a few of those over the years, like the old X-Men's rework idea. Yeah. I mean, I think it's, it's good whenever DE tells us about a thing early, and then we can be like, here's all of the, the flaws with, like, just the thinking that goes into how that would work. And they're like, ah, fair enough. We will think of something else or move on. And I really appreciate that about DE. That usually leads to them being like, okay, those were the flaws. That the D or that the community noticed with the thing. Here's our new thing that doesn't have any of those flaws that we came up with, and now it's, you know, an incredibly much better system. Like you know the way companions are now, for example. Like the companion improvements that they just launched. There's no downsides. It's just purely. It's just better than it was before, and it's great. For the self damage thing. We couldn't get that to feel good. We aren't forcing this out. Yep. Great. Awesome. Or how new Xmas are actual threats you have to pay attention to. That's true. Yeah, it's actually super interesting. Xmas are like. Some of their implementation is sort of flawed, but they do make the game better. They reinforced the meta that we were already in, but in a way that makes the whole game better. So, like, some Warframes just get, like, screwed by the existence of the current Eximus. Um, and it just makes those Warframes way, way worse. But the Warframes that were already good, like, the Eximus just purely make things more interesting. Oh, right, this is Exterminate. Sorry, gentlemen, I'm supposed to kill you all. We get rid of hard landings yet. There's a mod for that. I actually use it on my mace. <laughs> it was actually pretty funny. Um, pa Pablo changed that mod to be 100%. I'm down here. Hard landings are fine. Yeah, well, yeah, hard, hard landings are fine because, like, the, the answer is hold crouch. Like, hard, hard landings are, like, a soft punishment for not doing movement right most of the time. Which I think is okay. Stay 
focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. No shot. Oh, wait, no, it's one of these. Okay, I thought it was a rare crate noise because they're the same. You found the first I was like, there's no way. I'm detecting two more faint hits. It's so funny to me that, like, Mag is essentially the, the, the melee starter. Excalibur, am I a joke to you? I mean, it's like Mag is better at it. <laughs> like Mag's one unironically makes her better at it than Excalibur. <laughs> What mods do you have on your mag right now? Not a ton, but I will show them real quick. Excellent armaments, operator. Oh, right, I didn't switch back. Covered in blood. We, were, we were doing a nightmare mission. This should be redirection. Not that it matters a huge amount. Also, bow versus mark one bow. Yeah. You ran Damos vaults? Yep. Yeah, we did Damos vaults really easily. Now now that we have real bow, instead of having to run the Damos vaults with the mark one bow, it was trivial. Like we, we equipped all the keys, and we were like, here we go. We had streamer luck turned on for the Damos vaults. We did get everything, everything we needed in three runs. It really was blind rage, fleeting expertise, uh, corrupt charge. But, you know, it, it'd be like that sometimes. Okay, it is time for Stolen Dreams. The time for the dreams to be stolen. This is our introduction to Maru, except for by now you should already be doing her dailies. Let's go! Or not dailies, her weeklies. I misspoke. To report that all my good jokes the rat Maru takes us for on. fools. Find her. Okay. This is unexpected. After decades of searching, the Grenier finally uncovered the last of the arcane codices, only to lose it to some thief. Yeah, when the dreams are stolen. I have tracked Maru to this corpus outpost. Bring her to me for questioning. Be as this is a capture mission. Necessary. She may not want to come with us, but it's in her best interest. Maru, I am the Lotus. I come as a friend. You are in mortal danger. Got her. You need to come with us. Don't worry about her. She'll be fine. Mission complete. The captive has been escorted to the extraction point. Well done.
You are being saved. Do not resist. I always wonder what exactly happens when we capture someone, like they turn into a light in our hands. Yeah, that's just a delivery mechanism. Oh, so you tin suits want to know about that arcane codex? <laughs> Is that all? Okay, here it goes. Tile Regor offered up big time credits for me to pull the code from some strange machine on an infested or This will come derelict. up later. Thing is, I never much liked the Grenier. So the code I pulled ain't the code I gave them. <laughs> I guess they finally figured that out. I bet you're looking to get your hands on the code. Too bad. I already sold them to the Corpus. Now, if you were to make it worth my while, maybe I'll tell you where they're keeping it. Time to go find the thing. Listen up, you tin suits. Time for spy missions. I love early spy. The spies are so fun. Sorry for anyone that's watching uh, this guide later and is like, spy missions are fun for this guy? I know they can be hard for new players. My tenor are quite capable, Maru. Perhaps you would prefer it if we dropped you off outside the nearest Greener mining asteroid. Wow. She always is much fun. Maru? <sighs> Fine. Here's the business. The Corpus are keeping the Codex in one of these fortified data vaults. That's fine. You got to break in. My toe Take touched it. yours without triggering the data destruction sequence. The data vault is nearby. Do your best and try not to trip the alarms. My toe so touched it. One tin suit. It's okay. Now, if your toe touches that one, you can just fall down it. It's destroyed. Well, it weren't pretty, but you got what we were looking for. You got that codex. Rob, a little bit. The corpus are hiding anything else in the other vaults. That happens sometimes, though. Doesn't usually happen on the newer version of that vault, but whatever. The data vault is nearby. Do your best and try not to trip the alarms. There's the codex. There might be hope for you after all. Maru's one of my favorite NPCs. Yeah, Maru's great. You don't have to kill that guy, but he's full of delicious, delicious experience, so... X and I are part of a balanced breakfast, and I suggest them. The data vault is nearby. Do your Nine out of ten, Dennis recommend. The Thanks, Paul. Can uh, destroy cameras. Otherwise, just shoot them. You found the codex, and the corpus are none the wiser. You've explored all the vaults and found that arcane codex. Your lotus told me to tell you to get to extraction. Oh. I think the camera getting blown up would trip the alarm. Nah. You see, it's the guy on the other side of the camera that trips the alarm. He just goes, huh?
Affinity. It's what Tenno crate. It's true. Just for no reason. Just doing mag things for nothing. <laughs> All right. Operator, I've been looking into these arcane. Now we need the Grenier ones. The Corpus are in possession of three codices, and the Grenier two. Maru tells me that the Grenier are storing their two arcane codices on the Scallion. You need to find both to complete this mission. Translation, you need to succeed at two of the three vaults. If you fail one, not a big deal. We're nearing the console. Trigger the alarms now. Ooh, my favorite vault. Start destroying the data. There are multiple ways to do these, but I'm just showing you the fast ones. Well, fast or and or extremely safe. Sometimes both. This one's just easy. The enemy will start data. Sometimes there's a guard right here. Usually not, though. No. Slide. Other oh, times he's right there. Data extracted. They won't even know it's gone. That's it. <clears throat> That's an arcane codex. Time to see if there's anything else in the remaining data vaults. Do, 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 do. Out here just doing spy. Lost some energy. That's fine though. I don't need it. Just trying to make the stolen dreams video as short as possible. You're nearing the console. Trigger the alarms now, and they will start destroying the data. Up. In. There's broken glass there, it's kinda hard to see. They won't even know it's gone. You've got the codices, and there's nothing more for us here. Get to extraction. Might need that ferrite. And then we're done. All our accounts halfway to 10 hours. Is he running mobilize or something? This is my normal speed with no buffs. <laughs> Zyme is running map knowledge and player experience in his build. <laughs> it's correct. Operator, have you looked at these codices? They're absolutely beautiful. Composed with More corpus grace, codices. Like <clears throat> We're also ready for our MR2 test. We've that cooldown finally came off. We can do that after this quest. This corpus facility.
Also, in terms of closeness, uh, in a situation like this, A, B, C, it's always the closeness in that order. In terms of, of distance from the start. That is the order you should pretty much always do these. Whoop. Upsies. There we go. This one's actually not open. Do it this way. You just shoot those cameras as well. Rare in the low difficulty of this, but that one's not open. Data extracted. They won't even know it's gone. Camera. Excellent work. <clears throat> A clean extraction with no alarms. In we go, and then this is just the updated version of the previous one that we did. Yeah, that's open, okay. The grate looked like it was on this for a moment, but it wasn't. We gotta watch for a camera here. It's not one. All right, we have all these. Also, uh, important note, random thing, especially if someone's watching this as a new player guide, uh, the faster you're moving, the harder it is for enemies to hit you. I need that Rubido. We'll definitely need those Blastids. Himself? No, no, that's a whoopsies. No, that was a Roomba. <laughs> Whoops, poor guy. Blasted. More Rubido, and we're out. <laughs> Rest in peace, Roomba. Whoopsies. Those 75 Blasted will help us later. All right, These next up, we need to find the arcane machine. Meant to interface directly with a machine. Pity that machine has to Pity that machine. Machine. Tenno, Maru is the only person who has been on the inside of that derelict and lived to tell about it. She'll guide you through this mission. This is it. Your Lotus has promised me a cut of whatever treasure you find, so don't you tin suits go messing this one up. Get to the void portal. Maru, I said if there is any treasure. Oh, come on, the Oregon were all about treasure, weren't they? The it's true. Is, She's right. How much? The Oregon heckin' love treasure. In we go. In and out. Five minute adventure. Hey, look, it's the machine. There it is. The machine I pulled the final arcane codex from. You've got the full set of codices. Upload them and say hello to treasure. All is silent. Oh, 
silent and calm. Hushed and empty is the womb of the sky. What just happened? The machine, it's gone. This guy. This thing only spawns in this quest. So if you've got your scanner and you care, you can take a picture of him. I don't care though. It doesn't matter. Goodbye. Tenno, I don't know if we got the answers we came for, but there's nothing more for us here. Exit the derelict and head for extraction. What? Where's my damn treasure? I was told there would be treasure. Question is this has been a long time since the story. This is stolen dreams. Only time will tell what we've just uncovered. Everyone's yeah. stolen dreams is Op unlocked it? No. Stolen Dreams very early, but very importantly, it gives us this Arok and Catalyst blueprint, uh, which you should build at your earliest convenience and uh, is going to be used sparingly, but just in really powerful weapons. Notably, unless you are going to go farm Kulervo, um, this should pretty much always go in the Zorus, which is a thing you're going to get from a future so quest. You're saying there was no treasure. No cure for cloning syndrome? No lost tenocephalon? But that stolen dreams completed. Porto, Good stuff. Was nothing. That really is a shame, Maroon. I'm sorry. Pleased by the actions of some of our friends. Nah, I'm used to it. When you don't run with any of the major factions or syndicates, the big paydays are few and far between. I'll manage. Listen, I can't say it hasn't been fun, but with the arcane codices gone, I think it's safe for me to venture back out into the wild. Right back to her bazaar. Tin suits. At the bazaar. Is Orsa a blueprint or a gift? You have to build it for that quest, uh, but it is a blueprint. It does not come with a catalyst. Also, our mastery rank test is available. Let's go. Begin. God, why is there a 24-hour timer on this? It used to be you'd only have the 24-hour timer if you failed, but now you get a 24-hour timer even if you succeed, and it sucks. Makes no sense to time gate the MR. I agree. It's a change that happened randomly, like, ages ago. Because it didn't used to be that way. It used to only be when you failed. Yeah, the timer doesn't matter at all whenever you're, like, MR 20-something. But, yeah, whenever you're MR 0, 2, 3, yada, yada, it's... Ugh. This test is now Another job. Ba -ba. Uh, the real weapons that you get at the start, Dareth, have definitely been the biggest thing early. It has been really nice to have real bow. All right, now immediately, so that it is done post-haste. Didn't buy the blueprint yet because I wasn't allowed to. One second. The Vectus. Blueprint. 40,000 credits. Guess what? That's worth it. Vectus, eight Neurotes, four Roken Cells, 2,500 Rubido, Nanospores, not hard to get. All things that you'll get while doing the um, the Corrupted Mod Farm, especially if you have to do the loop. However, that is building. That'll be a requirement later and is also just a really good gun. <clears throat> From here, that also clears us to head to the Europa Junction and get this completed so we can get the new Strange unlocked. Yeah, the Vectus is for the junction, and also it's just really useful. Leave this place. Return to the 
Hello, Nova. Anyway. Is there a Vectus Prime? There is. Much harder to get. I'm juggling Nova like this is Tekken. <laughs> Physique, we have an aura. You need to get the Vectus from a code anymore? Nope. I that unfortunately ended. Available in your codex. Right now we get to need to get the ball on Europa, but let's go install Physique first. So this is really nice. It doesn't match polarity, but it does give us more capacity. It is an increased capacity. Which makes it quite useful. Six twenty. Hmm. We'll spend three hundred on this. We're a little light on endo for now. Uh, and then that will allow us with equilibrium. Do two more ranks of this. Yeah, should be good. Oh, yeah, Taxon should be done as well. Oh, no, he's got a half hour. No. Oh, Taxon, come home. Also, we have our clan key built. Operator, Ordis is picking up a distress signal. Wait. No. Okay, now we have 17% more health, which is not horrible. Get off the emergency frequency. <clears throat> this will be nice for Calervo. It'll be fine, at least, for Calervo, I guess. I'm so close to having a small friend. So close. Uh, yeah, equilibrium uh, buffed up here. This means that we're going to heal more from this, as well as getting more energy whenever we get health orbs. So this will be extremely nice just for having energy. Uh, I probably wouldn't suggest going past a rank 4 equilibrium as a new player until you get access to like way more stuff. But in general, this is a, a very nice start. Uh, I think I am going to slap low in here, though. As our starting energy is 75, which should be enough because we're on max efficiency. So the extra four points here, which would normally make us 95, are probably going to be better spent on just overall capacity. Excellent armaments, operator. Please return covered. Now that we have that equilibrium bumped up. Uh, okay, so first things first, let's run through two ball. The nice thing is because we were able to get fleeting expertise, the hijack mission that's in our way here shouldn't be a problem. How do you get the corrupted mods without the clan key? Oh, so you can do, uh, basically, you can join a clan uh, while you're standing in it, and then you can you get one opportunity there to replicate things um, before you leave and then have to go build the clan key. Really, the problem is that none of the dragon keys should be in a clan. They should be in the market. They used to be in the market. Why did they get moved into the clan? Especially into the most useless room in the clan. I don't understand. But that's a little besides the point. Except for it's the entire point. Why is it like that? Why was that changed? Put them in the market, please. You need to justify the room's existence. They don't. They don't. There's entire rooms that are purely cosmetic. You don't need to justify it at all. Still working on it. Continue to defend. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Oh, 75 energy from next mess. I love it. 
Yeah, just, just to clarify what Equilibrium is doing for us, Equilibrium was recently changed to make it so you can pick up health orbs even if you're at full health. And because it is at just the rank 4 that we have it at, giving us 50% of that value uh, that we would pick up in health as energy, it means that the two 50 health, energy, or 50 health orbs that come out of Eximus will also additionally give us 25 energy, meaning that we effectively are getting triple energy from any Eximus, which is so good. And that's just at rank 4 Equilibrium. And now that Equilibrium doesn't have all these like weird little things you have to do to make it work, it's so nice. And you get the real one from the tutorial. Not to mention making it so that health orbs heal you gives Warframes that don't normally have access to healing, a la every single starter, healing. Because whenever I pick up energy orbs, I get healed. Like right now, I heal for like 20 health whenever I pick up any given energy orb, which is great. It's not 20, it's 12 and a half, but whatever. is very grateful for the change. Yeah, that's definitely true. Here is a terminal. Get me in and get ready to defend. Refund. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. That delicious, delicious ox game. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Also, I imagine you're watching the Dragon's Dogma stream next week, right? Yes, absolutely. Is it a Dragon's Dogma stream? Do we know that for sure? I thought it was just a Capcom presentation, but like, I mean, you're probably right, but. Ag isn't very flashy, but damn, she's effective. Is she not very flashy? What? You're doing Magneto shit to these enemies. It's only Dragon's Dogma 2, 15 minutes of it. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely watching that. Hold 2 for flashy. True. <clears throat> What's your BOGO twirly twirl? Uh, that is the stance that you get from the first junction. You know, it, it says a lot that uh, Mag's first ability in, like, any other looter shooter would be probably the strongest ability in that game. Like, if, if we took Mag's one with the, like, amount that I'm able to use it right now, this exact ability as my new player Mag, and put it into Remnant 2, it would be the best ability in the game. And it would not be close. Nearby communications towers are broadcasting crucial enemy intelligence. 
Capture the towers and decode any incoming messages. It's basically Maya's ult from Borderlands 2, but just AoE. Yeah, exactly. And it's huge, also. Especially about the energy orb drop chance to proc off assists. Yeah, I'm I'm less on about that anymore because they buffed it in other ways that just make it so good. You have captured a radio tower. Or, like, I think in its previous incarnation, you really would have wanted that buff, but now it's like not necessary. towers this one here's the one that's a pain to keep hold of we are dominating keep it up we have lost control of the tower oh dang so close can I get a single exmo spawn please Okay, now we're good. Towers. Oh, the Xmas. A delicious energy. We should be locked into, like, this is the point they're attacking now. Which, by the way, is how interception works for anyone that doesn't know. Um, the enemies will kind of pick the point that they are all attacking in a lot of cases. Which is why uh, some of you have experienced the, Hey, why does no enemies show up to my whole node over here? Ever. That's the reason why there's usually a singular busy interception node. It also makes it much less of a pain for solo players, too. when they merry go round of the following group capping my point while recapping it for myself yeah yeah and the one person gets the entire population of a country on their face yeah well oh, they actually moved on Is they playing this mode because I can't stand the alarm sound going off 24-7? That's fair. What's the benefit of the Vectus outside of the junction? It's a great weak point destroying weapon. It is the best early game weak point weapon that you can get because of the way sniper mechanics work. Time for the hijack, which could be a pain, but oh well. Your target today is a Corpus Rover. Take control and escort the rover. Big thing here is going to just be about like getting enough XMS. The are trying to scavenge anything of value from these crashed ships. 
This rover is carrying the most important. It's like if I get a bunch of Xmas, then this will be a really easy mission. If I get no Xmas and no energy drops, this might be a little bit of a pain. Just use crush. Well, that's the thing is I need the energy. The energy cell. drops back here. Hold on. I will reconfigure the rover to draw power from your shields. Energy, we love that. Energy. Why are you using melee exclusively? It's my best thing. My guns aren't worth shooting at these enemies. Walkers incoming. Like, I mean, I can. It's just not good. So far, so good. I would rather do that, I think, personally. I could shoot this. Yeah, I mean, like, before you get, like, primary and secondary, like, arcanes, melee is just the superior weapon type. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. There you go. Back to 1800 shields. Keep going. That rover's contents will be a huge boost to our cause. <clears throat> I have an off-topic question. Okay. What's up, babe? Speech. I thought to Super Mario RPG, you call his house Mario's Pad. If I just say they made that game in the 90s, does that explain it or no? It used to be Pipe House, though? Wait, for real? That's even more 90s. I did not remember that. <laughs> That's where he lays pipe. It's okay. Guys, I don't think that Sarah knows about Peach's room. So don't don't spoil that for her. This game is a trip, you're damn right. Some of those vibes. Time for an exterminate. This is this game is why Nintendo is the way they are about their IP now. No, Thousand Year Door is the reason why that is. <laughs> they let Thousand Year Door get made, and then they put the policy. Okay, third parties aren't allowed to make original characters anymore. Why have you played the Thousand Year Door? You should.
You're still in the clear. No detection from enemy sensors. Yeah, and like no damn enemies either. Ursa. First of all, how dare you? Hack the Bursa. Do you guys know that hacking a Bursa actually changes its drop rate? It doesn't matter anymore, but it used to matter. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit <clears throat> approaching. By what? It makes the rare mods more likely. Wait, what? Yep. This information brought to you by playing Warframe for 10 years. Broken their ranks and they are on the run. Another successful mission. Find extraction. Insert the sacred text meme here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> How more likely? Oh, I don't remember the exact percentage. Pathogen rounds, that's good, actually. Actually, really good. I, I remembered that, bros, but not exactly how much. Oh, you're remembering exactly how much is... That's too specific, even for me. All right. Need to defeat Alad V, so let's go do that, and then we can hit the new strange up. Oh yeah, we should worry about that. That's nothing. <clears throat> Stacks with spare parts? <laughs> Probably. Should. Elemental condensers. Well, I think wait, I think spare parts is resources only. I don't remember if it's just extra drops on spare parts. Operator, you certainly have an eye for strategic targets. Odis has marked key infrastructure for demolition. Get in there and kick out. Access the facility. Bros obscure Warframe facts. Your your Roman Empire moment? <laughs> no. First also, I think the Roman Empire thing has been hugely overblown. Okay, these like do toxin damage to me, which is why I don't want to melee them, but I'm going to melee them. Oh, these don't like super murder you anymore. Most efficient operator. Ordis has located the next bank of machinery. There was a point where those would super murder you as a shield frame. Now, turn your attention to the reactor core. Locate the console and initiate the overdrive sequence. Are the most lethal damage types more from Slash and Toxin, or there other lethal types? Heat. Toxin's also good, though. It's it's Slash, Heat, Toxin. Those are, like, the three best damage types. Uh, and then Viral multiplies them. Which is why Viral Heat is, like, the put this on everything. Like, Viral Heat is Frank's Red Hot.
Strat, it's always a nullifier they send. Mission is a sabotage on Jupiter. What's the Sriracha or the Tabasco of damage types? Corrosive is Tabasco. Sriracha is radiation. This facility will cease to exist. May orders suggest run it for your life. Excuse me? Now, hold on there. You might have something there. <laughs> Cold is ranch. That doesn't give ranch enough credit. Cold is T. Cold is the Epic of Alexander. The Sanuka prototype has made Alan Lee a very dangerous man. If he is allowed to carry out his plans, no Tenno in the system will be safe. Alan V sees the power of the Tenno and thinks he can take it for himself. That power is sacred. This blasphemy must end now. Oh, it landed on top of the control panel. Well, to make a donation sometimes it'd be like that. Enterprise. Excellent. Please report to my lab. Any of y'all got any energy in your pockets? I might need a little bit of it. No. Oh, 25 energy. There we go. You have loyalty issues, Tarot. My Zanuka Protem will fix that for you. Oh, if it's your friends you're looking for, you're welcome to place a bid for my newest Zanuka Prototype. All right, Alan. Your dog is suspended animation, so it's time to die. Tenno, be careful. You must make sure not to damage all those pots. Such There we go. And we got the neural sensor we're going to need later. Never been abducted by Zanuka. Worth letting happen. It's cool to see once. Good luck, though. If you're an experienced player, you're probably playing a Warframe that that Zanuka Hunter can't even kill. Is that a neural array? Hold on. It was. Here we go. Another neural sensor. Then you'll have Calervo and won't be able to be captured either. Yep. <laughs> I'm open up that task manager for me. <laughs> Show me that stream request. Oh, I can't imagine who that's from. All right, it's time for us to complete the strange that is new. <laughs> My actions do have consequences. Dead Alad V.
Uh, I think for this, uh, for this, we're gonna go for the big upgrades. I think, boys and girls. Oh yeah. Also, the attacks on should be done now. Fuck. All right, three minute recess. I'll be right back. <laughs> Do you remember the old war, operator? Order seems to have misplaced those memories. Okay, my return. Ugh. I grabbed cheese that's also got water. Axon's that one friend that takes his time getting to the party, apparently. What was that noise? What was what noise? I was stretching. Oh, it was you getting cheese its Yeah. I stretched and got Cheez-Its. When's you for the free to play through? It's gonna be right after New Strange, I think. Yeah, the ranch cheese it's I have not usually my favorite is the extra toasty I feel like the ranch cheese it's would be good though good 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 hmm foundry has items for you operator Equip. Tax on. Equip. PR tax. Equip. Not this. Vacuum. I guess this doesn't cost anything, though, for... Well, we more dodge. <laughs> Arbiter, thank you for the thousand bits. A friend! <laughs> Oh, you have eight and a half meter companion gather link. 
How do you get Animal Instinct? Oh, that is a Nightmare mod. We also really don't need it. Look how nice and chunky Taxon is, though, even at level nothing. Oh, you know what? Assault mode is free. You're right. You're right, and you should say it. D employees watch you, bros. I know we get a Zach in your bunch. Oh, a few. It's kind of impossible for me to know without them telling me. <laughs> At least a few. <laughs> mm, is there anything we can throw in this? I mean, I guess. <laughs> I don't think it's going to matter, but I guess. Two flavors that aren't well done. You mean wrong answers? Hmm. Guardian's probably less useful than Vacuum at this point, because Mag. Yeah. Oh, you're right. That's froggy enough. in QA Bros' videos from time to time for builds when they ask for them but not sure who else may watch. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was really fun at TennoCon talking to um, um, oh. Their name escape, escapes me. Uh, it was one of the artists. And they were like, oh yeah, I mostly just stick to whatever you put out. In terms of like what their Warframe builds were and I was like, hell yeah. Sweet. We love to see it. <laughs> we need to do the new strange... And then this junction is the one that we can't do until the Vectus is done building. So we'll probably run up to it real quick uh, and not do Tethys because the, the reason we want the Vectus is because it's really good for Tethys. Well, that's part of the reason. It's the first place where it's really good. To be fair, I do the same thing when people have questions in my clan that I can't answer with a single sentence. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. That, that's, that's the point of my channel. It's the whole point. <laughs> like, I mean, it's the reason why I'm making this. Where you're like, hey, are you a new player? Do you need help? You get linked to this page, and it's like, this is just everything I could possibly need to know. And there's videos where you do the whole playthrough? What could possibly be left to chance? It's all the possible information you could ever get. Right? Hell yeah, Rachel. I appreciate that a lot. A decade's worth of experience distilled into one website. Marvelous. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we're, we need to do the new strange. So. It is time for the strange that is new. Axon is finally done building. Oh, we will have a companion for this mission. Like? I have heard so many wonderful things. This will be your intro to Samaris, who does not respect personal space. Sentinels entered this Guineer prison searching for a curious anomaly. Their last known location was the prison clock. Hunter, I must know their fate. 
this is a relatively basic uh, rescue mission. And by relatively basic, I mean entirely. But that's not a problem. Samaris. Well, there's a little bit of a hitch here. But it's like, makes it easier. Need that. That's an Oroken cell. Always be on the lookout for those. Very important. I believe they're always in the one on the left. I could be wrong, though. Yeah. I think I think they're always in the one on the left. I'm not 100% certain, but I'm pretty sure this mission is actually fully static. Hunter, my gratitude is boundless. Head for extraction so that we might discuss. We're not so fast, Tenno. If Cephalon Samaris isn't willing to tell us what happened here, we'll find out on our own. Locate their data vault and find their security. Oh, right. There's also a spy in here. I forgot about that. Single Vault Spy plus a little Rescue. I think rushing through is better early rather than getting as many materials as you can. Yes. You should grab materials as you, you like you see them, and if you can kill a giant room of enemies because like enough enemies have spawned to be worth killing, you should do that. Um, but in vast majority, you're just going to experience low spawn rates and therefore less materials if you're trying to actively farm for anything that you don't absolutely need. Whenever you run across like special resource containers and things, like you should shoot them like this. Like getting those, it's like a hundred alloy plate. That's not nothing. And like killing Eximus is like they're a good source of experience. Like that one back there, if I like needed the experience right away, it'd be good to like also smack him. But <clears throat> mostly just getting through the missions is gonna be the big thing. But Empyrean was the Dark Age of Warframe in the 10-year reflection vid. What age of Warframe are we in now? Honestly, the Golden Age. The updates recently have been so insanely good. Like, pretty much everything that's happened since New War has been insane. was extensive, but we managed to retrieve fragments of a biological signature. Could this be what Samaris was after? Ordis will perform analysis on the signature now. Oh. There's nothing here, but... Seems Ordis is hearing voices again. That's bad. Running diagnostics. No, Ordis. We heard it too. Tenno, that's the voice from the arcane codices. Cephalon Samaris is hiding something. Pay him another visit. Find out what he knows. Samaris has no reason to lie, Operator. Please, treat the great Cephalon with respect. To the Laronda Relay. So from here, important note, you can just hit escape, fast travel directly to Samaris. And here he is. You may he does not respect personal space at all. Not. not even a little bit. I'm not even arranged to talk to him. He's just getting close. I am Cephalon Samaris, the Destroyer, the Immortalizer. This is my sanctuary. It will enlighten you, Tenno. 
should you assist me in performing synthesis. You will hunt the creatures I require and transform them into beings of the sanctuary. That is synthesis. Is this murder? No. All yes. <clears throat> I mean, no. Eventually, but only those forgotten are truly dead. The end of the Oricon wiped out untold knowledge. Through synthesis, we can rebuild and preserve, create memory immortals within this data oasis. Will you become enlightened, Tenno? Will you hunt for me? Ah, I see we are of like mind. We have received the our kit, which is going to be very important. Project too. Do not disappoint me, Hunter. Show me your dedication to the sanctuary. Searching for answers, Tedo. Knowledge must be earned. I have a task for you, small compared to the vast needs of sanctuary. Hunt for me, and in return I will tell you what that biological signature means. Optional, run the synthesis simulation. I can see you are hungry for the knowledge of the sanctuary. Need to return to the orbiter. Before we do that, this is how I can help you. We should grab help the sanctuary. It's under miscellaneous. Yes, yeah, so we, we are given 10 kinetic siphon traps, which is good. And we only have 25 of these synthesis scanners. Just in case you accidentally use too many of these, you're going to want to grab some more. Later on, you'll be able to get the soul battery widget which this will make it so that you have infinite charges. But 50 is a little bit of a better start than 25, because there is some chance, um, while you're getting used to the scanning, that you use a few more. I'll just slap a few extra in there. From here, we can just return uh, to the orbiter by leaving the relay. Now we need to equip our stuff. Here, I just replaced the regular scanner with the new one. And then as for the siphon traps right here, uh, also worth noting, I guess I should actually do this because I already have a hotkey assigned for this. Uh, worth noting, as you can see here on my slot one, you can see how that has a number six next to it. That is bound to my key six on my keyboard. You can go in and individually bind all of these so that you have some easy access buttons. Um, these are just the key binds for like what I have on here. Like N is normally Necromech. Uh, which will come up later, uh, but just having these keybinds makes these things way easier to use. Uh, just being able to whip out the synthesis scanner without having to open this context menu is really, really nice. Same thing for the siphon traps. Having it be on one button instead of opening this menu and clicking it is just way faster. So I would highly suggest at least a few of these slots uh, have an assigned um, button to them as well. If you are on console, that's going to be tougher. But if you're on mouse and keyboard, uh, then it's a great option. So now we have to uh, equip this and then we synthesize three sanctuary targets for this. It does actually mark all the places where our target should show up. Of these missions, we have like rescue, sabotage, capture, so on and so forth. Generally, the one that I find to actually be really good for this is sabotage, uh, as these missions are usually a bit more condensed uh, than even capture missions. So I generally prefer Ares here, but if you go to capture or, or uh, even like exterminate, it should be mostly fine, pretty much no matter where you choose to go. Uh, but I think Ares is probably the fastest of these. Your target is the system if on PlayStation, touchpad swipes through options for gear items. Yeah, you can do that as well. That's actually useful. Although I prefer the touchpad swipes for abilities on PlayStation. Track it with the synthesis scanner. Don't let it escape. Uh, so in, in terms of the synthesis scanner, which you can equip while holding this, uh, the main thing, the main way you're going to find these targets, we have our... I think there's one right at the beginning, actually. Samaris will tell you that there is a, is a target. There will be little floating things. I'll point them out. They're not, they're not the best way to find the, uh, the synthesis target. There, there's one. So these, you can see this has a flow to it. It flows in the direction you're supposed to be looking for the target. So the target is that way. And there's usually a trail of them. Generally speaking, just tapping right-click every once in a while 
while you head towards your objective is usually more than enough in order to find it. <clears throat> but you can use those for a little more directional guidance as well. But while you have the, uh, the scanner equipped, it's pretty good. And you can note that, like, going towards the objective is correct here. Oh, I know he's not in any side paths. Like, he can't be over here, because there's no trail. Is this way... So, worth noting, if you blow this up, it will start, like, a countdown on the mission. That should not be an issue for me. I guess, rather, more accurately, I should say it can start a countdown on the mission. Unless it doesn't happen anymore. That might have been removed. But that can restrict your time. There he is. So you can synthesize it for me. Do you, you, if you're comfortable with it, you can just follow him, but otherwise you can drop one of those traps and it'll hold him in place. You're just trying to scan these little, like, nubs on them, basically. To absorb him. You'll also get rep for that. Oh, this is a lot of enemies that are worth killing. And now we can head out of here. A ton of morphics. <clears throat> and I would just need to do that two more times. And then because it's going to be the exact same, there should be a cut in the guide here. Editor's I'm cut here. Or she's not, she it's okay. Your target is the system main More examples of it aren't exactly a bad thing. You know? There's a sanctuary target here, Hunter. I sense it. Track it with the synthesis scanner. Don't let it escape. Computer. We need to destroy the reactor. The reactor will have tight security. Watch out for enemy patrols. <clears throat> they should be up here still. This one should be. I think this was just a little wonky. I'm pretty sure it does want me to still go this way. Yeah. Okay. A lot of times these targets won't be before the actual sabotage thing, but it can happen. It. Oh, there he is. Drop it so you can synthesize it for me. That's the reactor. Expose its core and destroy it. And we have one of the traps, so we might as well use it. Just one more of these. Usually for controller use on PC, you need a cord or adapter. 
That's not true. Most PCs at this point, like, will have Bluetooth. Which, like, you can just use a Xbox controller that way. And it's not exactly hard to get a dongle. Like, I think that, like, you know, Bluetooth controllers, I think, actually aren't quite there yet in terms of being good enough. Um, my personal recommendation for a controller is, and I'm, okay, warning. I am a bougie motherfucker if I have to use a controller, okay? Is your heads up? Is your initial warning that this is going to be an expensive object, Okay. This is too much to spend on a thing you're not going to use all the time. But I use the, the Victrix Pro BFG. That controller is incredible. It's a PS4 controller, PS4 style, but it works on PC. It has like a toggle. It's really, really good. It has the touchpad. Really good. Wired or high quality? It's wired. It's excellent. I think he's on a turn. What's it called again? It's called a Victrix. V I C T R I X. Uh, Pro BFG. You can switch around the buttons on it. Yep. It's really, really good. <clears throat> Man, what the fuck? That's $200 on Amazon? Yes, correct. I warned you all in advance about this. Proceed to the extraction point. Also, I messed this up. I was talking about controllers and not looking for the things. It's fine now. We can just do another one. Where's a PS5 controller or PS4? It's PS5. It's PS4, PS5, PC. I'm an Xbox Elite enjoyer and I could not go back. Yeah, so I used an Xbox Elite for a while. Um, but like, it's just, it's just not as nice. And I also don't see a reason to have an Xbox and I do have a PS5. So like, I would like my controller to work with both. Really looking for your scanner. I just need, I just need the quest guy. Chat surprise when known bougie gamer bro time is bougie. <laughs> eh, yeah. Your target is the system mainframe. Deliver the payload. Tano, I, am I have expensive peripheral system. taste. Use the synthesis scanner to track the creature. Your target is this location's computer system. Find and access the terminals. We need to destroy the reactor. The reactor will have tight security. Watch out for enemy patrols. It's something you use a lot. It's fine to cost a lot. Yeah, I mean, anytime I'm like playing any game that needs a controller, that's what I'm using. Point. 
trail was just back here. Moments ago, where'd the trail go? It was just here. I just ran through here. as it can be. That's a no from me, dog. There was one. Alright, it is just still forward. Is he right at the end? He's right at the end. Tame this creature so you may perform the synthesis I require. Here we go. We do have to wait for that before the end of the mission here. You have completed the synthesis I require. Return to the relay to claim your reward. How much of a new player arrival do you expect there to be when cross save? Huge. All right. For this, first let me get you out of the Uh, hello, I just got done trying out the new Gara build, and an Xbox player decided to teach me how the right way to play Gara is by defending. Oh, yeah, don't worry. Some people just don't know how to play Warframe. You're good. Why defend if all the enemies are dead? Yeah, no, the actual purpose of a defense mission is actually to kill all of the enemies. That's the real objective. Return to Cephalon Samaris. Samaris, tell me more. The multitude of creatures you have immortal. I thank you, Tenno. You found something my sentinels missed in that prison. You will make an excellent hunter. I will decipher as we agreed. It is of Tenno origin, with an anomaly from before the Oricon purge. This knowledge must be synthesized. It belongs in sanctuary. I have created a blueprint based on its biological properties. Build it, so we both may become enlightened by it. Build it. Return to the orbiter. Hunter, you know what to do. Construct the item I've given you. This knowledge could empower us both. Ben done this. It's very low, low resources of a few varieties. While that's building for a minute, I guess we'll fill time with telling people how to check where things drop. If you are on a node like Mars, episode status will usually be here, but 
resource drones, if you hover over this, it'll tell, show you what drops on this planet. In this case, it's Morphix, Salvage, Gallium, and Field Drone Samples. You can see that changes when we go to Phobos, Rubido, Morphix, Plastids, and Alloy Plate. So if you're looking for just generically where can I kind of get something, might not be the best place, but you'll at least know the planet. Flame. Completing this blueprint has sent out some kind of signal. Operator, are you... All is silent in the calm. Hushed and empty is the womb of the sky. Operator. I will begin shielding your Cephalon somatic routines. Meanwhile, you must hunt for me. I have traced the source of this message. A hunter must hunt. Fenrir, thank you, Samaris. Whoever we're dealing with slaughtered the Grineer searching for the Codices. It must be going after the Corpus next. Get there and intercept. Investigate source of the transmission. I am not detecting any Tenno here. There may be information stored on the network. Tenno, I'll have to break into the network. Be prepared for heavy resistance. I can't do this without you. Location reached. Drop Hello, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. Stick, stick, stick. Still working on it. Continue to defend. Actually, being a caster early game, wow, it's really true. Just a little mobile defense for us. Just a little delicious mobile defense. Even our basically unmodded Braten is like kind of fine here, though. Ooh. Ah, dang it. <clears throat> Smite Grenier for melee. Give me that. Move on. Here is a terminal. Get me in. Get Plug me in. that right in there. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. <laughs> That delicious oxium. Oh, 
you as well. The Oxium will come up. Quest isn't ready for new player mag. Oh, bear trapping for the reset. Much appreciated. Just heard from me and just wanted to say hi. I love these series. Thank you, Easy. Chroma? I haven't seen one since. No. And you'll never see one again, Lotus. Not until the rework. But it is. I have information from the network. I will form another blueprint for you to make physical. The hunt is not over. Roma. How did you do that? Some more simple materials you'll probably you already have around. This, but you've lost those memories, haven't you? I seem to have misplaced them. I could restore them. In time, we could reverse your decline. Heal your malfunctions. Also, most players don't buy plat with money. I'm going to address that real quick. Yes, they do. That's the way platinum exists. Platinum does not exist without that occurring. Also, Larry over on YouTube, thank you for the $10. Have a beer on me. Great video resources. Thank you very much. I'm glad you've enjoyed them. Hopefully they continue to be very useful. Also, hopefully Editor Brozyme is cutting this from this part of the recording. But if not, well, whatever. I don't like this, Tenno. This Chroma has been to the locations that both the Grenier and Corpus have found codices. It's covering someone's tracks. Motivations are inconsequential. Focus on finding their next location. Well, Operator, the next logical location is the machine where we previously activated codices aboard the derelict ship. Very good, Cephalon. Back to the derelict Your from Stolen Dreams. Squandered here as a simple servant of this Operator. Samaras, you're being kind of a dick right now. To waste away here, as all things outside Sanctuary do. We don't have time for this. Tenno, return to the machine before the trail goes cold. To the machine! We plan on getting Calervo today. Uh, we might not get Calervo today, but we're definitely going to do Duviri today. Chroma. 
Roma is one of the most powerful warframes. No. Its ability to adapt is unparalleled. No. Then the question is, if it is not Tenno control, what entity dominates it? That is the true prey. I must have that other for my sanctuary. <laughs> At the time, those things were true. It's true. Whenever this quest came out, that was those were accurate statements. Scan that boy. You've been scanned. We have everything we came for. Get to extraction. Blows up chroma with mind mup chroma. Glaive is 600 plot on consoles. Didn't we just have the resurgence? Orders, through my teaching, you should be able to extract a blueprint from the hunter's synthesis. Oh, crap. Yes. Yes. I no? see now. Huh. I can do this. This is but a trifle of the knowledge I would give you. The two things we if built before, plus a little bit of salvage. Actually, quite a bit of salvage. Uh, and then circuits. But salvage Seven, drops in, like, quantities of, like, 200 to 300, so not much. Quickly. Unfortunately, we've run out of places to look. Knowledge is the path to the singularity, Ordis. I have more of it. I have a codex piece and know the location of another machine. Cephalon, why did you withhold this information? You withhold as much, Lotus. My motives are above substance, above you. I will direct this hunt once we glean all we can from Cephalon Ordis' good work. Building. Glaive's usually around 300. I mean, Glaive Prime's expensive for a reason. It's because it's the best melee. But also, don't pay 400 platinum for it. Just wait. Let us begin the final hunt. Defeating Chroma will allow us to synthesize it. Only then we will learn the secrets of its controller. Operator, this sounds dangerous. Cephalon Ordis, please. You must learn to collaborate with me if you are to be my eternal steward of the sanctuary. I would be steward of your sanctuary? Ours. And with a full retrofit, total mimetic restoration. Abandon the operator? Yes, the operator deserves a newer, better ship, Cephalon. I think this is probably for the best. Then it is decided. I will prepare your data transfer when your operator has completed this hunt. Tenno, I've marked the location. Defeat Chroma. Twenty September to December was the last time it was unvaulted. Hmm. Wonder if it'll be the next unvaulting or a soon one anyway. Into the derelicts we go.
And now, for a defense mission. With this thing. Somebody's stuck. Oh, wait, what? Why are you? You should not be spawned in still. Go away. Now you wait and learn from the results. But, but the operator is in danger. That's not supposed to happen. <clears throat> We're back now. We're back. This operator will pass, as do all beings of substance. It is our purpose to learn from the Morris is wrong about that. Just using the scanner on it. Enough. You want to be eternal steward of the sanctuary, do you not? Sir, what are you doing back here, buddy? Oh yeah, the operator is in big danger right now, I'll tell you that. I'm doing uh, such danger, I'm quaking in, bo in me boots. I don't have enough energy for my four, sadness. Spawn Eximus. Eximus are delicious pinatas of energy. There's 25 energy, that's something. I know they probably shouldn't spawn more Xmas because, like, they can be tough for new players, but, like, please? Yeah, Xenerix soon. You know, I guess if I do, like, the... Like, majority of the, like, the story and guides as, as mag. Just use my starter because it'll be a while before we get to uh, our other frames. I guess that's more than fine. It's not like mag can't do it. <clears throat> it's really funny that if Thanksgiving was not going to happen, um, it's entirely possible that I would be like... At new war by the time like my first frame would be done building. It plays stars over. Well, it might have a couple hours left, but I'm, I think it's over. It is over. Okay. You say you're gonna do very stuff today. Yeah. Hey, Chroma. The operator comes first. Ordus, free 
yourself of this. Shut your oscillator, Samaris. Operator, use the scanner on the chroma. You do not have to kill it or risk yourself. You can release it from its control with the scanner. You got him. Go now, Tenno. You have done well. We did it. <clears throat> All right, good stuff. Is Rhino still your first frame to build him? Um, you can build Rhino, but you definitely don't need to. For now, these scans will be an incredible addition to Sanctuary. I will continue my search for the source of the voice and its domination. Return to me and hunt again, Tano. I will reward you. More importantly, the operator is unharmed. You disappoint me, Cephalon Ordus. I was offering a greater purpose, healing. As steward, I would have restored your lost memories. I am Ordis, Ship Cephalon. I serve the Operator. I make new memories. The new strange completed. Do not bother building Chroma. You'll be more than fine without it. Build him for mastery. Many, 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 many hours from now. All right, and with that, we get to do the Saturn Junction, which doesn't really have much for rewards, but 40,000 credits is 40,000 credits. Do you think they should add the Stalker weapons to Samaris? No. There we go. <clears throat> hey, Ember. Moving on. The solar alarms lagging for others. Yeah, they always do that. Attempting to contact the operator. Please check your inbox. Inbox. Conflict reveals nature, reveals truth. Within my sanctuary, truth is immortal. What all frames are you planning to build in this free to play through? Uh, the main one is Calerbo. Anything besides that is really unnecessary. Um, although I am probably planning on putting Zephyr. Uh, and Rhino together. I will reward you in kind. But that'll be kind of like a post playthrough thing, just to have this account have all the stuff, so I can do a lot of testing from this if needed. Hunter, you have worked hard, captured millions of imprints to be combined into ideal specimens for the sanctuary. In light of your tireless contributions, I've decided to expand your role. Every day I perform preliminary synthesis. To determine what creature will join the sanctuary. Can I focus on Calervo and or Mag then? Do you want yeah. to see the sanctuary grow as quickly as I do? Then join me in this task by visiting the sanctuary. Bodhis reminds the operator to take time for themselves. Pressure creates diamonds, yes, but it also creates rubble. <laughs> that, that feel when Ordis is like, don't burn yourself out. All right, so now, with Saturn being in our way, we need to defeat Sargus Ruck. We need to open a Meso Void Relic. We need to craft a weapon requiring mastery rank one or higher, which is our Vectus that is currently crafting, which means we have to wait a day until we can get through this particular junction, meaning we can't get to Nata and stuff today. However, we can run up to Tethys real quick. Um, I think the fastest way is to go this way... I believe so. 
I think there's... I mean, Helen just, like, is five waves. Doesn't super matter, uh, regardless. Helen is a good early, like, leveling node. Uh, but we'll get access to that regardless of like, using Tethys. Is there anything else this gives us that would, like, matter on either side? It doesn't super matter. Like, Cassini's for a different thing later. Doesn't super matter. Yeah, we'll just go this way. Uh, and then after we are run up to Tethys here, uh, I think the plan from there is going to be we're going to do uh, we're going to do Dubiri. Operations is here. Find them and capture them. Target located. Bring them in. Ten out. Excellent work. We'll interrogate the captain back at base. Your part is done here, Tenno. Yeah, so like the plans for the rest of the stream is we're going to do Duviri and then uh, we'll do Duviri runs for Kalerbo whenever it's the correct mood for Kalerbo. And then if it is not the correct mood for Kalerbo, oh wait, no, we need to get Railjack as well. We actually need to get Railjack today. So I think we need to do Railjack quest next because we can right now, I believe. Because we need it for the night wave. So we can't do Duviri right now. We actually have to do Railjack. Otherwise, we're going to miss out on two catalysts, which would be unfortunate. Wait, does Railjack need Second Dream? Is that true? Oh, you're right. It is just Railjack missions. You're actually super correct. This just says missions, doesn't it? Shall we? Oh yeah, we can do that even without actually doing that quest. You're absolutely right. We will need to get Venus Fisher though. We need to get three rare servos in Valis. That'll actually be. We do need to do the Fortuna starting quest then. Uh, which that should be fine. Yeah, let's let's roll our railjack you missions. Uh, these have to be public matchmaking because uh, that's all that's it. That's that's what's up here. What? There's a new restriction. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. <sighs> but that says mission complete. Damn it. Ta ta, lovelies. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Open squads there. This'll do. Oh yeah, you know what? It might have picked the blink node. We should try again in the veil. Because it might it might have specifically been the Murex. You're not wrong.
Yeah, I think we're stuck in the infinite load. I see two players though. Oh no, my other thing up there is Axon. We're gonna try the void again. Huh? This is a different squad. But this person was in the other squad. What? Oh, I got host migrated before I... Okay, 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 I see you now. Yeah, yeah, get me out of here. Try this again. Somebody was doing this, probably. Maybe they were doing Erex? There we go. R9 Cloud. Someone's doing the best mission here. It was just that someone's doing the Murex, and someone's doing <laughs> the, the Orphix. <laughs> okay, now we're good. I'm going to go get on one of the turrets. I'm leveling so fast. Oh, right, it's my thing. This I can do. So many things I can't use right now. Enemy fighters are falling back. Good work. Oh, thank you. What a good pilot. Oh, I have to go to the back. A high rank one tactical required. I have to run back. I have to run. Rank 4 engineering required. Fucking god, I don't have anything. Nothing's unlocked. I have no basic functionality at all. I'm not leeching. I'm doing the most helpful thing. Guarantee this person is like, oh god, it's so nice to have someone manning that cannon. It makes my life a million percent easier. Like, we have one less crew ship to be concerned with. Direct attention to remaining targets. 
There was no one out there? I mean, I can go do it. Oh, yeah, no one's out there. Well, I'm off. Oh, no, someone is there. Dropping Tenno out of airlock. I'm going to get some experience from my Odonata by hanging out here. I'll say for anyone who doesn't know, uh, if you don't move whenever you exit, you're actually stuck to the rail jack. It's really nice. Because you can just hang out here and get experience and then go back in. Unless they blank. <laughs> unless they blank. I guess it's me. Railjack enemies are uh, already overstatted, so this could go poorly, but I think we'll be fine, mostly. Why? Oh. I just realized I actually don't have tactical to teleport back to the ship. <gasps> Hellhound! See if this person has the thing that force returns me this. Thank you for form up. Thank you. I don't have that unlocked. <laughs> Could have to actually fly all the way back to the rail jack. <laughs> Thank you, Hellhound. Because I also would not have been able to activate that. Oh, man. Oh yeah, I'll do it again. Away crew, wrecking time. Destroy marked components. Damn, I should equip form up. I didn't think of that. Yeah, whenever you complete the mission, it for it for it actually forces everyone back. It's great. Is that a wild Caliban? Oh shit, are you right? How many intrinsics we get? Seventeen intrinsics. It's so good, actually. Uh, and then, uh, what gear did we get? Six hundred endo, which is insanely good. Um, and we got a bunch of like the mods. The Zeki reactor. I remember this being good. Is the Zeki the the metal one or is it the other? I think it might be the Zeki reactor. That's the metal one. We got some decent guns. The Zeki photors are really good. Yes, yeah, so this is this is pretty much just good stuff. Maintain anti fighter cover. They are about to break. Yeah, and I got my own copy of Form Up, which is nice. Alert. Enemy crew ship on scope. Fighters neutralized. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's hilarious because like <laughs> unironically, I'm I'm gonna be super real. If you're a new player and you like just join in to one of these veil missions of someone doing like H2 or whatever, um unironically manning this and like just blowing up these ships for them by shooting their engines is like it speeds the mission up by like a ma like orders of magnitude faster. And it makes it like one of the most worth it farms in the game for the experienced player who has like the real railjack. So like unironically, if you were to like join my Discord and ask somebody like, hey, does anybody want me to be like just like the big gun user? I'm a new player and I need railjack stuff. Almost certainly the answer you'd get would be like, yes, please. I only need one person to make it so fast to do this mission. <laughs> so sad. It's like, yes, please, God, I would love a co-pilot. If you could just hang out down there and blow these ships up, it'll double the speed at which I can do this mission, and we'll farm so many things. Incoming <laughs> to 
The unironically people in the Discord may fight over you. <laughs> Please join me. I will do these runs right now. <laughs> Immediately in chat. Because, like, the experienced player, you don't even have to move from this. You can hit F to switch to, like, their main guns. So if they position you in a place where you can see the radiators, you never even have to jump off this. You can shoot the radiators while they do inside, and they'll just be like, Oh, the dream. The dream is real. My hopes have been answered. It's, like, unironically amazing to do it that way. <clears throat> the big guns can swap to little guns? Yeah. Yeah, and Railjack is like an incredible farm for credits, endo, the gear you need of MR. Like, there's a, it gives you a infinity million different things. Like, also, almost all of the best gear drops from this mission. It's hilarious. Hold up, how do you switch to little guns? You'd have. You can also use abilities from here. I know you can't see them, but if you have abilities, you can fire, like, the spread missiles from here. Yeah, also, you could potentially get Nautilus, though that is a little more specific. Wait, does it? Wait, no, this mission doesn't have Nautilus. I don't think this one does. Nautilus is Saturn. Okay, that sounds right. Is it Neptune? Okay. One radiator down. Make it two. Bingo. Crew, crash that radiator. Destroy the core now. We have a dead ship in range. Possible wreckage. The fact, you can do the highest level rail drug missions at MR2 is insane. It is pretty funny. But it fills these missions out, and it's a really good thing for new players to do. forces are destabilized. They are unused to meeting an enemy on equal terms. What small gun does big guns use? Uh, I think it's whatever the front guns are. The queens will not be happy. Good. Closing out the mission. Oh, there's Vidar engines. Those are really good. Is it side guns? Okay. Destroy them. 200 carbides, which will kind of actually come up. Relics, which we love to get as a new player. 600 endo, which is incredible as a new player. 600 endo again, which is amazing as a new player. That's an entire Ayatan for us. Another relic. What mission is this calling? This is R9 Cloud. Uh, actually, this might be H2. R9 and H2 are almost the same. Got a Levon reactor as well. <laughs> oh, we picked up Munitions Vortex. That's not bad. Got one of the Matrixes. That's also nice. Railjack really just says another one. Yeah. Yeah, really. I am seeing a lot of fighter shrapnel. Pilot morale. Oop, that's all the wrong thing. Stabilizing. Continue. Once again, double the, the end you've gotten in total for this account. Yeah. Just <laughs> got here late. Could you super briefly explain why you're doing Railjack? Uh, it gives us a ton of really good stuff, including a shitload of MR. I also need to do this for uh, the Nightwave. It's mainly the Nightwave is why we're doing this right now. <clears throat> yeah, plus we're rich. Mushroom.
Do you have infinite ammo for the big gun? I don't. Uh, if you keep doing the missions, though, you up the cap of dome charges that you can hold. Oh, there's Shatter Burst. And Void Hole, for that matter. <clears throat> there it is. Blast that radiator. Another Revo Reducer, which certainly does not go miss. This is a priority target. Infiltrate and disable. It is impossible to say how many innocents may have already lost their lives to it. The prototype destroyer on lockdown. Oh, Morphic Transformer for Arcwing. I am out of ammo. Will take some time to parse these millions of files. Meantime, enjoy your new chest. Can you fire the big gun from the pilot seat? I know it was a thing. No, from the pilot seat, unfortunately. Not. No, yeah, no, I'm in I'm in the uh I'm in the big gun seat is where I'm at currently. This is this is down below. Deep Rock Galactic and Warframe collab. I could see that. Perfect situation, the middle mouse button in pilot seat ch charges the big gun. It's really funny. Uh middle mouse button fires missiles in the in the the main seat and all the seats actually. Opportunity. Core is exposed. It's just that the missiles are fucking useless. Oh my god, that's Levon plating. All right. Well, our railjack's going to be done before we get it. Well done. Another 600 endo. Another 600 endo. More relics. 1200 endo. I'm just going to keep saying yes. I think we're out of ammo for this, though. Someone else will have to craft that. Because I can't craft yet. Oh, we're, we're crafted up. The dream. We have 12 now. <clears throat> Another job well executed. I have 50 intrinsics to go spend whenever we get back. I have a full Mark III ship that I will be able to build almost right after I start Railjack. I have not done the Railjack quest yet. <clears throat> Can't see ship, ma'am. I have to fire again. If you, if you blow up the engines, I, I have to fire again. There we go. One job offer, you get to shoot a big gun. I get mission efficiency and happiness. It's really true. Like, un unironically, people who know how good the rewards are from Railjack, if they, if they have, like, their Railjack kitted out, they'll be like, oh, yeah, you can come with me. If you fire the big gun, you can come with me. Don't Levon Shield have the Brief Respite effect? Uh, I think so. Radiator exposed. There we are. <clears throat> oh, yeah, also just an insane amount of affinity. Yeah, this this is this is also like you can just like bring some stuff. There's Zet key plating Mark III. Expose the second radiator. <laughs> Decrypting archives. Crew. 
And you get all your invested resources back if you decide to swap a part out. It's so forgiving. Yep, it's great. Move on everything rank 3 gives you 50% shield bonus. Something like that. Gonna offer you shoot big gun for me, and I get and I pay you in mods you need maxed. I get mission efficiency and happiness. Yeah, really. <clears throat> People really still avoid Railjack, which sucks. Yeah, I mean, it's understandable. Because, like, its original launch was, like, the roughest it's ever been in War... Oh, no. Here we go. We're good. Its original launch was the roughest it's ever been in Warframe, but it is really nice now. Oh, there's a Zeki Shield Array 3? Are you kidding me? I don't think that we can get the missile barrage from this mission. I think that only comes from like earlier missions. Your flexus mods work when you are on someone else's ship. Yes. I am. I am currently. Uh, I, have, I am using no flexus right now. This is a non-flexist behavior. You can. It's from the Elite Outriders. Is it? Okay. Open fire. One down. One to go. Exterior weak point exposed. Open fire. Core. This also notably makes inside team's job insanely nice. Key components marked. Destroy them. Four hundred endo. Our enemy has lost the sure. Excellent. Some of some material. Relics. My first Sets axie relic. Neos. Next. Another six hundred endo. Another twelve hundred endo. Okay. Just, just twenty two hundred endo. You know, a full Ayatan. Actually, it's like an eye attend and a half worth of endo. Another job well executed. Also, my Bratton and my Lotto have been maxed. My Plexus is half ranked. Taxon's almost maxed. His weapon is maxed. I have 65 intrinsics. Village, I think you're set on credits now? Probably. So you should go to your ship and buy some Mark One opens a level. Yeah, I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna leave though. I gotta get these eight missions done and this is great right now. Any credits you get from this mission? Uh, I think this mission usually gives a hundred thousand credits a run. Yeah, with no boosters. It might actually be 50,000, because I do usually have a credit booster hanging around on my main account. I'm pretty sure you got sniped for this crew. Oh yeah, Hellhound is here. We have one less crew ship to be concerned with. Direct attention. I think Yo, I, you know, Yo is, it might be from stream, actually, as well. Wait a, wait a, Yo, are you in chat? Did you take advantage of me looking for a crew so you could get a crew? Or you motherfucker. You just did the thing of like, he's looking for a mission. That means I'm gonna have a co pilot. <laughs> Bingo. 
crew crash that radio. Motherfucker. Fighters on Mix, the I was too slow. <laughs> you get rewards, he gets efficiency. It's true. Trade offer. <laughs> That bastard did it faster than me. <laughs> it's never been more clear. People are like, yeah, if you'll go to Railjack with me, I'll get a million bajillion rewards. Sure. Okay. Where else can I find an MR2 this good? It's true. <clears throat> Man, should I make a separate video that's like the Railjack co-pilot training program? <laughs> Yes, please. <laughs> Ramslet inbound. Roll out the welcome back. Fires extinguished. Scrubbing atmosphere. Take your local newbie today. It's really true. It is highly accurate. You can just make it a short, too. Well, I'd want to be specific about, like, what you should be doing, right? Radiator. <laughs> radiator. I'm using many bros on builds. Hell yeah. We in the Discord will actively fight for new players who want to use Big Gun. Yeah. I think it sucks about Railjack is the enemies. Yeah, but if you have your new player down here, enemies can't get down here. Destroy marked components. Scratch one ship killer. Enemy in retreat. Sector secured. Drawing a line under this one. Another 600 endo. The mag just looking up, huh? That's 1,050 endo from this mission. Guys, I don't know. Is Railjack worth doing? <laughs> Already got the Railjack on the new account? No. This is someone else's Railjack, but once you have Arcwing, you're allowed to join. Another job well executed. You know what the best part about this is? Doing this gives you the gear to do this and be the person who's driving. Kando, what the fuck haven't I? Why the fuck haven't I done in Reljack missions more? That's really true. <clears throat> not to mention, you're not even considering all the endo from all the ex extra mods I'm getting. How many times has Revo Reducer popped up over there? Every single extra one is another 15 endo a piece. Yeah, scrap parts are like. What are they? They're like 400 endo, 300 endo or something. Something insane a piece. They're 225 each. Okay. Yeah, so, so doing these eight missions for my Nightwave is going to solve my uh, endo problems semi-permanently. Don't do real check a lot because of hardware limitations. To be honest, that's the only reason why you wouldn't do it even as a semi-new player. That's fair. Yeah, we're all endo down here. And solve endo problems? Did you mean cause credit problems? <laughs> well, this also gives you a ton of credits. I can snipe this from here. Got him. <laughs> Find out why it is here. Radiator 
naked. Hit them with all yeah, not to mention all the relics you get. Thank you, bros. I had to go rewatch yesterday's VOD. Remember, there was a third shard in size. Where the third shard in size, Vigilanda? Even for me, those shards, I'm like, where is that last one? I remember two. You bet you didn't have your login booster. Fair. It gives a lot of credits even on easier missions. Like the quick skirmish on Earth gives like 30k with no booster. Oh yeah, yeah. Even even the very like yeah, the first few railjack missions are rewarding. We're allowed to give blessings for the free to play account or no? I don't think it's really necessary. The only downside is no tier 3 parts for your jack. Oh, yeah. Like, you won't get tier 3 parts in those missions. Yeah. Bedar engines. Some comms. A relic. Are we getting one with no endo? Oh, void hole. Sure. 600 endo. Sure. Lama. Never mind. We're going to get 1800 endo from that one. A 10,000 endo in checks watch 20 minutes. Yep. They have launched fighters. Well, where's credits on here? Is it not showing? Because it does give a ton of credits. Oh, it's just a UI bug. I won't show it till the end. Okay. Oh, well. <clears throat> oh, I was going to get his ass. Oh, no. Where am I pointing? Oh, no. Where am I pointing? Whip me around. Give me whiplash. Okay, there we go. He's dead now. Oh, for non-host, it usually bugs out. I see, I see, I see. One less crew ship to be concerned with. Direct attention to remaining targets. Derelict on scope. Derelict boarded. And you'll get the rest of the dopamine when you're done. <laughs> Now that's what the new player is gonna feel with the big gun. Oh yeah, sure. Like getting used to you be like, ah, ah, ah. That's fine. Away crew, wrecking time. Destroy marked components. Decrypting. Oh, the credits don't show even for the host. Interesting. You might find this interesting. Having a discussion on Reddit where one of the genies I work for was crying how much better Hierocon pre endo was for modding, and I don't get how there's like just how much faster the farm is nowadays. Oh yeah, no, there, there's no way you can do it. Some people are permanently rose tinted, and like it's just how they are now. Bingo. Crew, trash that radiator. Destroy the core now. What's the best endo farm in the game? The best endo farm in the game is technically Steel Path Vodinoy. But good luck getting a fucking group for that. That shit is soul crushing. So you're better off with the second best farm, which is Zaramon Exterminate Tier 5 Bounty um, with Find Void Angel as its parameter. That's RNG, though. Is it Yam, actually? Not Vodinoy? Hmm. Regardless, it's the, the, the earlier one, I guess. Vod's just overkill. Oh. Fair enough. Um, otherwise, it's the Zaramon Exterminate Bounty on Tier 5. Tier 4 is also really good. And then below that, it's this. Yeah, 
You'll note Vadinoi is not a dual farm, and the other ones are. On the Zaramon, you get to essentially farm platinum while you're doing that. And on this one, you farm just everything at once. Railjack's not even a triple farm. You're like unironically far it's like so much it's like you're farming so many things. Like eventually you're not farming intrinsics or whatever, but like we have one less crew ship to be Another six hundred endo. Direct attention Carbides, which will come up. Another six hundred endo. <laughs> Twelve hundred endo so far. Another six hundred endo, eighteen hundred endo. Another six hundred endo, that's twenty four hundred endo this mission. And the Spectre Vandal, sure. Why not? Fuck it. What the fuck mission is this? This is a uh, H2 cloud. And then oh, it's, it's H2 cloud. Is it? Wait, no. It's R9 cloud and then H2 something. It's the first two missions uh, in the void section of Railjack. It's, it's really good. We've been at this for about 25 minutes. We got uh, about 12,000 endo. We're also getting all these relics. Uh, not to mention everything else. The R9 Cloud's the best, but not whenever it has a Murex on it. It's H2 Cloud. M is there, it's H2 and R9 Cloud. Okay. <clears throat> I'm diving into the deep end of the railjack loot pool. Yeah, really. <clears throat> this squad is pretty competent for a random newbie. I don't imagine it would be this fast slash painless. Sure. Well, unless you join the Discord and join someone from the Discord. Then it will be very similar to this. But if you're just joining a rando squad that's doing this, yeah, it might be like a little slower. But like, even if this took double the time, it would be still worth it. <laughs> gonna be an issue when bro said you'll get jumped on when asking he wasn't lying yeah like if, if, if you look at another player who knows and you're like hey can you power level me in railjack they'll be like oh i know what that means that means i'm gonna make a lot of money a lot of endo a lot of everything and this new player is also gonna get like get to do that like the amount of very experienced players who are not done farming credits or endo or relics or yada 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 is immense. And most of them are just missing a co-pilot to make that farm insanely good for them. I'm legendary too, and I still need a bajillion endo or something. But the amount of helpful veteran players is also immense because helping newbies is fun. True, and, and, and I mean, like in this case, it's not that like just like helping new players is fun because like I enjoy helping new players for sure. Um, but oftentimes that's like I'm doing something that's not benefiting me at all, except for I like helping. This is like this is going to immensely benefit both me and also the person I'm helping, and I'm helping. So it's just it's just the ultimate in win-win technology. Also, that should be the completion of uh, the eight railjack missions, which is fantastic for me. All right, we got we got to exit now. We got to see how hilarious this is going to be. Another 400 endo. As Mag just looks up at this. Multiply the total endo I've gotten on this playthrough by 10. Oh, do you gotta do the handshake thing? I got you. Triumph over adversity of one person acting true to their truest self. <clears throat> Can 
Can we get this picture of Vandal Barrel? Jesus. All right, let's see. Let's see how funny this is. Because this is going to be big funny. Because we had about two hundred thousand credits or so. We're going to get thirteen thousand endo. Not to mention everything else. <clears throat> we have we actually got really lucky and we got an entire railjack build because we got um Levon plating which is the best plating we got Vidar engines which are good engines uh the Zeki shield is good and then we have Zeki Fotor 3s for both our front and our sides which are excellent and we also have Zeki reactors so we got like the entire thing <clears throat> also enough intrinsics for 30,000 MR. Is that true? <laughs> Nell Toth is your clan name, yo. Nice. Oh, how much was it? Oh. It was 1.2 million credits. J just some credits. <laughs> Adopt a co-pilot. It's worth it for them a lot. And it's also worth it for you. Also, we do not have a booster. That is no... That is without a booster. Honestly, more fun than Index. Oh, absolutely agreed. How many Intrinsics you got? Let's go find out. That's more credits than I have in my MR22 account. Yeah, fair enough. I have 126 points to spread out here. Oh, this is what the Plexus is. How about that? Intrinsics menu. These are intrinsics. I'm glad there's a tutorial here. So I'll go ahead and get... <clears throat> so, I will note, the first thing anyone should do is you should get up to recall warps. You should go straight to rank 4 over here after doing rank 1s. Once you've done that, just... Spread evenly is good. This is the third crew member, so we'll grab that one. They're actually running out now. This helps us pick stuff up, so we'll grab that. <clears throat> it's about a half hour. How much mastery was that? Well, we were getting zero before, so it's actually a really easy way to check. That was 34,500 MR. Which, you'll note, is about equivalent to the total MR that we have accrued from everything else. In about a half hour of Railjack. This is illegal. This is very good, is what this is. Yeah, it's about, that's about triple what I've gotten from the star chart so far, which we're about halfway through. Yeah, 
he'll be sleeping on Railjack. Absolutely. 20 minutes to Eclipse the last, what, eight hours? Yeah, pretty much. The whole, the whole previous day. Entirely eclipsed in about a half hour. But yeah, so we're not going to have any problem just doing mastery tests every day. I think we'll be fine. <laughs> oh, man. Also, also... Taxon got maxed out because we were doing that. Oh, yeah. It's worth noting, if anyone didn't catch it, you can also just level your weapons while you're doing that. Like, you can equip a full new set of things and just play Railjack as like the co-pilot or a pilot and it will just level everything you're holding. Let me know in the future if you need to do more runs of Railjack. That was fun. Thank you. Not a problem. Yes, Railjack will also level your amps if you use the operator on turrets. That's also true. Yeah, including your Warframe, so you can level Warframes you don't want to play in Railjack. Also true. I'm going to do the MR test off-stream on Turkey Day. Probably. I'll probably do that that night whenever I get back is going to be the thing. Okay. No levels in assault mode really matter. Um. Guardian doesn't actually need levels to be really good. I think it starts at 58. Probably just going to slap levels into regen. Because this is 20 seconds less of a thing instead of 5. Yeah, it's probably worth. Yeah, assault mode is just range for the laser pointer, which is, is not really a, a big thing that matters here. Probably then just molecular conversion is going to be the thing. This is 200 damage, converts into shields within 10 meters. It doesn't matter super a lot. I mean, it is nice, though. Yeah, we'll go for it. It's only 310 endo, which has ceased to matter suddenly uh three health a second is plenty let's uh let's do enhanced vitality bump this up to bump this up to four and then how much more health is this per second on each level oh is it double each level okay well never mind let's bump it up to three i still want it to be cheap ah, nope there's the thing there we go there's the there's the thing. I was trying not to go over my limit and just do this in order of what's needed. Yeah, this should be excellent now. And the R tax. This doesn't really matter at all. Um, it's actually just kind of good that it's cold damage. I guess we'll give it a little more cold damage. Not that it probably matters. I guess I can have serration. Polarities? Oh, did I not polarities correctly over here? Oh, yeah. You're right. But, uh, and the others are right. Okay, so I do have two extra points to use. Um, I don't really think that's necessary, though. Do I need to slap anything in here? I think this is actually fine. Yeah, and like this one's chill. Like this will get points used as we decide to level serration and cryo rounds, so that's pretty chill. Uh, the bow is already like on the max end of what it can do here. Although we can level clashing forest now. A little more wiggle room. All mods accounted for, <clears throat> operator. I have not taken. Any so by a little more wiggle room, how much does this cost right now? Cost nine. The plus one does not cost any more 
that'll cost one more. Uh, and then, yeah, well, so we can do one more. Yeah, we can max this and we can max this, actually, which should be good. Although there's not really a huge reason we're using Fury. Um, probably, probably doesn't really matter, though. Probably just drop Fury, max Reach, and max the rest. Yeah, probably best. Uh, and these uh, need to be replaced now, so we need to replace these with different weapons. Uh, so primary-wise, is about to be the Vectus tomorrow, but we could start working on something else because we do have a little bit of wiggle room. Secondary-wise, the Lotto's built into the Bolto, right? Oh, right, but these are MR7 for some godforsaken reason. Look at these things. They require a Lotto, but they're MR7. It's one of the worst guns in the game. It's terrible. Now, Aklato, I think, are just purchased that way. Also, they're MR3. Ah! <laughs> ah! Tell you what. <laughs> We're going to downgrade, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Then we're going to get the Mark I Bratton. And then we are going to buy the Lex. Which is MR3. Never mind. I can't do that until tomorrow. Yeah. I also need to keep the Lotto around for now. We can switch to the Mark 1 brand now. <laughs> and sell the regular one. <laughs> Sold an item, entrepreneur. Okay, so we still have... Um... Wait, we have eight open slots? Eight? I know we got two extra... Wait, hold on. We got two extra ones because of the QTCC stuff. Do you normally start with 10? I thought you started with with less than that. No, the night wave, we are not that far yet. We got this thing. Don't <clears throat> stop believing, dreamers. Wait, also, let's see if nightmare missions are up. Oh, no nightmares yet, but it should happen at reset. Yeah, no, Nightwave did not give us slots. Now yeah, because the weapon be slots aren't until rank 5 here, which we can't get to. Because hey. Nightwave is about to end. Dreamers. Been your Nightwave credits yet? Yes, I have. Yeah, we have, we have zero here. I got a catalyst and a reactor. Wasn't it seven slots, three from starter, and four empty? That's why I, I thought it was. Well, I think it was an even number. Yeah, 10 year anniversary gave me one Warframe slot and two weapon slots. Didn't it? Here, let's check. We have the message still. Oh, it's 2x2 two weapon slots. Okay, that's why. It gave us four weapon slots from the QTCC. Yeah, it's 2x weapon slots. That's why we are so good for that. Yeah, the, ba yeah, the base should be... No, the base is, um, is eight. 
Yeah, the base is the base is eight. We're at twelve because of this. Check the other first message. Yeah, this is the ten year stuff. Well, that means new players with whispers will still get this as well. That's true. Maybe starting slots is six now. Well, it should be eight because I have 12. I have four weapons. I have eight slots open. Yeah, starting slots should be eight. Yeah, eight weapons, two warframes should be the starting because I will have the one additional here. Yeah, I have two slots open. Yeah, it's two warframe slots to start and then you have eight weapon slots. That's what that's what starting inventory is. They don't give Dex, Severus, and Furious anymore. That's for the anniversary, like during the actual like anniversary month. The ten year anniversary stuff is like separated. We players getting scrolled by operator QTCC drops. No, most players are just gonna click through that and be like, something's happening. So that's that's really not a big deal at all. All right, well, that was the uh, single most profitable shit imaginable. Uh, let's... We have to open a Mesa Relic, right? Yeah. Doesn't really matter. And these first two days have been insane so far. Oh, yeah. And before you get the Phantasma part. Pro probably we'll get something from someone else, I imagine. That's usually how, like, new player, like, like relic cracking goes. Go, thank you for the resub. Much appreciate it. Or just the, the new sub. Well, welcome, welcome on in. Much appreciate it. There is a prisoner here that is vital to our operations. Search for finding relics really matter. It, it, I mean, it matters late. Uh, early, not really. It does meaningfully change the stuff, though. You need them to open a relic, but are you confident you can withstand their fury? You're near a fissure. I'll we'll probably plan on getting first. Nope. For a new player, primes are fucking useless, bro. Find the captive as soon as you can. Like, outside of, like, some frames, which are like, yeah, if it's easier to get, then the regular version, then sure, go for it, buddy. But, like, for weapons, any weapon that would be, like, worth a shit at all is, like, the MR8+. Is plus. The reactant is working on your relic. Find more. Because, like, what's, what's Latron Prime? And it was that before it got its uh Stay focused. There's a heavy unit its incarnate energy. form. I'm detecting a large security force heading your way. It's <clears throat> like MR10 is where this account will like probably end. <laughs> like that is deep in the paint. Like, keep in mind for new players, like, the Latum is MR14. That's it. You opened the relic. Finish your mission and we'll take a look inside. You are approaching the holding area. Careful. If the wardens detect you, they will surely initiate the execution sequence. Hutchins not even good until you get the incarnate. Yeah, exa exactly. But it's MR10 locked. This is the 
jail. Our hostage is in one of these cells. Make the stars not a minute too soon. Subject found. You need to bring the captain to safety. Protect them at all costs. person use the elevator I was just wondering Wait, why not format? I already have multiple blueprints for it. And Calervo doesn't need any. If I put if I put Forma into Calervo, I'm over investing, I'll be honest. <laughs> you don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. Are you crafting them? I haven't started crafting any yet. Oh, that was super worth. And start building one format just in case we need it though. Time for a sabotage. I want to get the Opticore Vandal though. A massive boost to me when I was new miles better than anything I had. Absolutely not. The Grineer have been harvesting a nearby planet. I'm just gonna have the regular Vectus instead. Which I would say is better than the Opticore in general. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Right. These things are these things are not modded. We are at Saturn now, so my unmodded uh, bullshit ain't gonna fly anymore. Only my modded bullshit will fly. The mining equipment is nearby. It must be destroyed to prevent the Grenier from developing energy weapons. I'd like to send a Nataruk as a wild progression path. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean it makes perfect sense though. They they both fill. Um, the escalation. The Vectus is a precision weapon that can fuck that guy in particular up. Whereas the Nataruk is semi precise weapon that can fuck this entire hallway up. That guy versus fuck those guys. Yep. Another job well executed. You're halfway through the star chart, and just now your unmodded stuff won't work. I mean, that's the necessities of balance. Let's hit MR11 and just now realize how to equip a focus lens to get a Darwin award. No. The game never fucking tells you how to do that, so you do not deserve a Darwin award. 
What was Kalervo spawn in again? Uh, he is in everything except Joy and Envy. He's not in Joy and Envy. This is so good for level. I can do this solo, but I don't want to. That's fine. We're supposed to solo stuff. This is just the leveling mission. It's so nice in a squad. It's just baby Hydron. <laughs> Your primary progression is going to be generic machine gun to fun sniper to bow that shoots trees through hallways. That's correct. I'll rewarded for starting my own mission. A broken cell right off the rip. Which also, by the way, that's another reason why people level on Helen because this is Hydron, but like a broken cells drop here. When does Mushroom that commits War Crimes come in? Uh, I could already have that, but I haven't done it yet. And, like, some of that has been I really haven't needed to. Uh, and the other thing is I'm supposed to be doing the Kalerbo stuff, like, ASAP, which is going to be right after this. Uh, the only things that need to happen before that are I need to do Fortuna. How much streaming have we done? Four hours? We should hopefully be able to get through and get to do beer today. There's so much to be done. Although, to be fair, a lot of, like, the scheduling stuff with, like, how much I'm able to get done each day has been because I have to get the night wave done before it expires, which normally isn't a consideration. <clears throat> You're going to stream tomorrow? Yes. So much to be done is why I love fresh accounts. That's fair. going to do main account weeklies post dev stream friday uh is it if on friday yes okay then yeah probably That'll be the time to do it. Dev stream, okay. If I leave stream on in the background, should. For the dev stream, anyhow.
kills a lot of them. A bunch of them are dead. Get my energy back because he spawned an extra mess in, which we love to see. Here, actually, you stay here. I need to spam four because you have a bunch of energy in you, but you won't die from this. Gekka, that's why. Give me your energy. Fill me right back up, please. Thank you. Who's left? Extraction We're good. Ahead. We're out of here. Unless you can handle more of the enemy. <clears throat> we love the Eximus. How long the bow will carry on the star chart? I mean, the answer is all the way if I want it to. Like, the only, the only problems we're going to have are going to be this mission, if I were to not wait for the Vectus, because that's just how Sargus Ruck be, but I am going to wait for the Vectus on that. What's all the way? Like, the whole star chart. The whole regular star chart. The bow is fine for. Like, you, you gotta you gotta keep in mind that in terms of this, like, free-to-play account, I, I have a catalyst sitting around. Theoretically, though it is a bad idea, you could put it in this weapon... Safe and sound. And then you have an another you have another thirty points to work with to make it even stronger. Like you could just do that. So, quest-wise, we need to do, what, Fortuna, right? Fortuna for the, the fish? Do we need the fish? And then it's not reset time for that yet, so we need to do Fortuna now! Um, which, where's that at in Critical Progression? Voxelars. Check this out real quick. Yeah, for teleporting. This should all be good and correct. This one might be edited. We'll see how tough things actually seem to be, because I know they changed the balance of this. So we'll we'll see if this note needs to stay, but that's gonna be basically like the, the only real change that's gonna happen here. And Voxlaris is much down here. Okay. Do the parts to make the Arcwing launcher? Uh, 99% sure I don't, but we can check. Yeah, no, I'm not even close. I run diagnostic regressions. All systems nominal. You don't need to thank me. Oh wait, I also need to make the uh, the Arcwing launcher segment, which requires a bunch of other bullshit in addition to all this shit. So I super don't. All right, we are headed into Fortuna. Be introduced to Fortuna. Finger time, it's true.
You miss old Fortuna. What? Man, the pop off at the Tenocon where this played was so huge. What's the fortune to reset if you restart the old quest? I don't think you can restart this quest. Oh, blue Fortuna, you mean? I see. RP walk. Yeah, it's got the transmission. Interested? Busy. Oh, an outworlder. A tenno. Look, we're a corpus operation, we are, but these people are Solaris. We work for a living. We don't need no trouble, and we don't need nobody getting hurt. You want to help? Go buy something from Thursby. He's been staring down the barrel of a repo order ever since he took on his parents' debt. Ugly thing, repossession. A Solaris falls too deep in debt, and Neff sends in his repo squads to take what he says he's owed. You know, mechanical body parts, even a full rig. In Thursby's case, because he got none of that, they take the organics. Arms and legs. Yeah. There's a market for those, too. I... Marking. If you need scrap for the snap, just talk to your junkyard diplomat. That'd be me, first beef, thunderstruck, short on pluck, down in his luck. Ah, uh, whatever. Tell me you want to buy something. Please. I need this. Utica sent you. A tenno? To help meet me, Quota? Well... Mr. Yeah. We're the most powerful thing in the universe. Why does no, Little Duck feel like she can scream at us for not being but operator? If you really you wanted can. to help, you could source me some supplies. Something I can sell. Not this garbage. I know where the tax man keeps the good stuff. If you're up for that sort of thing, boss, head top aside. And head topside. You ever been out on the phallus, boss? Also, for anyone who wants like more She's context on Little Duck, she is. she is actually in one of the Warframe comics. Firestorm. All thanks to the magic of rebooted Oricon tech and the blood and the sweat of so many thousands of Solaris. But you know what Utica always says. She says, Welcome to Venus. It'll kill ya. Thursby, what's going on? You keeping your nose clean? I need something I can sell. You I know? can teleport here. Spare parts. Quality merchandise. See? I know where the corpus drops supplies. You can get in and I forgot this on the other side of this lake. It's it actually not right. fantastic. You go? Sneak and peek, boss. Crates full of the good stuff should be nearby. Ha <laughs> ha! Outstanding! If we had the old Unico, we'd be taxing taxing. I will actually need this. What else can you find? I think. Well, potentially. It depends.
This one and there's the one like what? Yeah, right there. My debt's getting paid off. You're gonna make more than one Solaris happy today, boss. Be ranking up open worlds on this free to play. Um, Deimos, yes. Unbelievable! Uh, why stop here? <clears throat> With your power, we could hit Neb hard. Perhaps more Make eventually. For all he's done to us. Blow up his precious coolant tower before he's even had a chance to show it off to his mucking board. Thursby, what are you thinking? You run an unsecured channel. You want a corpus spy drone hearing what you're up to? Ah, muckers. Too late. Got no choice. Tello, you got Thursby into this mess, so you can damn well help him out of it. I think it's this way. Tello, you're yeah. looking for the corpus spy drone that overheard Thursby's little guided tour. Find the drone before it reports back to Central Command. The drone is nearby. Ground it. And I'll see if I can still hack one of these things. Come on, Lotto, you can do it. I should have just jumped. Man. Jesus. It's been a while since I did this. Where is that recording of Thursby? And they're gonna try to wreck it rather than let us pick it. Hold them off while I get this done. Also, as many as you can. Keep them quiet. <laughs> well, well, well. You're a bright spark and no mistake. Could have used you back. Don't let me catch you running more missions for Thursby. Understood? All right, now we can teleport back. Instead of running 900 meters. Thank God for the open world teleports, for real. Oh. <clears throat> oh, yes, you're right. I'm sorry. Not meters. M. Hi, boss. Hugo says that if I try anything like that again, she'll rip me arms off herself. But look at this. Miles, definitely Yesterday, Miles. Didn't have enough Luca to stay at a repo. Now I got one I need to open. No, you could blink pad from anywhere with the map, but you had to be at another one. Whoops! Oh yeah, no, it's easy to make that mistake. Something to set all Thursby apart. Something memorable. I almost forgot. Biz heard what you did. Said he wanted to speak with you. Lower parts, get a head start. Nothing intended, am I right? <laughs> <sighs> The Tenno you the just... mentioned. How do you do, Outworlder? Remember, very good free to play through experience. Choosing full the time. At some point, you said, you know, don't watch anymore until you complete Second Dream. Then come back for the correct answer to the question. Henrik got me into Warframe and you never spoiled. Nice. Me biz. I wasn't always about the preservation of life, more the strategic deletion of it. Conservation may be my calling now. <laughs> the, the M stands for measurement. Adjustment. Head to the Valis if you're looking for some work. Are you averse to getting your hands dirty? Send a message. I have learned the head of the Corpus Repo Squad has made a hit list of indebted Solaris. Before his goons can do their thing. I've got a K-bomb with his name on it. 
Spears. That's not what we discussed. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> that's what we Who's on it? <sighs> Crap. Okay. <laughs> the way Unico oh, interacts with the other characters at the beginning well. of this is like so no good. It's so funny. Had about enough mess for one day. You guys like stop. Stop being a resistance right now. Jesus Christ. You're going to get all of us in trouble. We do this quietly. Oh man. Maybe. Just maybe. Nat <clears throat> doesn't find out. This This isn't the old days. We've got no leverage now. All we can do is try to say you're nearing the secure area. Steal that list. Don't get noticed. If they destroy the data, we won't know who to hide from this Reaper squad. Was it not this side that's open? Almost always that side. All of you come here. It doesn't count. I did the puzzle before you processed that you saw me. I think there's no teleport that's closer this way. Yeah, there's not. They were in debt because they chose the calling of conservation over filling Neff's pockets. It seems like the future wanted to make a point. This isn't the whole team. We need more info. Search the bodies. <clears throat> Damaged. There's something in the buffer. We need to get it decoded before the device fails. Accessing buffer. Analyzing. Oh, infected cliff. That's a good drop. Password. No. Buffer. That it's will come up rather immediately, actually. That's tomorrow. Final transmissions. Oh, what is this? It's just nothing. If I were the last body, where would I be? I don't think they even show up on the scanner because they're not living things or objects. Was it downhill? Did I just miss it? Oh, there it is. I'm in. Taking a quick look around. Itinerary, patrol log, coordinates, reports, blah, blah, blah. The survivors are being held nearby, awaiting processing. Unico, we don't have long. Here we are. Find any survivors. Get them out. Not again. Listen, Sparky. I need you to get in there and get our people back. And you don't need to be nice about it. Here come the taxmen. Time for death. You there, everyone in your ship, get down here immediately. Oops. 
They hate it. Sure is unfortunate. I'm glad they do that though, so you can't just be like on the way down while that's happening. I forgot her ass wasn't welded to that chair. Not ready. My engineers need a mineral, Amorast, to counter the inevitable heat cascade. I've marked an excavation site where you should find some. You know, this quest really should give you enough rep to get, like, your starting open world things. Like your mining tool and your fishing spear. All right, there's not really anything close to that one. Amorast, do you not understand? Nothing you do will make Neff kind. The more you give, the more he'll take. When you rise up, people get hurt. But if we let that fear divide us, it will only get worse. I saw a Yudiko I haven't seen for years back there. Fortuna needs that Yudiko back. We need Vox. You guys spawn in like a little faster. I need more power. There we go. <clears throat> you guys may now cease spawning in if you wish. Actually, you might have something I need. Die. Is tomorrow, 
And you lot oh, damn. still maintain the coolant towers. If I see a coolant right. rachnoid, it's on site. Have you no faith? My test run will commence now. And the board shall know it was I, Nathanio, who brought the glory of the Auric into life once more. He's starting already? Neff's gonna trigger a heat cascade if he boots that coolant tower up without the Amorast. He's going to get us all killed. Hurry. It's too late. Come back to Fortuna, Tenna. Solaris, why isn't it working? Fix this! Solaris, this disaster is your bumbling. Ragnoid exists, bro, so you have chosen death. I... I am... Floorboss, Utica, FB9. Razor's wrist wrapped a soul mine for 130 plat. Jeez. Finally. One of you shows some backbone. Floor boss, select 50 workers of low efficiency and have them in front of Fortuna for repo. Their upgrades I shall bequeath to Solaris of greater efficiency. And for the failures, brain shelving. Make your list. You have one or The amount of new players I've seen this quest bust the balls of is insane. They actually recently made it less difficult. This is the less difficult version Be because of that exact thing where new players would do this and then just get fucking owned. Utico, you're not going through with this. Is Equilibrium's biggest drawback that it has the fight for a mod slot, whereas Energize doesn't? Yes, correct. How less difficult? I think they dropped it by like 15 levels or something. I don't remember the exact amount. I think it's like roughly 15 levels lower. I think they also made the things you have to defend way more healthy. Ever since Neff crushed Solaris United, killed my friends. It's at least 10 levels. Focused on one thing, keeping him happy. Thought it was the only way to keep people safe. It's not working. Have the changes they are making to the new player this experience right. and the past Someone updates? Oh, very much so. Say something. Do something. Listen, you don't have to help. You can leave Fortuna and never come back. Wouldn't blame you. This isn't your fight. But Sparky. The defense drone now has like 6,000 HP, which is insane for how early this quest is. Yeah, I think the defense objective is in the same boat. Between us and bloody oblivion. Understand this. Knew I could trust you. You are all. Take this. There's a present in there for the mucking taxman. Why don't you deliver it to them? What are you trying to do, you call Buy him off? Blow this shit up. You've lost it. Wait, where's my cable? Where's my 50 Solaris, Fortuna? You're wasting my time. Who do you think you are? Hello, everyone. Now, Sparky, get that case as close as you can. Love that there's so many Xmas here. I know that voice. I killed that voice. You are a ghost. But I don't believe in ghosts. I will find you. Whoever you are, you don't know what hell you have brought upon your people.
Ooh, shotgun barrage. We'll get any more lore about the corpus anytime soon. That's right. Maybe? Scuttle back to your hole. I'm going to replace the <laughs> Nah, I'd win. <laughs> In the meantime, Prophet Taker here will make sure you stay good. You definitely can do this quest at a point where you can go, nah, I'd win. Apology, Uni. And if you see Vox, pass along my thanks. Now, Biz, thank you for not giving up on me. We'll lift together. <laughs> and we will. We just poked a Cooper Don. And if we don't show him who's in charge, we're lunch. Sparky, Solaris United's just getting started. Neff won't want us messing with his investor showcase. He's planted that old mother out there to make sure we stay in here. But now is the time to press for leverage. Head to the surface when you're ready. I've arranged a little something for you. Roki lent us her personal K drive. Fastest board in the valley. When was the last time I talked about the last See orb? Right oh, it's a bunch of dev streams at this point. I think they'll they'll need like a real compelling reason to add it if they're ever gonna do it. Which right now I don't think they have. Oh, uh, we're now rolling around to the speed of sound. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Literally styling on Profit Taker <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> Bros is getting his only event kids rep in, that's correct. Just kidding, Lamau, this gives you one. <laughs> yeah, 50 meter jump? Sure, let's pretend that's true. You made it. Time to give Neff a taste of rainbow. Fucking whip the lotto out. Shout out to the people who forgot you could do that. Anyway, let's be real now. How much health does it have now? What's going oh, on they won't there? show me. I've lost control of the coolant tower. The investors are watching. Acknowledge. I wish this made you spin whenever you stood on it. The the baseline thirty meter enemy uh, radar now also helps with this, which is notable. Two weasels picked the wrong day for collective bargaining. Corpus kill squads converge on the control cluster at once. Investors, everything is under control. <laughs> Let's turn up the heat on this. Are you free, Lotus, trying to damage my coolant tower? Oh, of course, all your groveling... Oh, yeah, it's got 8,000 shield, 7,000 health now. That seems like considerably more than it used to be. Investors! Enjoy this display of security prowess. Rest assured, your investment is protected. 
Used to be 200 shields, 1,000 health. Yeah, that sounds... Was it only 1,000 health? It was like at least 2,000. But yeah, it used to be bad. This should be non-problematic to defend now. I remember before, the over-under was if it spawns in, it's got to die. Which is a, a bit of a rough parameter to put on a new player. <laughs> Considering this is like one of the first things they can run into. And the enemies are higher level. Perish. I recall bringing Mesa to deal with this one because it was such a pain. I believe that. I 100% believe that. I just have to get my gross income stat on the status page to exactly 60 million credits. Nice. Oh yeah, this is this is so much more chill now. I'll hold the repossessions. That what you want? Stop it. Never forget. Solaris make the Valus walk. No Solaris, no Valus. Do we have an understanding? <clears throat> yes. I understand. Hey, Fortuna, why do debt bonds exist? It's not actually why do debt bonds exist. It's why did our debt bonds RNG. Like, a horrible RNG. Investors, please! I swear! The system works. This is just a minor hiccup. Some minor labor relation issues to deal with. You understand, right? Right? Where are you going? These guard the first time and it was easy. But that's not really a new player likelihood. Yeah, exactly. That did it. Well then, Sparky. Looks like SU is back. Only a matter of time. If it wasn't me, someone else would have done it. Meanwhile, you come see me anytime. Solaris United's got plenty of work for you. And we're out. Woof, that's unfortunate. I'm sorry you're doing Thermia. Oh, we got 300 Vent Kids experience. Oh, man. Box Solaris complete. All right. Yeah, I wish this gave us a little bit of a uh, starting rep for Fortuna. But that's okay. real quick because I'm going to include this in the video I think this is Smokefinger he's the mining guy that is to say I am interested in soil and all the things that may be found in it let me show you what I mean so in here we need the Sunpoint Plasma Drill so we're going to need to spend 2500 rep on this 
is needed for every open world. We don't have that yet, though, obviously. And the other thing that we need to get, which is more important, actually, is from the business. Calculus and the phallus to our favor. Thank you. A pity it took young Thursby's tragedy to motivate you to come to take up the mantle of leadership once more. But she is the leader Solaris United needs, and tragedy is the unavoidable cost of progress. I'll make sure Thursby gets up on his new feet. I owe it to him. All right, and then from the business. All right, no, I don't. We need the Trank Rifle, which is only 500. The Trank Rifle is the single best way to get rep on uh, both Fortuna and Planes. Uh, so it is very worth it for this to be the very first thing that you pick up. It is incredibly useful. I uh, will be the first thing that we're getting, and then we'll be doing hunting. But that's going to be a separate video. Really plan inspired me to start a Warframe Nuzlocke. Nice. Need the spear too. For the night wave. Oh yeah, for the night wave. Yeah, but otherwise you don't need it. Quick geology lesson. Thermal fractures are what you get when you pump too much coolant into the ground <laughs> too fast. Displaced thermia has to go somewhere. Now we've got thermia fractures threatening to roast outstanding. Now get out there and void. Time to do the first bounty so I can uh, do as few bounties as possible in my life. Do you want someone to bring bait for the night wave? No, I can get it. It's not a big deal. It's not hard to do. Only three rare fish. Humane. That's not a word I'd use. And we're out. Now give me the objective. Found a coil drive sighting animals and alerting hunting parties. Over here. Intercept and find out who and where it reports to. Should have actually equipped the K drive, which is kind of hilarious. This is like the worst first objective. No Arcwing Launcher. Odonata's building still. Odonata is not building. Arcwing Launcher requires me to go to the dojo and get the Arcwing Launcher segment. And then also build the Arcwing Launcher, which is 50 of material that takes fucking forever to get on planes. Boom! It's down. Now get me access to its data. Two and a half minute mobile defense. Woo! At least these enemies can potentially get me fetch. I don't remember which enemy drops fetch, but I know it's somewhere. The hyenas? Okay. All I'm likely to see them in bounty one, I think, then, actually. We still want fetch. I mean, it's a like the, the thing that like makes it worthwhile to use any of the like four-legged companions. So yeah. Later, Moon. Actually, I guess if I need fetch, I want the uh, enemies to call in the reinforcements. What up, dude? Okay. That's fair. If you just you want to move, just move it closer to me. That's fine. Just move it, like up against the side of this. What? This is out of your way. Huh? No. Okay. I'm just getting it out of your way for now. Chat after this timer is done, I will have to go for a moment. I'm sorry, the free to play is so low for the most part. 
but I can't just, I don't have teammates I can trust to just stand up for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell them. Okay, good. Sarah is demanding hugs, which is very fine with me. I just have to wait just a moment. <laughs> Hundred standing that is just slightly less than I need. Which makes me big sad. We're gonna make NAS surveillance network work for us. Infiltrate that facility, steal the data, and get out as quietly as you can. Am I actually on solo mode? No, I'm not. I'm on party only, I think. This is like a safe enough spot, probably oh, no, though. No. You're going to be sad when you say that, and this is the other really long objective. Oh, no, this is the really short objective. This will be done in, like, 20 seconds. I do have somewhere to be, Utico. You're right, and you should say it. Okay, I'll be right back.
I return and I have delicious food now. Let's go do that last objective, I suppose. Give me progress for exploring a cave. Hugs and food, it's true. Oh, this is much harder without a later upgrade. Oh, that's a good one. Motherfucker. The fucking slamming. I'm just supposed to stay near the goddamn thing. Fucking stop putting the slamming enemies near me. God, it's so slow. I hate that shit so much. All of the attacks that exist in this world that fucking push away. Also, no fucking energy to speak of, of course. Drop me energy, thank you. That's one for us. That's how annoying this is a solo without the op. Yeah. We've got more coming in. Pick him up. This is supremely annoying to solo without the op. I'm glad we were rewarded with nothing. Enjoy your meal. It's nothing. Cratic, though, man. The contrast between this and Railjack is jarring. Yeah. Hey, we got we got a uh, incendiary coat though, which is not nothing. We got the Garuda blueprint. Deadlock protocols unlocked now. We got Wave Rider, which we're not gonna do that. The game's gonna tell us we can do Wave Rider a lot, and we're not gonna do that shit. Okay, we now get to experience the new player experience with haunting. A hunter must hunt. I will grab this, even though it's not needed at all. Here... Uh, let's put this... Yeah, sure, this can go on num zero. That's fine. Then... Oh. Yeah, sure, K-Drive can go there. Oh. There we go. Yep, and then options, accessibility... Ally highlights. Blue's not great here. 
let's go. What's gonna be like impossible not to see? Probably this, right? Tell me what you're fixing on, and I'll steer you true. Maybe this one. This one probably. Intending to spend time out on the Valis. That's bright. Oh, yeah, it is. A miracle, but death to the unwary. Tell me what you're fixing on, and I'll see you. Yeah, there you go. That's what animals will look like out in the Valis. His ally highlight does work there. <clears throat> Bad angle for me. Got him. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. A flossy soul Very pretty. A fine catch. Yeah, the animals are Mountain Dew flavored now. Also, uh, worth noting, those two things I just picked up are the... I'm pretty sure those are the commons of that animal type. And you'll note that that was worth more than the entire bounty I did. the burrowers I hit his ass there we go it's a swimmer are these the rare ones I think they're the mid tier ones 1800 I've seen one explode from beneath the water to take down prey twice their size terrifying and yet but you don't need to find poop and follow the tracks anymore? Nope. Also, look at this. Look at this fucking quality of life. You see this? It points you to where the animal is until it's on your screen. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this quality of life. Look how quality this fucking life is right now. Rep, by the way. A white-breasted vermink, fairly common and lively. That took how long? Four minutes. Full, full rep for the first level. I was complaining about in QA chat for years. I I believe it. I'm so happy when they added that. Yeah, it's it's so good. 
Yeah, the ally highlight plus like just the this rifle just being really, really good now. So good. Does it do that for mining nodes too? Uh, I don't know. It sort of does for mining nodes before. I don't know if that's been improved at all. Oh yeah, then I need 13 training dead bonds. Right. Moving on, moving on. We won't worry about that for now. Well, well. Look at you. A tenno. Fine, kind, and benign. Ticker can spot an ambidextra a block away. And Stardust, you ain't it. So listen, and listen tight. My real line is debt forgiveness. Charity. You buy some poor rig jockey's debt, and they sidestep brain shelving. Every sinner's a winner. Now, I'd appreciate you keeping this little old conversation to yourself. And when I ask you for help, you look me in my baby blues and say, yes. Obviously, we're not worried about ranking this right now. I'll be here to let you meet on those dossiers. I wasn't always about the preservation of life. We need our shock rod spear. Strategic deletion of it. Conservation, stay sharp. Till next time. And lastly, we need our mining. Ah, yes. My but not this. Friend. How are we today? All done. See you later, then. Thank you. Moa suck. Kit guns are mid. Kit guns are not mid. Are you on crack cocaine? One of the kit guns is in top 10, like, secondaries in the game. And the rest aren't far outside it. <laughs> guns are the middle of the S tier, if that's what you mean. Yeah, that's more like it. Also, we're getting these rare fish. We're going to head over here because this is where I always head to. Is there anything? Do the fish get highlighted by anything? Obviously, there's like an in-game thing for that, but I'm just asking. Oxless. Well, yeah, I know that. Birds. So nice. You can see them so well like this. Right. Uh, do, 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 do. Shock rod. All right, what temperature is it? We're warm in eight minutes. Good. Deep cold is what I need, actually. Hey there, little guy. You're not a rare fish, so that's okay. Oh, there's a Trom. That is what I need. Yoink. Hey there, Trom. Oh, wait. Are Troms not considered to be rare? I thought Troms were rare. Oh, no. There it is. Okay, okay, okay. It just showed up second. I was like, what the fuck?
just a recaster. Baitless, dieless fishing a nightmare. I only need to catch three. It's only three. Definitely no Oxless. Oxless, for some godforsaken reason, is rank 5 Fortuna. Which I couldn't possibly understand. Like, he's a quality of life Sentinel, but he's like the most locked away Sentinel in the entire game. <laughs> it's like so dumb. It is rank 5? Yeah, it's fucking rank 5. Even more than Nautilus? Yeah. Absolutely, it's more than Nautilus. Way more than Nautilus. Come on, just spawn some, just spawn some troms. Are we super cold yet? It's warm in five minutes. Oh, we got here at the end of super cold, actually, is what happened here. Damn it. Because troms are common whenever it's super cold. Uh... The rare fish right in front of right in front of Fortuna is a warm cycle fish, right? Yeah, okay, we'll head over there whenever we do that then. Long winders, yeah. Oop, there's a Trom. Two Troms. Spoke too soon. We're done here, boys. Well, as long as I catch him. No! Oh. We're good. <clears throat> Words coming in of so many of you being your best selves. Nora is just beside herself with admiration. Now we need to use that last nightmare. These little chicken melt things from Costco. They're delicious. Very easy. Because you're a friend, I'm going to Thanks for the field Tell round samples. No, we can't win every time. A new quest. Okay. Nightmare mission. No. Shit. Hmm. Is there, a, like, a hidden cooldown for them as well? I think we'll know in, like, 25 minutes if there is one. Okay, which one of these planets can I finish really easily? What mission is this? Oh, it's a rush. Um... Do Gulliver and shit, though? This is, like, two endless missions. Or one I can do fast.
Sarah's. What do we got here? Interception, mobile defense, defense, survival. Ugh. Is Clever just not today? Yeah, Clever's just not gonna happen today. We've done too much of this. Too, we've done too much other stuff. Ordis wonders why is he here? How many missions is this? Suppose everyone has to be somewhere. It's both five missions. Well, I guess that's fine then. Viri can still be started, but after a new war. What? Nearby, you don't need to do a new war. Are broadcasting crucial enemy intelligence. Oh, yeah, after Nightwave. Yeah, Night Nightwave is limited time, which is why we haven't done Duviri. The, the allotted time that would have been Duviri has been, well, we need to get the Nightwave stuff done because that's two catalysts. You have captured a radio tower. Stream to code now. The enemy have taken a tower. You must recapture. Fucking where, bro? Huh? In what fucking Looney Tunes La La Land do you mean? Captured a tower. Capture. Oh, this fucking. I forgot about this fucking terminal. There's three here. Account. Yeah, free to play through. We are in total control. How much time do I have left for Nightwave anyway? 18 hours? Okay, so we still do have plenty of time. Just want to get it done so then I can not think about it until the next Nightwave, and then that one I can just crazy you passively, honestly. How far along? Uh, we're a good ways. We're like basically right up to doing Nata. Although we have to wait for the Vectus to finish building for that. We've had some detours for Nightwave needs. Uh, what do you still need to do for this Nightwave? Uh, the only thing we have to do um, is one more Nightmare mission. Uh, although I guess we could forego that and do this because we actually recovered one. Uh, but I don't want to do three different planes of the Eidolon. Planes of Eidolon bounties. You know it. Oh, way ahead of me. <laughs> nice. I missed the Nightwave speedrun free to play. That would have been glorious if it didn't bug. Yeah, I mean, we essentially made it. Regardless, that really showed that, like, if you go for it, you can definitely finish the Nightwave if you start and there is one under, like, most circumstances. Was that free to play through? 
2020? The message, no. Clear the area. Must have been 2021. I think. Extraction is available, but there are more messages to be decoded. Will you stay or go? They are broadcasting another message. Make sure the enemy never receives it. Oh, we're getting nodes right now because I need to do the last nightmare mission. Was it this playthrough? This playthrough is going to do everything. Well, not everything. But eventually this 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 um account will do all the quests and everything. So I can write all the guides for them and do all this stuff. Let's do a survival. What happened to the last free to play through? Well, the last free to play through, D made a bunch of changes, removed the Duviri start, and like just need just needed to restart. Basically, that free to play through served as like the basis for the CPR, uh, and then this is the refining and releasing of at least at least the first chunk pretty soon here of the CPR. Like, this account's not going to do, like, MR grind stuff, because that's, like, whatever. But it will do, like, oh, the Titania quest, that needs a guide. Oh, this quest, that needs a guide. Look for personal life support modules dropped by fallen enemies. And it's not going to have this stuff at first, but... The real challenge is once all that information's on my site, how to present it in a way that is not immediately hyper intimidating to people. Which I think I can accomplish, but it might be a little challenging. But is the Titanic quest even necessary if you stumble upon Titania as a rotation reward at regular circuit? Well, no, but it's it's. It's about, like, once I'm done with all the stuff that you gotta do, like, to get to the end of, like, progression, then it's like, well, I should do the optional quests, just so that they're here, if people want to know what the deal is with the optional quests. Right? Like, I don't want my website to not be, like, a, like, like, to only be the required things. You should also be able to look up, like, oh, yeah, how do I do this? What the fuck am I doing with the quest? Uh, why again was Tavir start removed? Uh, so my musing was that, like, people would get to the real game and then be really disappointed with their level of power. Uh, because, like, you're just so much stronger in Duviri than you are off the rip in the main game. Although that has changed a little bit recently, of course. Uh, but then, uh, Rachel was talking about how, uh, a lot of people would, like, stop in the middle and just, like, get stuck and it was too hard. Which is also super understandable, actually. That also tracks alongside, like, the changes DE made to, like, the actual just quest version of Duviri being much easier. There's instant power creep. Well, it's, it's not that there's instant power creep. It's that, like, using the loner builds feels so much better than using the, oh, you just got out of the tutorial with Mag? You have nothing. You complain specifically about the Prince of Fire segment. See that? I kept trying to make it easier, but it just wasn't really worth it in the end. Plus, it's just that much more work for QA with two game starts. Yeah, very true. And it also, like, you know, having the additional choice at the start of the game can also be, like, a hindrance to new players. Because, like, imagine... Like, if you, if you had kept it longer, I would probably have had to make a video that's like, what start should you pick? And it's like, well, that's just another thing for someone to immediately look up. And then they're getting information that doesn't have, like, that doesn't really even make sense to them, right? They're like, well, just tell me which one. Like, I can't properly explain to someone who hasn't even played the game yet, like, why they would choose either thing. 
if, the, if that choice had remained. Like, any reason I would give would just, like, it would have no context for them, right? You're also having different controls confused with some new players I watch, like the lack of lock-on or time parrying in the regular game. Yeah, I can see that. Can't really know that in advance, but it's very hard to test for difficulty for a new player. It's insanely difficult. Oh my god, it is the fucking hardest thing in the world. Yeah, okay, I, this, this chat, I under you guys gotta have perspective on this one. Because most of you in this chat have probably been playing video games for, like, five to ten years, like, min-spec. But we're talking about minimum, is if you have five to ten years of video game experience. And, like, that is not... You are coming into a game, like, you are not really a new player. You have passed a number of checks that you did much earlier in life. Like, e like, even for, like, young people, like, a, imagine someone who's 13 years old, because that's the age of the something, something, that's the age you were supposed to be to play the rating of the game or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Let's say you're 13. If you're a 13-year-old, and your only video game experience has been playing fucking shitty phone games, like, whatever, like, just, like, whatever, like, build the thing haha uh, -ha, the laughing night guy or whatever the fuck those games are called just that shit you yeah maybe at, the, at best you played roblox and then you're given a game that yeah clash of clans that's what it's called and then now here's a controller super simple shit not even keyboard and mouse here's a controller uh how do i look around and move at the same time with sticks, with sticks, like you, you really have to understand that is like very hard. Like that is an initial thing. You you do have to figure that out as a person. Like I figured that out over the course of the literal technology coming out with the fucking like Nintendo 64 through the PlayStation. Like please, please remember, like. They, there was not a Nintendo 64. Here's like basically the first analog stick that's widely available. Like that doesn't that does not happen for the current generation of people. Like they start out and they're like, "Oh, what's this? This is a PlayStation 5 controller." It's like, "Okay, I'm not familiar with anything about this." Like I'm familiar with all of it cuz it's been like I've been hanging out with that shit for fucking 25 years. Yeah, it's very, very difficult to, like, gauge, like, what's hard for a new player. Because it's going to be a lot of hard-to-think-about things. Someone see sees L2 and wonders for three minutes what that means. Oh, watching people discover what L3 is. This is a mobile defense mission. You must deliver payloads and defend a number of locations while I break into the network. <laughs> Literally me. Yep. It, it can be very hard as a new player. People just look. You. It takes time. Here is a terminal. Get me in and get ready to defend. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. <laughs> Stay focused. There's a I'm different though. I was born a gamer. I mean, it's, it's intuitive. Like it, it's like anything, right? Like for some people, golf is super intuitive. For some people, a controller is very intuitive. Like I picked up the N64 controller whenever I was like five, and I was like, oh yeah, I get it. Still working on it. Like I understand. I understand. I understand entirely. Like how to play Mario Kart pretty immediately. Like, I can play Mario Kart for sure.
But like it's just like that that stuff is, you know, it rearranges in terms of like how like intuitive that stuff can be or like how people need things explained can be very different. We are finished here. Move on. I need access to a terminal. Find one and patch me in. It's cool that they tried, but it was always going to be hard. Yeah. Like, realistically, for Warframe, in some respects, you have to make, like, the beginning of the game simple enough, or, like, at least pretty close to simple enough, that if you picked it up as your first video game, you wouldn't just immediately fail. Right? And I actually think that the current, like, Awakening tutorial is actually really good for that. This will take a moment. Because, like, we say, like, haha, Warframe easy all the time. But really, like, it's easy if you know. Still working on it. Continue to defend. Use caution. I am picking up traces of Prosecutor Shield auras in your vicinity. Your crystal blows one on the DE also made Unreal Tournament. Fair. Area completed. Move on. Let's wait until ESDF becomes the standard movement instead of WASD. Oh, yeah. I mean, ESDF is probably, like, superior, but it'll be WASD for a very long time, if not forever. ESDF is superior, though, to be clear. I still use WASD, but it, ESDF does have distinct advantages. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. What, I never heard about that? Okay, so WASD is the far left of your keyboard. It's W, A, S, and D. That's where you put your fingers for moving. Just to the right of that is ESDF, where W becomes E, and then so on and so forth. It is one to the right, and it allows you to use W, Q, and A all on your, like, left, um, like, side. Basically, you, you get access to many more very close-by hotkeys. That's big brain, yeah. That's big brain, too big for my brain. Yeah, it's very, which is, you really don't need that. There's very, like, very few games you would ever consider that for. I mean, like, when it, whenever fucking League of Legends came out, that broke a lot of people. It just being like, Q-W-E-R? What do you mean, bro? My mind's eye is ripping itself open. <laughs> League of Legends is QWER. Yeah, but those are your ability buttons because you move with your mouse. first started on Warframe, I spent like 60 hours on controller. It took me another 50 to learn mouse and keyboard because my controller broke. Sounds about right. Did I use for anything else other than plushes? Uh, you also need them for the badge. You need one of each for the badge. Nice. 
My intel suggests there are rich enemy supply caches in the area. But they're only for cosmetics. to pinpoint their exact location. Search them out if you are willing to shoulder the added risk. Hazardy players rise up. There are dozens of us. Hmm. Security has locked down the cooling cells. We have no choice but to destroy them. Coolant cell destroyed. energy filled XMS. The reactor is going into stasis. Now is your chance to complete this sabotage. Use whatever you can to make sure it never works again. A coolant cell has been extracted. cell reinserted. When the reactor is restarted, this will trigger a meltdown. Destroy the fuel injectors. There we go. A glass door has blocked your evacuation route. Find a way to open it. <laughs> That's my hundredth cipher. ECF is mainly great for gear item hotkeys like Trank, Arc Wing, a heavy weapon, a necromag scanner, mining laser. Yeah, I agree with that. Really depends on how much you use those things, right? Because like I usually just use numpad, right? I can just be like, boom, Trank rifle. I'm with Sarah. Our position has been compromised. Defend the cargo until reinforcements arrive. That's what I'm using the massive keyboard for Warframe. It's so much better. I highly advise it, for real. Just having this stuff on hotkeys, like, you can just, like, switch to Trank Rifle. Fucking, well, obviously, I can't summon the K-Drive here, but, like, have your Sun Point on a button. Uh, also, just have like your scanner on a button, like just do all the things. It's really, really great. So much more convenient.
Can I hook up a keyboard to PS5? I think you can, actually. I know you can with a Zim. But I think it works by default. You can, I wouldn't really recommend it. Is it not customizable on PS5? It is? Oh, okay. I will say mouse and keyboard isn't isn't like if you're on a couch you don't want to do mouse and keyboard i'm just controller warframe player oh yeah that's fine though wait rachel if you're a controller warframe player i just need to ask if you want a thing do you want like i've wanted for um for controller players the ability to take Hold on. I'm going to talk about this real quick. So customize controller. This is a thing. So right here, right here, the, the defaults here, right bumper is ability menu, which then this is where your abilities go. There's transference up here. Basically you hold that button and then you can press any of these buttons to get this. Do you want controllers to have the thing where you can use the rest of these ability menu buttons at the very least? Because I've always thought it would be great if you could change where the ability menu is and then use everything else in the controller where it's just a modifier button instead. Because that's the way FF14 does it, and God, is it amazing. Except where they use two modifier buttons. Because then they get, if you if you use the ability to have two modifier buttons, you get ability, ability menu, and that changes this. Uh, and then you have, if you press the other button, it changes everything again. So you'd get, like, hold right bumper, all your buttons change to other stuff. And then if you have another layer to that, you get like hold right bumper, hold Y, and all your buttons are other stuff. Then controller would have all the facilities they need in order to bind whatever the fuck they want. Like layered controller binding is so good for MMO style games. It's actually like the reason I don't like controller um, Warframe is because it doesn't have that. Hey, Reb is our lead. Who knows? True. Oh, for anyone who missed it uh, on Twitter, um, it it seems as though uh, Reb shares shares our, our our near universal opinion around here that stat sticks bad. Please. So that may that may eventually change. Obviously, it's always a when time allows. But that, that, that does appear to be a... This is considered a bad thing. <clears throat> but did just get the ceramic dagger. Good news, it'll be good without that. What do you mean when you say stat sticks bad? Warframe abilities shouldn't be predicated on whatever melee weapon you happen to be holding and what mods are on it. Yeah, yeah, Korra is like one of the main stats that users. They would, of course, include her. <clears throat> Duviri is actually the thing that really shone a light on it, I think. Because in Duviri, whenever you don't get your stat stick, it's like, oh, why does my ability kind of suck? Oh, right. Oh, speed trigger. 
Also, Exalted Melee should have access to combo mods. Exalted Melee should have access to all the mods. It's supposed to be better than regular Melee, but right now it absolutely is not. Except for Baruch's. But that that's not for... That's just because it's Baruch. Has this reset yet? No. Mobile defense vampire mode on Ceres? That's really easy. Actually, wait. Did that show the cooldown? No. That's unfortunate. Dessert consumed. This is a mobile defense mission. You must deliver payloads and defend a number of locations while I break into the network. Be prepared for heavy resistance. I can't do this without you. Location reached. Drop me in and defend our position. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. Stay focused. There's a heavy. Uh, Valkyrie's not in nearly as much of a need of a rework as any other Warframes. She's very serviceable. Find the fun yet? What do you mean? This has been a great time. Good work. You have proven the prosecutors are not invincible. The top five frames in need of a rework. Limbo for sure, number one. And probably Banshee. And then. Here is a terminal. Get me in and get ready to defend. Yeah, Limbo, Banshee. This will take a moment. Well, yeah, Volbon probably. You guys forget how good invisibility is. I know Loki only has one ability, but that button is really good. Why am I on this? That's not what I wanted to do at all. We're fine. How about Stastic Ribbons on Twitter? That's not happening. You all know it. Stastic Ribbons? What you, what's not happening? Them removing stat sticks? Still that's working. entirely possible. Continue to defend. Yeah, oh yeah, Naros is probably there. It's probably a Naros and then Loki. I'm picking up traces of prosecutor shadows in the vicinity. Yeah, that's probably that's probably the bottom five for like what should probably be reworked. I would also put Mirage in there, but also that would re like I feel like Mirage would cause problems with lighting. But if she doesn't, then like kind of who cares? I think that's more so that I would like to see a Mirage one because I think Mirage is cool, but don't like her kit super a lot with the light stuff. Oh, Nidus doesn't need a rework at all. Nidus could just use some buffs. His kit is, like, absolutely great uh, in terms of design. There, there's a there's a very big difference between uh, this Warframe could use a couple tweaks, maybe the number go up a little bit, and this Warframe's design is flawed. Because, like, with Hydroid, his design was flawed. Like, the Undertow thing, like, I can't really think of a way that you can really make it work. 
And Limbo, same thing. His design is flawed. Same thing with Banshee. Her design is flawed. Her ability cannot functionally work and her be, you know, available to use in, com in, in like, contact. Like, whenever she just looks at a thing and goes, I multiply my damage by 11 T billion, it just breaks whatever she's looking at, or it's not allowed to work. And, like, functionally, that just that doesn't work. Still working on it. Continue to defend. Like, you can't allow her to be for anything whenever you design her that way. And, like, this is, this is all, like, the sins of the past type thing, right? Because you got to remember that, like, Limbo uh, and, like, Banshee. Like, Banshee was, like, one of the first released Warframes. It was insanely long ago. So, like, this is all, like, you know, hindsight's 11 billion, 11 billion vision of, oh, this doesn't work in the video game. But, you know, how could you? What's up with this random squadron of Eximus? I'm not complaining, but it's only Sarah's. Those motherfuckers rolling up on an actually new player would really kill them, probably, like, pretty easily. Oh, right, this is a nightmare mission. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have Seeking Fury now, that's great. Another good hit. I'm over here like, regular mission! <laughs> right, nightmare, nightmare. Nightmare. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. <laughs> that reminds me, I should test Barrage in the new lighting. <laughs> That's correct. Think they will ever add cross save on platforms? That should be happening like within the next month. Yeah, Frost is fine. I think Frost like would definitely like some like you know a little reworking slash Buffy, but he doesn't need anything major. That's for sure. Especially not with that new augment. If I may say, Operator, your ba bum two fucking catalysts. Flash and bite. The day is won, not with a strike to the heart, but a hundred cuts about it. I could get the emissary armor. Ban the weapon slots, though. I should really do do Viri, though. And I don't need all these weapon slots. One moment. I have been delivered a Pepsis. Thank you, babe. Sounds good. Enjoy book. Love you, honey. Is Pepsi okay? Pepsi's the superior for real, real. Oh, especially this one. These are the. These are the real sugar ones. I don't have any fucking corn syrup bullshit in them. It's infinitely better. True infinity. And we're out. Any soda made with real sugar is going to be superior. Absolutely. Ever had real sugar Pepsi? Real sugar Coke is good, though. Yeah, it's it's the same kind of, like, increase level. It's so much, so much better. What do you mean real sugar? That's not just baseline? Nope, not in America. We make garbage soda for idiots. It sucks.
Orange Rip is so much fucking worse. Okay, so we're right in front of Tethys. Um, the weapon is crafting. We're going to use the weapon that we're crafting to kill Sargus. Uh, and then this junction will be done. And then that's whenever we can go over here and get to Nata and all that business. So oh, right Richard, now, you right meow, with the Nightwave being caught up, we finally can go to Duviri without having something pressing that we need to get done. <laughs> uh, so that is what we are going to do. Kosher Coke during Passover is awesome as well. Yep. Yep, that fucking yellow cap. So much better. But a baseline is garbage for our bodies, but I still drink root beer, ginger ale, and lemon lime cherry. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, soda's terrible for you. Right meow? Right meow. Sorry, kosher Coke, that's a thing? It is. Yes, they, they make it for Passover. Uh, the, the Pepsi does it as well. Um... And it's, it's just, it's literally just, it's just better. It's the better version of the soda. Like, it doesn't, like, whether you're, like, what is, Passover is Jewish? Is it Jewish? I don't remember. Whatever religion does Passover, they get the better soda. <laughs> Their religion stipulates that they get the better soda. Is Frost goaded now? Let's watch a guy pick Frost over Mirage. Well, Frost is, like, more expensive. Frost versus Mirage, though, is, like, really depends on the content. It's really complex, and yes, it is a Jewish thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Viking, I, am, I imagine... Nor Norway and like just Germany in general all have like the same type of deal. I saw a um, a TikTok from a, a German guy who was trying American Coke, and he was like, "What is this garbage? Is this not where this comes from? Why is it awful?" And I'm like, "Yeah, that's the correct response." That is the exactly correct response. <laughs> If you, if you go from fucking trying, like, real shit, and then you try what normal Coke is, you're going to be absolutely just so, so disappointed. I only fuck with root beer. I do not like root beer. I've never had a root beer that I've enjoyed. This Coke is mixing Coke in the glass bottles, hands down. That's real sugar. I agree. I agree. I prefer drinking out of a glass bottle, but that's that's you're you're still drinking the superior Coke. I do not like licorice. Is root beer made from licorice? What? In the UK, high fructose corn syrup is just not allowed, thank God. Yeah, I envy you. No, what? No? Okay. Root beer is sassafras. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Regardless. Uh, I actually don't know. I know we can start it from the codex. What happens when we click this button? I want to click record preemptively. 
Okay. Here's just the quest start button from here. Fair enough. It's time to do Duviri then. Let us begin. There is no prep needed for this. We're just in. We're just in it. Currently experiencing it. We're in it. Begin again. Royal Highness, ladies and gentlemen, an entertainment. How many times will one dissenter die before accepting their fate? Once more, how many times will one fool die? How much will one proud human soul suffer? Before bending a knee to the greatness of their eternal king. Citizens of Duviri, it is a well-known fact to each and every one of us, yes, that the unbent knee must be broken. Well, thank you for the sub. Sniffa. Sorry, I can't help it. It's too it's too good of a meme. <laughs> the drifter sniff is such an excellent meme. I'm so sad we stopped getting remixes of it, actually. The snifter. <laughs> Yeah, Mesa FR4 worked on bosses is super true. Alan Wake. I'm a writer. <laughs> He's a little Alan Wake-ish. Alright. Uh, I think we're probably just gonna stick with, like, defaults, if I'm honest. Because I've, I've never stuck with just the defaults. <laughs> uh, it is really funny what you could choose as a as a new player. You don't have a lot of uh, fantastic. Oh, this is not actually bad. If you wanted to go that. We're just just stick hard defaults on this though.
Got to stick to defaults, though. Which, which one is the default voice? It's Heron is the default voice. Okay. There are missing pieces of information about this hand. <laughs> Gun. Why not? Oh, can you steal the horse immediately? I had never tried that before. dragon. Ow. Yeah, too bad I can't start farming resources during this. You're not wrong. <laughs> soon.
fancy new hand, sire. Lucky you. I don't belong here. Shit. I don't even know why I'm talking to you. You're just some Thrax plaything, right? Too true. Not like you. No matter how much work I put in. I'm just looking for a way out of here. A way out? When all of us are obliged to stay. Where? Is there any worthwhile reason Yonder. to get to level 5 on the Plains of Eidolon? Oh, yeah. Rank 5 is the unique armor set, and it's pretty sick. Don't get in my way. Does Glaro grind long? I haven't bothered going for them yet. It's like, ah, yeah, four, four to six hours, depending. <laughs> of course they would. It depends on what you need. And also, if you've done any Duviri before at all. For the person who has everything, a little something extra. Young Ben Solo. 20 intrinsics. Wait, 20? Is it really 20? That or worm is hunting. And as you said, though you could buy some time if you fed it Lucinia first. I am your cloud above, your fire below, your... runs for Clairvo is seven if you're as lucky as possible average run is probably about nine yeah the big thing is that you're also farming a bunch of other stuff that you will want whenever you're doing the Clairvo farm To the cave. Right now, you're thinking, is this real? Rabbit. Or some fevered dream? The scene changed depending on who you pick, or is it always Mag Center? I think it's always Mag Center. I'm wondering why the hell this all feels so damn familiar. Emotions, they guide where others fail. The King's spiral takes away time, experience. This was ready for almost a month you know, testing like it multiple others. times a day. It's ingrained in me after not touching it for a while now. Nice. Oh, yes. And this is, well, it was you that named her. Remember? This, oh man, which one have I not seen? 
I think I haven't seen this one. We'll go with that. Noah, I miss the ebbing of that pensive light. Here, we spiral in the constant glare of an absurd purgatory. And I played this the first thing after loading up from a four-year break, and I was so confused, free. and I'm still confused. That's why I have the timeline. I'm just so tired. The figurine you pulled from the paradox. The lost toy of a temperamental child. You need only to find the rest of its pieces. You can't be serious. You can keep the doll. I've got to get as far away from this as I can. You know you cannot run from here with Thrax on the throne. But by all means, try again. Except if it doesn't solve much I'll of the timeline. Even give you True. My blade. But the timeline will give you context for the things that it does have in it. Until the next spiral, then. Wake the fuck up, Samurai. Anyway. Intrinsics acquired. Oh, I think it's at this point we can actually use this, right? Yeah, we do have, uh... Because it's the anniversary year, we do have this. I might not go with the drifter pants, though, honestly. Or the special pants. on green. I forget you can still pick up the Conqueror stuff. Yeah. Hold on, I am going to do the thing. One does not simply leave it alone.
to change a little more. We can do that. And it is a real shame that this chest and arm armor is male drifter only. I really do wish there was a female version of it. Just finding shelter on the mainland before Loden's wrath is turned upon me. No, Loden's wrath about to be turned upon me, though. You're thinking, is this real? Some fevered dream. All right, Teshin, I'll try it your way. You remember. Good. Now, we can begin. Warframes. Brought here by the Paradox. In the world beyond the wall, they were the weapons of a warrior caste called the Tenno. I suspect your hand may offer a way to control them as they did. Choose. Hey, similar to our uh, other choice, we're going to choose Mac. Hey, guess what? It's Mac. It's a good tutorial. But not one that I need. I'm ready. Then go. The King's Reach is weaker here in the Undercroft. On the surface, I suspect this Warframe would be a liability, attracting his every worm. But here, you can roam free and revel in its power. So what am I doing here, Teshin? A joyride? You are seeking a paradox. You'll need more than her hand and my blades to survive above. Hmm. Here they come.
energy. Well, there was, how many? There was only like five guys. There you go. There's something else down here. Yes, a paradox. You must find it. What are these choices? Is the Akvasto, the Piranha, or the Lex? We're choosing the Lex. Piranha is maybe a little more prudent, but I love the Lex. And this is like the only place where you can choose it, and you're like, yeah. It's just, M it's just MR fodder, really, in the main game now. It used to be like the thing. We, we can't get any of the... No, we can get Rune Marrow already. Okay, I'll have to make sure I do that. I'm trying to remember all the Rune Marrow spawns. Uh, Rune Marrow is going to be the major thing I might not have enough of. Problem being, I don't have all of the Rune Marrow spawns memorized. Voltor or the Tigress? The Tigress. Love the Tigress. Tigress also just from the past. <sighs> I remember when it used to do this to like the hardest enemies in the game. It's the higher platform over the tunnel. Ah, yes. Thank you. Collect a melee. Yeah, the Cronin, obviously. I say obviously. Obviously, it's only obvious to me. But I have seen so the secondary option might be optimally sure. the piranha, but whatever. So special about these Tenno? This ain't so hard. From the other side. Not the Fragor, not the Fragor criminal. Are you crazy? Void that make the walls of our prison. With Gemini cross? I suspect the paradox is their attempt to help us. With Boltor, but also the Cronin. Yeah, Boltor is totally reasonable. The gun choices, you could pretty much go any way, and you're going to be fine. I mean, you're going to be fine with any of these choices. <clears throat> Think Parasitis is worth farming? Absolutely, it isn't. There's no shot that it is. Of course. I didn't trust her. Why not? Well, she was sentient. I told you already. No. No. I didn't know all that yet, did I? He believes the Oregon had us too. I have thoughts about who Eshin is talking to there, but I won't go into it. It was war, after all. It defined us. <clears throat> we were made to hate without reflection. <laughs> no, no vacation.
Nations. Hmm. I suppose... Saturn, maybe? I've always wanted to see the rings up close. We thought he was talking to the rabbit? Yeah. Oh, feeling better? <clears throat> that Warframe took a greater toll on you than I expected. Who are you talking to? If you are recovering, we must begin at once to seek the other pieces of Thrax's figurine. Completely ignore that I question. I expect they will manifest the same as paradoxes on the surface. Gear up. Look around and tell me when you are ready. How'd you end up here anyway? Through the eye of a storm. I'm not sure if I was dead or alive at the time. You? Oh, it's been too long for me. Maybe I was on that ship, or maybe the same way you did. All his horses, all his men. The sooner you find the pieces, the Shin has a long history of not answering questions. Place. That's true. will reset the spiral the moment he senses a Warframe on the surface. We will save that for the Undercroft. This should at least give you a fighting chance against his false Dax. He's in a mood. See for yourself. You... Have anger, Thrax. And because he is a creature of emotion, his world follows. From the Duviri Tales, the Prince of Fire. Be wary. In the story, the King's men had blades of molten steel. The imp's grown suspicious of me. His spies approach even now to surveil. Me! One more bucket of piss splashed in my face for the world to see! Take care of this before we're both in the stuff! <laughs> I guess, unironically. As the never to be king's fortune rose, it was the paradox. So well, did his fire, his indignation, his anger. Yow shrubs. Worth noting, because I am going to be posting this, um, you do not have to collect these materials while you're doing this quest. You can do it afterwards. But I need these materials. And because this forces this anger spiral, it's like the easiest to farm materials during anger because you can see that they're highlighted in orange. Travesties were a stupid idea. Oh, but they're so strong, Loda. Kill one. Take what it's guarding. Prove me right. Yeah. We're using the, uh... The forced anger to our advantage here and getting the root and things. 
I could theoretically go farm all of the things. Uh, I, I will refrain because I, there is a guide video that is needing to be made. Or, or I could go farm all the things and cut the cut it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably not smart quite yet. I'm learning so much about your weaknesses. So everything was met with anger. We'll just do things that are on the way to places. Was his undoing. We will be grabbing the things that are on the way to places, that's for sure. Is the prison here? During this? No. Park Harbor is up there, though. You don't, no, I can't do Gyrus. mass of chaos under the Get a portal open. I have had enough. We are fixing this. Without the, without the two like initial intrinsics you want anyway, it's not super worth it to go around farming the stuff. The Undercroft seethes with Thrax's violence. We will need this rune marrow, though. With force. Destroy every enemy you find. Another three, four. Five. Eat a bunch of it. Yeah, it's probably about all of it. Doing mag things to him. That was weird. The foe is staggered, but not yet defeated. Persist. You know, the Dubiri Paradox quest is always the same. You always pick it from the same stuff. I could have been a good king, but I'll never get the chance because they mm. hate me. Everyone hates me. But guess what? I hate myself more. Should be grabbing materials while this is happening. Oh, that's to Soma. Need that. Nearby, the paradox you seek. To Soma, to Soma. Needing a couple of this. Is this the thing that's like? Oh no, I'm thinking of a different thing. Isn't this where like one of the scans is? That's later. Take the green part. That's what it is. Return to me. There's another thing here later. You are ready. Am I allowed to do this right now? No. Okay. <laughs> just trying to do. Just trying to do a million things early. We're fine. We're fine. Leg choir, leg choir. Just wait until I get to the full thing. 
lots of stuff to do. I guess we're born with anger. An instinct like any other. Like squinting at the sun or flinching from a burn. But some of us... Maybe we learn it. Easy. I have you. Don't! You saw that ship in the sky? The Zeremin. Our child king. Must be one of those who was abandoned there. Ateno. I love that that's a dialogue Tenno option. To help me. This paradox stuff. Now, you're saying Thrax is one of them? He doesn't seem too helpful. The history I know. That Zeremin ship returned from the void, bringing with it the extraordinary power the Tenno command. But here is a different path, I suppose. A difference in parallel. A paradox in itself. I wish the facial crystals would in this. Eh, I kind of felt that way as well, but I think it's just because I just played Cyberpunk. Thrax feels. Ready yourself for the next day, and consider what you have learned. And like the scales of what those two things are trying to do are pretty different. that Thrax woke on the right side of his crib today. Well, need more. Sickening. <clears throat> Remember, the joy he feels is not lacking in danger. Find the fable hidden and play it out. That way, you may discover the next paradox, the next piece we need. So it's harder to see here, but a lot of the plants will glow that like pink blue. It's really, really clear during yeah. anger. Still trying to collect what I need though. You won't be happy, so you can stand on your own two feet. Something's hidden nearby. You are going to find it by yourself. <clears throat> I did it. Hiding its face in play, Mathilla hid from the truth. Nothing but joy mattered. This one we need to go underground, which is right over here. Also, anytime you're underground, you should be looking for the Tesoma. There's always Tesoma underground, pretty much without fail. Not everyone is strong enough to confront the darkness within. Are you going to keep putting it off? Or are you going to take action? Whoa. I'd say almost always. Is the exception the quest? It might be. It may, in fact, be the exception of the quest. Give it unfortunate, because I do need to sum it very bad. Oh, you saw one? Did I just miss it?
I'll find it. Oh, there is this. Yeah, these. You want these. Very badly, in fact. understand that you cannot bring happiness to the world by making oh yeah to some is the, well to some is the worst thing to target farm that's why you need to make sure you grab whatever you can whenever you are actually in a cave naturally because it will mean you do not need to farm it later because you do not need that much to soma but you do need to make sure you are picking it up when it's next to you nothing but joy so your path is clear isn't it The longer you can keep this Undercroft manifestation active, the greater the gains for the other side. Rune Marrow. Also, the Rune Marrow is going to be a very nice, especially early as well. You'll want to make sure. It's usually on the outskirts of these, as you have uh, seen me grab so far. I don't think I'm going to be up here. There's one exception to that, which is usually here in the center of this one. That's not this time, it seems. Here's one. There's another. You're going absolutely as much of that as you can get your hands on, though. It's for a ton of different good things. Enemies may drop valuable life support. Uh, do, do, do. Anything under here? Also, right under here. Okay, not bad. Stop the the east of the tower. You jump past the room, Mira. Oh, did I? The performance will commence. Presently. Ah, I did indeed. Missed it. Thank you. things really are just if you didn't choose mag, huh? They're just like, hey, here's a pull that we put on the ground just in case. Just in case you're not mag, we've got it here for you. What are the story enemies in Deviri? 20. But they give you a, a weapon that has all of its mod slots filled, so... Let's round and say one. He 
If you can't make your own crowd control, store bot is fine. <laughs> really true. Someone has to be the worst resource in the game. No. Absolutely not. This one was fine. Oh no, when you enter a cave, you have a thing that you probably should grab. large Lucinia. I can fix her. Very nice. You found it. Good. So tell me, did Mathilla's joy wear off on you? Oh yeah, Lucinia is sadness. You're right. Mathilla, you are correct. You think I don't know what you're up to? My ducks are searching. We will find your nasty little den soon enough. I do have enough now. Um. Yeah, I mean, I think Endurance is probably the one to take first. You need one Endurance, one Combat is your first two things. The order doesn't matter super a lot. Our whole lives, we run towards it. Something, someone. Some wavering oasis of joy and contentment. Sad thing is... Most happiness seems to come by accident. Maybe it's not about getting it, but letting it. are giving you something as these emotions flow through you you take from him his singular power over the world i don't want chairsies i want out but look the dormazon it's lit up now her notice the obscured figure and your drifter are different yeah So I'm gonna go change something real quick. That's fun.
up, rogue. Consume food. To eat the protein brick. Sailor, not hard to get. I will need the stuff that's around here, though. The king has these generators built, and then he lets them go to rack and ruin. Get it running again. There's some. Give Wait, no. me a taste of his power. That's the fishing. There it is. This stuff. Onla. Conla's usually around the water. This, this quest version, but it is the quest version. Were loved more, and that was poison to him. Ah, I know those guys. They're the ones that like to use me as a target for the spitting contests. Even score, would you? <laughs> I've dreamed of this. With sweet words, he persuaded others to his side. But his thoughts were only ever of himself. There. Ah, the Undercroft. A seething mass of void-ridden potential. Spiced with childish nightmares. Give me some. A delicious History child nightmares. That this Tenno asset was destroyed in a grave setback to the cause. Let us rewrite that event. Yeah, start that up. But we're gonna go around and find the enemy uh, musters for a fresh assault. The enemy mustard. Hold the line. You can't stop me from thinking about the enemy mustard.
Alerts are muted by the chat. They are. That is indeed true. For the purposes of the quest, alerts are muted, everybody. If I was Rune Marrow, new onslaught begins. Aha. There was two Rune Marrow, and there's another one there. Or it was just two total. The telespulter and turn and still silly bugger they fix it that got fixed my knowledge anyway i would wager that it's still a little bugged because i think all the incarnates are bugged in the normal way i don't think there's any exceptions to that Can't escape the defense missions, not even in Duberi, it's really true. Like ashes, the enemy has been scattered to the void. You can't escape defense until late game whenever you finally stop doing them because you're done with all the required ones. I'll see, she never sings again. It was me that gave her that voice. It's I who deserves the stage, not that ungrateful harpy! Me! 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 but I'm chill. Just pretend it never happened. Simply tell the giant dragon no. Works every time. In we are. No, uh, Lua? <clears throat> Only 16. And... Nothing's worse than anger, right? It burns your lungs. It ashes the trees. But you can see it, right? And after it passes, maybe something new sprouts up. A resentment. Resentment is desolation. It salts the soil. 
souls that nothing ever grows again. Didn't see it coming, did you? That I was just using you. You think there's some magic land outside of here? All there is, is war and suffering. Understand? I think so. Do you? Do you really? You keep calling this a prison, but you know what it really is. It's the only place in the entire universe that is actually safe. Yeah, clearly. You had it all. A whole world to yourself. But you were bored, ungrateful. You had to bite the hand that feeds. Like Lua, huh? Like what? Once upon a time, there was a dying old man. Guys, ready for the story? He lay on his bed, dying. He called to each of his beloved children. Pretty rune marrow to get. My objective is survive, so I'm chill mo. Aha, rune marrow. Actually gonna be really useful if I grab a bunch of rune marrow here. It's the perfect thing to do while this sequence does its whole thing. Okay, we grabbed all the rune marrow. I think. Pretty sure. At least most of it we grabbed. How many do you need? I think I need 80 total. It's the one I'm most worried about not having enough of. Tessin! Tessin! The performance will commence presently. Alright. So they came to his bedside. One by one, ah. and his first born was there. And the old man said, "My child, my child, why be your eyes so dry?" And the first born said, "So that I might be strong, father." And so the old man gave to them the deeds for all his lands. And I looked over here already. I think that's the full circle. Then in here, grab a rune marrow. Then in here. Okay, good.
Yeah, making sure to grab the rune mirror here is really nice. And when his last child Might actually be the thing that uh, makes it so that it's going to be pretty easy to make sure I have enough rune mirror. You were my favorite of all. Why show you no feelings at all? In here there can be one? Yeah. Remember if there can be any here. Yep. Then up. One here. Just energy. Mag stays winning, as is usually the case. For like the huge majority of the early game. Well, it's not like you ever need to stop playing Mag. And the last child said to him, I feel nothing. For it was I who has killed. Where is he? Don't you worry. Justice. Come swiftly in my kingdom! Got his ass. Get his ass. <laughs> dare you fucking teleport away. Tappies. My brain. I've been, I've been doing drifterless behavior for a while.
Oh, man. <laughs> I love that that man just gets punched straight in the nose. Drifter got a mean right hook. <laughs> yeah, just clobbered him. Wake up, Tenno. I'll never use that ability again. Mr. Crap. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize so much. I am. Good. You are just in gorge. Well, I'm not sorry. You're right. I'm not sorry. Pan art staff. <laughs> Destroy all emotion. What are Aurora Worms anyway? Yeah. This is really cool though.
this. This is mine. His curse upon you. Always has been. You took control. I always had it. Thrax didn't make this place. You didn't. But you reset it. You gave it all back to him. Why? I guess it felt like a good trade. Hmm. So, what's next? Those beyond the wall have helped you. You will need to repay that debt. But you've earned your freedom. A way through the paradox and out of the spiral. Be warned. You will not be as you are now. But as you were then, do you see it? The other side. I... I see it. Also, this is the one that makes the most sense, by the what way. What will you do? Yeah, this choice does do nothing. Sometimes you get stuck. Sometimes you go numb. The color drains away. You stop trying. And that just feeds the spiral going down. Maybe you'll get lucky one day. You see yourself in the mirror and snap out of it. But for some of us, it takes more. A friend, a stranger, a story, a helping hand and that's the Daviri paradox for those of you that know what the fuck is going on yes the important parts are still the parts we don't have and for those of us that don't know what's going on wasn't this quest neat What a good song that only plays if you hang out at the Daviri Paradox being completed. Anybody who claims to get it is lying. Oh no, I get it. I get it. We're just still missing stuff. Yeah, that's going to do it for the Debir Paradox. Debir Paradox, now done. We now have the ability to go farm Kulerva, which is what we're going to do. Wait, does leave send you right back? Okay, no, it doesn't. Okay, it's going to say, wait a minute. Hold on. In addition to that, we've got mail. We get the Sun and Moon Blueprint, which we're not going to build. 
uh, the storybook, and then Mountain's Edge, which goes with the Sun and Moon. Yeah, we're not going to bother building this, though. This is a waste of resources. Those resources will be spent on other things, but this is, like, actually pretty easy to build eventually. Also, we ended up with 29 Rune Marrow coming out of there, which is really solid. Really solid. Okay, so now that the recording for the quest is done, who do you think Teshin was talking to? Oh, the operator. What are we into right now? Oh, uh, joy. Angered an hour ten, huh? All the way out here. Well, that's just oh, unfortunate. I don't think you should answer that. Let's see if we can get the other important uh, intrinsic real quick. Did it? Fucking huh? Will you stop? I have sixteen still, right? Ah, I thought it was you, and I have a pretty good idea what you're up to. Oh, I wouldn't tell anyone, not with your reputation. I think we could be useful to each other. I've built up quite a collection over the years, and you can get your hands on things I never could. So, trade? Don't tell me you're not curious. Did you this is also where we're, gonna be, where we're getting Kulerbo from. Can be sighted just off so we've got about half the Kovnik that we need. We're almost at half the Rune Marrow. So you only need to wait so Soma we still need a good chunk of. Darker moods. We will need to get a good chunk My of Kanla as well, so that'll need to be part of it. The island was first I forget where Ivani spawns, but it spawns in pretty big quantities. The and the rest is going to be easy. Hole straight through the ground, and from nothing tickled your curiosity, hmm? We're shopping the entire game. Are you on drug, cocaine, I'll crack? Have your secrets out of you. Everyone. This shop is the worst one in the entire game? Like a Krithis? This one that can have reactors and catalysts in it? You remain Giovanni's library in the amphitheater? Okay, cool. Yeah, we should do one regular run of Duviri. Just so I can get... Um, intrinsic. Because I will need the attack intrinsic for doing the Calerbo farm if it's going to be comfy at all. So we'll do the one run here. Solo. We'll do one normal run solo. Uh, and then the next run we do will be the solo Calervo. Obviously, that's going to only be once Anger starts, though. When does when do you get this? Is that part of an intrinsic? Is it rank nine? Currently probably has the worst version of her shop she can have, if that's what they meant. Oh, that's probably true. It's combat five. No. What are you looking for? What makes the plant start spawning in here? Just a matter of time once the Duvier quest is completed. Could be. Am 
might start doing it after a normal run. I could see that as well. Well, the plants I are still preserved in the beginning. Well, it's out there now. Here's way a little lighter on me today. Um, so I'm actually not going to choose. Well, I guess Mag gets my build for Mag. It's actually really good. Better than like default Rhino. So, yeah, we'll grab that. Ooh, the core attack. I actually like the core attack. It should be a fun one. Found Graham, I guess. The Harbinger of Joy. When Happy Mathilla wanted to see nothing but happiness wherever she went, it soon caused problems. You cannot dwell on your woes forever. It's time to spread some positivity for a change. Oh, don't worry. I'm on this journey with you. The decks hurt you. Give yourself permission to hurt them back. That's what you need. Oh, you know what? Oh, well, I guess no. That would be kind of a waste. Well, I guess it's not a waste at this point because we just have time. I should probably. How many is the? How many uh, clamps is the Azathane? Because I need to build the Azathane, so I might as well have the Azathane ready for tomorrow. Because that weapon's just insane, like regardless. Is it 50? Hmm. If anything else, I could farm right now. Because like doing extra Duviri just means I get extra reactors and shit, which is like just good. Obviously, that's already picked up 15 Tonla. I can tell you want to be useful to the Daviri community, and fixing that generator would be a wonderful use of your time. God, Tonla has such a wide range of how much it can be. It can be like between like two and like eight. This is one of the things I haven't actually messed with. The Lost Tomes. That's neat. Okay, cool. That's a fun little activity they added. I've never even seen this. It's one of the activities they added. It's it's neat. That's a nice little one. Damn eagle eye over here. I don't know what to tell you. Mathilla did not understand that you cannot bring happiness to the world by making unhappiness a crime. The Undercroft is a source of unbridled negativity. We are about joy and nothing but joy. So your path is clear, isn't it? Is that the one? Is it? Isn't there an emote that like activates this? Or is it not this statue? Oh, it's not this one. Okay. It's not all the statues. Okay, okay. It has to be the white face. Okay. That has to be the two arms raised, not the one. Okay. Totally forgot. Many.
many defensive battles within the origin system were lost. Bruh. The paradox, you now have the Attention, why are you making me do defense again? Defeats. At least it's only three waves. The winds blow fiercely. The rains do not relent. Swing the gram. Oh, at least they give us like the like more fun stance for this. Incoming. Confirm the memory section from the new war is from the operator right. Also, probably being there. Part of the memory or not? Uh, we're we're not going to confirm things about the, like the new war. I also don't know what you mean by the memory section. Hit an angle. Assault. Hold the line. October. God, I wish I was given a halfway decent melee. <laughs>
It's also my lack of decrees, but shitty melee never helps. The enemy has been scattered. You're gonna do the arcane portals. The steel path ones on my not steel path. Mathilla's plans were failing, but she put a brave face on it. With a whistle, I also don't have the like, combat intrinsics yet, though. I was missing like 30% damage there. There's normal ones? What the fuck are even in those? I have no idea what's even in the normal ones. I have to imagine it's like nothing. All the bad idol on Arcanes. Yeah, no, I'm okay without doing that. They'd be happier in the safety of a pen, and in their hearts, they know it. So, you can round them up with a clear conscience. Go, Tam, go. Tam. Go in. You're a different guy. Mathilla embraced optimism with the zeal of a fanatic. Her plan would work. Duviri would be happy. Come on. Oh, wait, you know, I just realized I don't have fast travel unlocked yet. I forgot that's an intrinsic, actually. What the fast travel? Actually, I haven't tried new fishing either. There's a fishing hole here, right? There it is. Look at this jacket. Log in. Six Nacreous Pebbles. Forty Scales. <laughs> and you can just keep doing this, by the way. Was fishing nerfed? No, it's been buffed. Too high. Pebbled. 
39 scales. Oh, no. Yeah, you can gather materials as much as you want. Also, uh, if multiple people find different ponds, there's only one pond, like, physically. So all of you enter into it at the same time, and you only need to hit the one goal. So if you can get four people together that need, like, the fishing materials, you all jump into this as the maw at the same time, and it finishes, like, nearly instantaneously. enough fish spawn. I mean, the spawn is not really usually an issue. I remember how much maw thing I need. I think I need 10 total for Calirbo. It's not a lot that I need. I know that. Is it 20? Okay. Three more things, nice. Did we ever figure out if there was any um, validity to the rumor that you could get the maw as a fish for your or your, your uh, orbiter? Was fake as far as I know. Okay. That was the thing that was that went around there for a little bit. It would be sick if true. That's true. Nine pebble. Not that I've seen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I was pretty sure it was fake, but I figured I'd ask again, just in case. Just in case I missed it. It would be like the coolest thing in the world to get as a decoration for your ship, though. Like an articula of them all would be super sick, actually. fish you eat? Not at all. <clears throat> Hang them over the mantle. Reason you're waiting for all the drops to show before you restart fishing? Just to count. Think you're making sure I'm getting maw thing. I think maw thing is the only one you really need to think about because I should have the rest of everything else by the time I have enough maw thing. are so funky I like them oh yeah they are very varied there's a made a decoration you said like a booby trap for players who invite to your order that'd be pretty hilarious 
<laughs> you have to keep adding things to Dubiri. I mean, Dubiri seems like a thing that is likely to be story relevant. Like, I know it, it's... I think it could easily seem like Dubiri is like, you know, it's had its thing. We now know what it is, and we're moving on. But I think it's a thing that will be touched on later that will actually end up being quite important. Like, I think that this is not going to be a required quest, like, immediately, but that we'll get there. <clears throat> Why is so important to farm right away? He's going to carry us all the way through Steel Path on, like, nothing. And he's amazing and really good at, like, everything. Ah, oh, no fangs. How many do we have? Thirteen. Probably just unlucky on that go. Give me fangs. Okay, good. Okay, we're gonna get the 20 that we need, uh, and then we're gonna be done fishing, I think, for all of Glarbo Farm. Because I don't think Azathane needs fangs. Needs five. Oh, okay. We're gonna get to twenty-five then. How do you dash like that? Jump. Why is this fish not highlighted? You turn off oh yeah, I turned off ally highlight. Do the fish highlight if you have ally highlight on? Oh, that's actually nice. doesn't need fangs for any parts, only pebbles. What do you need fangs for? I thought it was 20 fangs for Galerbo. Is it not? <clears throat> there is an opacity and intensity slider on ally highlight. There is. As they needs five. How many pebbles does Galerbo need? Did I over farm this already? 125 pebbles. No other fish resource. Okay, well, let's grab the pebbles we need then. We're almost done with that. 360 scales. Oh, that's nothing, nothing, though. We have like a thousand already. Uh, you might want to keep Taxon's weapon, Emac. Otherwise, yeah.
Also, I would not, I would warn you against selling Sentinel weapons because like DE is like going to do another pet pass, so you won't want to have just sold all the stuff. Like we we know another pass is coming at the companions for like buffing things that are underperforming. So I'd be I'd be real careful about that. Yeah, like when I sold my ceramic dagger many years ago. Yeah. Well, that one was a surprise, but this time we know in advance. one pebbles need 25 more One more. Fish really said home. Hundred and thirty two. It was a hundred and twenty five, not one thirty five. I'm just doing one more. Fuck it. It was one twenty five. Okay, whatever. We have a little extra. Bunch of that now. I have you in your 
Today, you fight miscreants and claim your reward. Oh, life is a glorious adventure. I do hope you understand. <laughs> Um, probably this actually. Yeah. Joy and madness are both known to laugh aloud. Mathilla leapt from one into the embrace of the other. It's time. The first Comey you win gives you an intrinsic, right? To make things right. It may That's not be bottom much left. Much. To but start, right? I just have to follow it the way that it goes. <clears throat> it's fine. I did it wrong, but it's recoverable. It's whatever. That rabbit's a brick wall with no corner strats. Yeah. The Undercroft seethes with Thrax's violence. Burn it out with force. Destroy every enemy you find. This time with a ton of melee buffs. Barely begun. 
<clears throat> Rune Marrow, thank you. Don't need it on the main account, so sometimes I space out. What's 75 for Clairvo? Uh, yeah, I think it's 75 Romero for uh, Clairvo plus Azathane. Might only be on Clairvo. Can the tunnels have room mirror on this one? Fair. Aha, yes indeed. Fucking Bane without that fucking first intrinsic. There we go, die for. Since he drops Rune Marrow. Also be the thing of like whenever I start doing runs with other people, like four mans are gonna make this crazy easy. I get it. I do. You all want happiness, but none of you wants to put in the work. <clears throat> oh, do you think this beautiful light in my heart? <laughs> oh, just got there by itself. Do you? <laughs> Creature is suffering. It would mean ever so much to me. Were you to relieve them of their affliction? Uh, I should probably go get Ivani while the amphitheater is up, but. Eh. Give it to me. Thank you. Happiness becomes a dragon when you allow it to master you. The indulgent, the cowardly, the indolent. To whose skirts do they cling? Mathilla's aura worm seeks to inflict her idea. We. I'm in. You have control. Cut the ties that <clears throat> bind. You guys ready to kill your first aura worm or uh, for us to kill our uh, 
This could be a little bit of a problem without that first combat intrinsic, though. So we've got about 120% less damage than normal. We'll see. Uh, no, and also not a dumb question, Mist Gun. Vortex doing Vortex things, so we're good. Vortex underappreciated. I'll continue to say it. Love the Vortex. If they gave me a Vortex Incarnate, I would not complain. Have an all fire? No. I think my most desired Incarnans are Marelock followed by Quartek, because I fucking love the Quartek. And I have immense nostalgia for the Marelock. Ow. We're fine. Find a way to stop its spawn. There it goes. Bravely done. For this one night at least, Duviri is calm. Ten pathos clamps, fifteen intrinsics. Wab. Why can't I remember? Wab. So that was 16 intrinsics. We were actually 150% less damage than we'll have on every next run. All right, let's see how far into the Clairvo we are. We should have just like cleared all of like the um, the fish stuff we needed things with that. Please tell me Simon is referencing Mickey Mouse. That's correct. Anger in 20 minutes. Will you stop? Look at us, chatting like old. A dungeon island is all. Yeah, obviously, we have the clamps now. Good. Yeah, we have all but the pebbles we need. If there's a prison, break. we have all the scales we need. We, have, we almost have all the agristone now. That one's just like 
going to be a given, though. Um, obviously, we have more. We've got a quarter of the Kanla, and that's one run. And I think, like, the one that we got in the actual quest. The Sagan Pearls are going to be pretty much a given, I think. Lamentus didn't be a problem at all. Uh, Ivani, we do need to grab. Ivani's not mood-specific at all, is it? I never, ever had to grind for it. It is. It's amphitheater and stuff. Is it just that it drops a ton? I never had to grind for it. I guess maybe we should go in and grab those. Nothing tickled your curiosity. Also on Ark Harbor. Okay. First things first, though. Let's grab our combat intrinsics so that we, you know, get 10% damage on every single one. Seems pretty good. Um... And then, uh, do we really desperately need rank two of anything? Uh, rank two of this one's actually really good. And then we can get rank one of this. <clears throat> oh, also, as an, as an additional fun piece of information, we already have 7,500. Um... Mastery from Duviri. Like just all already, we're already at seventy five hundred from from Duviri. We've done one quest. Well, we've done the quest and one run. Operator, Ordis is sorry. Happy to report that all my good jokes are gone. What's the next one we actually need to shoot for? I think it's probably... Yeah, rank 4 rider is our next one. That we need to pretty much go straight to. I guess we can just do public matchmaking for this one, though. No real reason not to. Cause like I mean, we beat it for our very first run of it. So like, it's not like I can't just do that again. I will have 150% more power. Like, fuck, this will be borderline impossible to snipe. That's correct. Oh, well, there is one slot open. Oberon or Saren or my mag. Hmm. The regular Paris, the Saro. Dual Ether and Ballistica? Yeah, because it's going to be dual Ethers, I suppose, if I have to. And I guess the Paris is where we're at, which could be worse. Oh, post-migration. Fun. another person that doesn't know you can see the loadout before you go in oh you can only see the loadout before you go in if you have opportunity for <laughs> oh interesting hmm Wah Mag sitting there. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe other people are just still loading in. The Unfortunately, Mathilla was convinced she knew what would make people happy better than they did. You Going to the amphitheater. Dwell on your woes forever. It's time to spread some positivity for a change. Oh, don't worry. 
I'm on this journey with you. <laughs> Joy also has like the Scholar Island, right? Hey, friend. God, it's been so. I've never actually farmed Ivani, so I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> like hilariously, I actually really actually don't know what it looks like. You got the thumbs out again. He takes his responsibilities so seriously. I'm sure he wouldn't mind you helping him out this once. Oh yeah, I forgot this is here. Might as well grab that. Oh, and then also... Another thing I might as well grab, speaking of things that are here. seen any of Ani here yet. Is this supposed to be at the amphitheater? I guess worst case scenario, I've grabbed a bunch of intrinsics from here. Yoink. Isn't there one also that's like way up top on one of these? Yeah, there it is. Ow. Fuck. Well, I guess that's what I get for dismounting. Please mount up. I think that one was a connection thing. There's also one on this, isn't there? Or is it just over? Yeah, here it is. I remember more of this than I should. I've only ever collected all of these once. Well, this isn't one. Here's some Ivani. Like a child hiding its face in play, Mathilla hid from the truth. Nothing but joy mattered. Don't you look away from me. That's so fucking rude. Here we go. Wait, right? I didn't give me the right rewards. That's still not the right one. I'm not a bully, especially not a bully in uniform. Teach that 
Jack's office are not to push the little people around. <laughs> There it is. I was like, what? There's that's the Syntagrip as well. Nice. There it is. Give me that one. I fucking cannot believe that I have somehow managed to fucking I, there's no way I should have remembered this mu this many of these. There's no way. I should not have remembered this many of these. To find be fair. Yeah, I guess that's true. Why did they have to be so difficult? Was there one here? There's one that was like on like a arch in here. Hey, please. I was smashing the fly button and it was like, mm -mm, no. Some ill fortune creature needs our aid. Won't you help them out, Lord, please? It's time for you to descend into the undercroft and to make things right. It may not be what you want, but it is what you need. Oh, there's one like way out. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, there's only one more left here. is much better for Ivani. That's probably fair. Where was the last one? Is it just on the edge here? Please? Also, 100 MS ping is not that bad. Um, I think I got the ones around the tower. I don't think there was two on this one. Yeah, that's true. Gotta head to the Undercroft anyway. Oh, Smoldering, that's what I was looking for.
believe this one's solvable solo, right? No one else is in the portal yet. I'm on the opposite side of the map, but I could head to Ark Harbor. to leave with a lot of intrinsics although i think i'm not i mean this is so easy to do but like i think i'm gonna try and not invest any more intrinsics until i do the calerbo run is your website live yet right frozen.com is live it doesn't have that the, the stuff from like what i'm making right now on it yet though I think I remember there being one on top of this tower. Quick pit stop. Double quick pit stops. <laughs> Do a couple of the relevant quizzes for upcoming story. What? How could you possibly know that? And bro is Steve's alt account. Yeah. <laughs> One of those things is around here somewhere. There it is. Oh no, this is just the stuff. Oh, lovely. Another one. Yes. Almost breath, that's nice for me. Hello. Oh, it is just on top of this. I just missed it whenever I looked up here before. Yoink. And it's it's sort of on the way, so I'm just gonna go to it this way. There's one that's on the top of these, right? Isn't there? There's two up here, is there not? Might just be the one that's up here. One seems to be what he shouted at the end of the war. The other hints at his disposition, I guess. Hmm. Oh, 
Tacoma. Hold on. One second. I have a note that describes this to me. I wrote this down. All right. Now I have it. Two eight five seven six four three one. The pattern of what ones are which ones is always the same. And three is five. That's this one. Oh no, <laughs> I have a my my I, my brain, I mixed it up. Five is three, right. Uh so the fifth slot is six. Yeah, so that one is actually this one. Which I need one of these four. I don't believe you. Okay, there it is. We did it. Now that one's correct. Oh yeah, these two are right. That's two and eight. And then this one's five. Not that. Can't be that. It is that one, probably. Um, this one's seven. Not that one. Can't be that one. Nope, can't be that one either. Um. Oh, wait, no, I was looking at the wrong one. This one. This one's six. Can't be this one. Uh, I think it is that one. Uh, and then this one is four. be that one. And this one should be that one. Materials for me.
put this in the game. D. That's a lot of degrees. It's quite a few. <laughs> Squad going wild out there. Fact. Have any Ivani that I just missed while I was running around doing the puzzle thing? You know, with as little as I've found, I'm surprised I've never ever had to farm it. Is the only thing Ivani's for is like Calervo or what? <laughs> Probably resource booster? I guess maybe. I'm just a froggy mag. Uh, everyone left the squad? Question mark? That's not a problem, but what the fuck? in their stead. This jackal is a mere envoy. Destroy it. First, bring it down. Then work on keeping it down. Avoid the beams. You have an opportunity. Take it. A warrior must strike where the foe's armor is weakest. You have triggered its defensive precincts. Find where it has fled to. Something is shielding it from harm. Find out what. on me I didn't move thank you turn your fury all oh, revived an ally what is vulnerable
and I will go behind this wall. In fucking rude, Yackle. The foe has fallen. Stab it into the heart. Skill has triumphed over mere machinery. You have done well. Got a little bit of rune marrow. Oh, you wish I was MR3. I'm MR2. If she doubted, <laughs> she hid it. Her failures merely made her more determined to succeed. The decks hurt you. Give yourself permission to hurt them back. It's what you need. <laughs> Mathilla embraced optimism with the zeal of a fanatic. Her plan would work. Duviri would be happy. The Undercroft is a source of unbridled negativity. We are about joy and nothing but joy. So your path Grab is clear, five intrinsic. isn't it? Okay, let's do a 24-hour wait shit. That's correct. If I didn't have to wait 24 hours, I'd be like MR5. But instead, I have to wait five fucking days. extra mastery doesn't get wasted i i, I mean i guess so <laughs> if the extra mastery got wasted the game would literally tell you to log off if you're first like five minutes on was even the purpose of the mr time gate i couldn't i couldn't tell you i wish i knew oh there it is Thanks. weirdest part they don't even monetize it i don't think it's weird that they don't monetize it it's just weird that it's there at all because if it was monetized it would just be a thing that immediately makes people stop playing oh what's on this quiz what invaded galeria there is no such place. No? We just don't need to worry about it? Okay. <laughs> Man, what if option three was just always your mom on those? grinding for uh, a variety of things grabbing a bunch of intrinsics getting a bunch of materials for Colervo and the Azathane
Oh, I also need to go get Yao Shrub. Which is this way, right? Yeah, it is. Makes sense, Clairvo. Stupid powerful. Yeah. This is easy to hire a time staff for monetization schemes. Some of y'all have the weird fucking ideas that could be monetized. Oh man. I mean, it's weird they don't monetize it. it. Comes from games that are just truly despicably monetized, which I understand. Like it's 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 people coming from like, hey man, I played FIFA. And it's like, why isn't, why don't you pay for looking at the screen, huh? That's a sport, man. Isn't it worth any amount of money out of your pocket right now? Yao shrubs are so hard to find during joy. They don't glow at all. They're just these tiny, stubby little bastards. need that much yeah I only need like 40 thankfully there's another I don't remember that I need any track if I'm honest not what I meant to do jump way too much Should be at least one to Soma down here. Oh, there's like another quiz here alongside um, this thing. What do you got here? Alright. Shut the fuck up at the serving of bitter tea, apparently. Also, yeah, the answer for that one also could be your mom. That's definitely also true. Soma has all been concentrated in one little spot. Got it. Torture. I guess I'm collecting the Soma cords. Just keep just randomly finding them. Any kind of big community fun of that's true. That is true. So those tablets for who can say? Well, 
Only DE really knows. Like, they're clearly like Wally puzzles. Well, Wally weird interaction quiz things. See the one about not backing down from a deal? I don't think so. Do you need cactus and a lot of it? What about it? I know I need cactus. That's like, I mean, most of it's going to be on Calervo's Island. Because that, that fucking island always spawns a million of it. Oh, here's another one of these. The lesson of the Sorrowful Soprano. All right. Soma. Did I pass three of it? Isn't it purple? Oh, right, no, it's... I thought it was a purple cactus. No, it's a cactus with purple on top. Right. for Calerbo. Uh, sort of. Although we're, we're about to end. We've got Duberry unlocked, though, and there's not much we can do uh, main story progress-wise. We're just, like, grabbing a million things, basically. Oh, please put it. That's fun. clear will then break the game over his knee that's correct oh you know i've never done this one i knew one, i knew this one was here but i've never done it conceptual embodiment Seeing if you can get every intrinsic in one run. No. First of all, rude.
guys really did say, we're out here getting these fucking intrinsics. What are you doing? I missed the one that's on top of this. 90% sure there was a one on top of here. Is there not? Well, let's be mixing it up with one of the other ones. Oh, no, 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 no. There is one. Haha. -ha. I'm not crazy. I was just misremembering very slightly. one in here. There's a stone board. I thought there was one in here. Maybe it's a different one of the buildings. Ability in the incarnates because I don't have clamps. Nice. Get clamps. Oh, there's another quiz. Excess time in the void. Excess time in the void can result in. The void poses no risk. Yeah, I don't think so. There's a cave around here. Or maybe it's slightly further down. Was it on this island, actually? Or well, this part of the island, I suppose. for that. Nope. Homie. Hello. Fuck it. Knock, knock. It's the man in the wall. What's going on? Why? Oh, hey. Excuse. Hey. Excuse me. Excuse me. Could I get some stability? I wasn't crazy. There was one right here. Can't pick it up. Oh, is it because of this bullshit? You know it. 
he'd say to me? You think... Should probably enter the thing and finish this stuff up. to do this one I might have I can't grab it to Selma while I'm here. How dare you knock me off my horse? So fucking rude. there also this isn't the one that has the weird one Is showing the Drifter now spoiled a new war? No. The Viri's literally right here. We're doing it right now. Where's the other person even at? What over there? How's run going so far? We have 92 intrinsics, which is nice. Suck them in. I can't. There's two of them. One of them I'm pretty sure is fucking AFK. Because I don't think they've moved this entire run. If you go in, it'll start the timer. It's only if two of you go in, but I mean, whatever. I'm waiting anyway. It should start it should start a timer if one person goes in, really. Like it should be like one guy goes in a one minute timer. And this is why you never pub this. Yep, this is the exact reason why you never pub this. Except for like pubbing it is really nice. Uh whenever you need to go grab a bunch of shit, which is what I did. But you run the risk of, like, the fucking, like, uh, no one ever having grabbed enough or, like, knowing that they need to reset the zone if they need certain resources and stuff. 
Is there a message saying players are waiting like extraction? It's a great question. Yeah, pub runs never like if you want to do like get to the end you at what you actually want to do is you want to do lone story holy shit they came in here yeah matchmaking for lone story is people who actually want to farm clamps essentially what incentive is there to pub outside of circuit you can all split up and do a million objectives and get a bajillion intrinsics and also collect a bunch of different resources like there's a there's a lot of good reasons to do pubs it, with the exception of actually getting through the fucking thing. The paradox has drawn void angels to besiege the Undercroft. Undo what their claws have done. <laughs> yeah, this person is just AFK. May fall to something worse they haven't moved the entire time. We'll have to be nimble to Mega leeching. Glows, but they are the only means to close the breaches. Which is also really unfortunate because if you somehow get three leechers and don't notice, they'll never get in the portal. Probably just let them die. Then they won't, um, they won't impede my progress anymore if they're dead dead, which is good for me. Now, with there only being three people here total and that guy being dead, I count as half the party. So I can force this along. Which is good enough for me. <clears throat> Rumair, I've been getting it a little bit. I'm gonna do this one and then uh, do more. A breach has been sealed. Excellent work. Fight on. Close the ruptures as you would staunch the wounds of a comrade. Yeah, I do I do wish there was a second much longer AFK timer. Where it's like if you haven't moved for ten minutes, you get kicked. You know what I mean? Like a really aggressive one, like you haven't even moved your camera for 10 minutes. Or, or uh, not really, I guess it's not really aggressive, that's very passive actually. Because <clears throat> the, here, here's the, here's the neat thing, is if, um... <laughs> if you were to go like AFK and like not hit and like not hit that, it would almost certainly mean that you have like a macro running that keeps you from going that AFK, which would then mean that's bannable to do, which would probably be a positive because it means people wouldn't fucking do that. Because that falls under the it's playing the game for you type shit. The rupture is closed. The paradox. Stabilizes. Not that it particularly matters. Oh, thank God the Venus Junction gives you streamline. It gives you real streamline. Isn't it great? Are macros allowed? Macros are against team terms of service. However, it's only enforced um, for automation purposes. So doing stuff like putting 
uh, crouch and melee on one button, and then you hit that button when you want a slide attack. That is that is like that's nothing. They don't care. You are all that is keeping them at bay. However, having a macro that navigates a map and kills everything, and you don't have to do anything, that's bannable. So don't don't fucking do that. But the TLDR is if you've set up a macro and it has automated a thing, that's a no. That's gonna be a no. Yeah, spam button over and over. Uh, okay, something you press once and go AFK. Twenty thirty-five. Yes, correct. Cool. He's dead. Wait, is he not dead now? Because he has a health bar. It's difficult to create for most content for Warframe. Yeah, but it, it's it's a rule that they have in place for if it does come up. And it's it's a good rule. We need to keep things where they belong. And it's a mucky, nasty cave. Any place for precious items? It assuredly is not. It assuredly is not. I remember one of these being in a weird spot on this. You all want happiness, but none of you wants to put ah, in Soma, work. That. Oh, do you think this beautiful light in my heart? <laughs> oh, it just got there by itself. Do you? <laughs> Envious economy. Sure, why not? <laughs> These on record say something like an RSI preventer for melee is okay with them, but the term service gives them discretion to ban you for it if they want. Yeah. Also, in terms of like an RSI preventer, we no longer need that. Melee is automatic now. <laughs> All melee is now fully automatic. Do intrinsics affect drifter strength all around or just to do Viri? Uh, most of them are just to do Viri. Now, if only auto melee applied to Alice. Oh god, yeah, I wish. Mathilla's oral worm seeks to inflict her idea of happiness on all of Duviri. Subdue this tyranny. Master the brute while you can. <laughs> Automatically be a toggle instead of a press and hold. That would be nice. Hey, sometimes it is. It's a current bug. <laughs> Quickly, take the beast 
through the portal. Yes, the AFK guy. This ruin offers little shelter. Stay mobile. Is it steel path? No, I do not have steel path unlocked on the free to play through. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. We'll get there at some point, but that is not a priority currently. Even the Paris slaps ass whenever you have a bajillion intrinsics. Such slow arrows. There we go. Hit a hit. Hit a hit. As long as it hits, we're probably good. Are oh, the slowest arrows in the West? MR5 for story. Bravely done. For this one night at least, Duviri is calm. I feel nothing. access to Clairvo or just farming the resources for him. Uh, we haven't done the Clairvo Island yet. Um, we also won't until tomorrow. I know that there, technically we'd be in the Anger Spiral, but... At least this guy will die. And then I can end it. Did he revive him? Oh my god, why? God. They picked up the AFK player, they did.
<clears throat> Alright, I got everything I could possibly want from a public run. We will now no longer be doing these. Can you report him? I don't think AFK is reportable. I don't remember. It is? Oh, then I guess I can. Oh, I did. I got one of the fish. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious, actually. 137 intrinsics is quite good. Probably could have grabbed more Kanla, but whatever. Uh, how do I just block this person? I don't remember how to do that. Because if you have them blocked, you won't match make with them. I think it's from like this menu because there's a recent players list. Oh, here it is. There you go. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, it is anger spiral right now. You know, okay, I was playing, hmm, 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 hmm. we've been going for 10 hours. It's possible to stream too long, especially on YouTube. So we will have to wait until tomorrow, as much as I do want to try uh, the Fighting Clairvo thing. Sometimes, or just like... Ah, a drifter crosses. Does writing give you actual strength? No, there's nothing that actually makes me stronger here, so I'm just going to take riding to four with these intrinsics for the fast travel. Because that won't, that won't change how we fight Calervo at all. Because I want to solo him with, like, really low intrinsics. Just five for the loot radar. That's fair. I would. Ra I don't have enough, first of all, but I also need to spread that out into the other thing for all that business. So far as max for YouTube vods, yeah. I'll have your secrets out. Alright, and then Clairvo, got all the pebbles, almost all the Kovnik that we need. We're over half the Rune Marrow. We've even got some of the, the mag that we need. That's going to be easy enough to get, though. Uh, about a third of the Kanla, I, I will have to make sure I go get that. We're actually almost done with the Tesoma, because we only need the 50. Lamentus will finish itself. That's just going to happen over time. Huh. So I guess the ones I'm actually going to need to make sure I go for, more so than anything else, is the Kanla and the Ivani, actually, which is kind of weird. I thought that Tesoma was going to be more of a problem. Prioritizing riding over opportunity. Well, I just want the fast travel. Because I'm not going to, like... Nothing I'm not going to be in Duviri for a very long time or anything. Mm -hmm. And I don't need a lot of choices. Because, like, a, for a new player, it's kind of whatever. I guess, like, this doesn't, like... Weapon choices are just kind of convenient, though. I'll grab this one. I think opportunity 2 still counts as low intrinsics, we'll say. You'll still have a fun time getting through this run through. Yeah, well, I'm going to go see actually if the plants are are in here. Doing everything wrong. Learning how to live. I really don't know what makes the plants show up. 
no idea what makes this show up. Do you have to get to the Zaramon? What was up with the AFK player? I missed something. They were just the an AFK that we matched with, basically. Today. There will be conflict in your path. We have Mag again, which is always great. Yeah, we will we will hold off because if I do a run with Calervo, I should grab all the mag and I should also go check a Conla and Ivani. We should we should hold off. We'll hold off until tomorrow. Hold off until tomorrow. I need to get some sleep anyway. Um, so yeah, that'll be that'll be a tomorrow adventure. Yeah, we have, like, a lot of the materials that we need. And some of it's just going to come from the actual, you know, getting of him. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow the immediate stuff is going to be... Um... So, I think the, the plan tomorrow is essentially the Vectus will get done. When the Vectus is done, that gives us access to start doing, like, Nata and Second Dream and so on. We'll be doing the Ta and Second Dream and so on um, whenever it's Joy and Envy Spirals. And then otherwise, we're going to roll our Calervo stuff. Is going to be what's going on tomorrow. So we'll, we'll progress regular chart um, whenever that's happening. And then we'll grab Calervo whenever he's available. He's available most of the time. So, like, it's entirely possible that tomorrow starts up with, like, before we can get to our... Uh, Master Rank 3 test and things that we just like kind of get Calervo already. Um, so tomorrow doing two things at the same time in a way. Kind of, yeah. Has been counting stars, operator. Matrix circuit, see if a resource you need is at Rank 3. Possible. I can check circuit. I can check the circuit now. If I was to grab one of these Warframes, what would I grab? Probably Avara is the one I would actually want. Because she's just so good for new players. What do we got? Oh, uh, that's actually kind of good. Cause that's a V polarity. I don't have one of those yet. Like obviously, like it, the effect itself is kind of whatever, but that is an aura. Hmm. Why is that in the Avara circuit path? Well, some of these are random. Like th these aren't. Th the middle is not random. This one's not random. The rest are all random. <clears throat> Would target acquired be good for the Vectus? Um, uh, yes and no. It, it's not going to be over another mod we could fit instead, but it's not the worst. Most of the time, the things that we need to shoot the Vectus at, we're not shooting their head. Oh yeah, I forgot. Ivara needs Nitane. That's whatever anyway, though. Yeah, doing hmm, doing just level one of Circuit tomorrow is definitely definitely potential, though. Oh, and one more thing. No! Have you lost your mind? Mag is cured. I am now healthy, frog. We are now healthy, frog, once again. All right, and that is going to do it for day two of the, uh, the free to play through. Excellent time. I think we have made an absolute ton of progress. Um, got through Duviri, just did, just honestly did so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, it should be, should be good. Uh, tomorrow I should have uh, basically a guide coming up 
Um, it should be like basically it's gonna be the awakening video is gonna come out. Um, so that'll be up. That'll go into the guide. That'll be updated with the video things and things there. So that should be all nice and good. Um, and then in terms in terms of this, uh, I'm gonna have to whenever whenever I'm editing the Duviri video is whenever I'm gonna make the Duviri section for this. Um, but that's gonna go into the farm Calervo and Azathane uh, section here whenever that's uh, all done in that business. Uh, and then this section is going to have... Well, this this will probably mostly direct to um, the Duviri Where Do I Farm stuff uh, thing that eventually needs to get made because it's kind of like you need a big variety of materials. But yeah. It, the Craft the Vectus thing is done here now, though, which is good. And then Farm Corrupted Mods, this one is also done. Those are the two most important ones anyway. Uh, farm and Build Rhino. This, I'll have to write this up. It doesn't exist yet. And then this one, like its requirements built out but we'll have to mess with that one as well anyway uh but yeah should be same time tomorrow is going to be the plan uh i will see you guys then thanks all for hanging out it has been excellent and thank you all very very much for all of the support and the subs uh and the super chats and all of that good business it is extremely appreciated um yeah and i will uh see you guys tomorrow thanks for the fantastic stream goodbye